Advertisement. The next day, a few people rode a dragon boat and went to Okinawa to enjoy the beautiful scenery and eat the specialties here. In the evening, several people came to the place where they lived. At this time, Xiaoyuja, Gojo Satoru, and Mingzi were chatting in the room. Kuroe and Tenukiriko were sleeping next door. Satoru, you should take a rest. I transferred and sealed Kamui and Amaterasu in TNA, and everything will be fine, Ming said calmly. You should go and rest. You have consumed more eye power this time than Shoko last time, and your current condition is very bad. Gojo Satoru said calmly. For me, who has the power of the eternal kaleidoscope, there is no problem. Ming said lightly, but the actual situation is different from what Ming said. The transfer seal transfers the ability to others, whether it is eternal or ordinary kaleidoscope. Ming's burden is too great, maybe it's because of the rules of this world. And as an ordinary person, Riko Tanuka has to be more careful when storing her eye power. Although she doesn't know why Riko Tanuka can see the cursed spirit, except for the weird curse power on her body, Riko Tanuka is an ordinary person overall. This caused Ming to have to be careful when translating, and he also had to transcribe some of the eye skills for Kuroi, so Ming's current condition is not very good. Woo, there's one thing about Ming. I don't think that child wants to assimilate that much. If she refuses to assimilate, Xiaoyuja said with a relaxed look. Then don't assimilate. Gojo Satoru replied decisively before Xiaoyuja finished speaking. Oh, is it for personal reasons? Satoru, still smiling. That child is pretty good, but I really don't want her to die. Gojo Satoru did not deny it. Ha ha ha, since my dear friends have said so, then don't assimilate. Let's talk to that guy Tianyuan tomorrow. Ming said with a faint smile. Advertisement. Is this really good? After all, it is possible to start a war with Master Tianyuan, and maybe even with the entire Jiu-Jitsu world. Xiaoyuja said playfully. Why are you scared? J. Gojo Satoru said disgustedly. How is that possible, Ming? Xiaoyuja didn't care. We are the strongest. It seems very interesting to be the enemy of the entire Jiu-Jitsu world. Ming replied calmly. Yes, that's it. The two agreed. There was no flinching on the faces of the three of them. As the strongest, they still showed no fear even when facing the Jiu-Jitsu world. The third day, 3 p.m. Within the boundaries of Jiu-Jitsu High School, the three finally relaxed their tense nerves a little. Thank you for your hard work, Xiaoyuja said, looking at Riko Tanuki and Kuroe, who looked tired at this time. This will put you at ease, Tanuki Riko said with a tired look. Yeah, Kuroe also smiled. Satoru, thank you for your hard work. Xiaoyuja looked at Gojo Satoru who was in a daze and said, After all, Gojo Satoru has been turning on the spell in the past few days and observing the surroundings with six eyes. It is the hardest among the three. Hey, I don't want to be the little ghost's nanny next time. Gojo Satoru said impatiently. Advertisement. When Riko Tenchi was about to refute Gojo Satoru, be careful, Mei suddenly exclaimed, but it was too late. Gojo Satoru's body was instantly penetrated. It's impossible that this is the inside of the high-speed barrier. Xiaoyuja looked at the impaled Gojo Satoru with surprise in his eyes. Damn, you were so careless, Ming cursed in his mind, and then a wave of anger invaded his mind. The eyes instantly switched to the main Jikyo Sharinan, and Suzanu appeared. The impaled Gojo Satoru instantly strengthened his body with magic power, and then looked at the strong man behind him. Have you and I met before somewhere? Gojo Satoru said calmly. Don't worry, I'm just like you, not good at remembering men's names, the figure said. And that figure fell into memories. He had come to see this legendary kid out of curiosity before. At that time, he was standing behind Gojo Satoru Road when he was a child. He thought he had no magic power, but he was noticed for the first time, and he was still a imp. So he didn't dare to be careless with Gojo Satoru. He wanted to weaken Gojo Satoru's energy and make him dull, so as to sneak attack on Gojo Satoru. Gojo Satoru heard the man talking and took action instantly. Fushai Ji was knocked away, and Xiaoyuja instantly summoned the cursed spirit and swallowed the man into his belly. Satoru. Xiaoyuja rushed towards Gojo Satoru. I'm fine. Although the spell was not activated, it did not damage the internal organs. Then I used the magic power to strengthen it and prevented that person from harming other parts. Leave me alone to protect the inner world. Gojo Satoru stopped Xiaoyuja. Ji, take Tenna and the others to Master Tianyuan first. And Ming, leave this man to me. The author of Gojo Satoru stretched. Advertisement. Mei ignored Gojo Satoru and turned on Suzano to look in the direction of Cursed Spirit. He knew that the man was not dead. At this time, the man took a knife and opened a hole in Cursed Spirit's stomach and came out. Ming, I said, leave her to me. I remember the revenge of one stone. First, protect Tianyi with Ji. Have you forgotten what we said yesterday? Facing Master Tianyuan, even Ji will not be that easy. Right. Gojo Satoru said seriously. Ming's frowned and clenched his fists. There was struggle in his eyes. After all, now Gojo Satoru is not only injured, but also in poor condition. Ming, let's go, trust Wu, Xiaoyuja urged. I know, Satoru, hurry up and deal with him, and then we meet up. If we solve the problem, and you're not done yet, I will take over the battlefield. Ming glanced at Gojo Satoru, and then ran away with Xiaoyuja and the two girls. Xiang Tianyuan. Who do you think you are talking to? Gojo Satoru walked towards Fushiki and slowly took off his glasses. Then he looked at the knife Fushai Heishire carried on his shoulder and knew that it was not the knife that stabbed him. Then the two began to talk. After some conversation, Gojo Satoru knew that the man in front of him was the one who posted the reward, and he did not know the details of this man at all, nor the cursed spirit on his shoulder who appeared at some point. After talking for a while, Gojo Satoru took the lead in attacking, but Fushiguro moved very quickly and disappeared in an instant. Gojo Satoru also had to marvel at this man's speed. It's so fast, but in terms of physical speed, it's faster than Ming. It's not just fast. It's weird from the beginning. Even Ming and I didn't find him right away. Is it the body of heavenly restriction? Gojo Satoru quickly analyzed in his mind with information. Then Fushai Heishir's body flashed and suddenly disappeared from the spot. The forest of forgetfulness began to move so fast that ordinary people couldn't even see it. This is followed by multiple moves and a sudden rush towards Gojo Satoru. Although the dynamic potential of Gojo Satoru's six eyes is not as good as Mei's Sherry Non, it is also extremely abnormal. He instantly discerned Fushiguro's figure, and fired AAO shot, causing Fushiguro to fly backwards and hit the wall. Seeing Fushiguro being knocked away, before Gojo Satoru could say anything, Shiji stood up from the ground and became faster, even Gojo Satoru was not aware of it. Advertisement. 
Chapter 52 Gojo Satoru's Death Advertisement The technique was reversed and the power was maximized. The trees and houses around Ang all converged towards the sky above Gojo Satoru Road. After a while, all the surrounding obstacles were cleared. But before Gojo Satoru could be happy, many low-level cursed spirits appeared in the dark. Although they could not harm Gojo Satoru, these low-level cursed spirits were too large and affected Gojo Satoru's sight. Gojo Satoru intends to use AO here, and the cursed spirit around him will be destroyed, which makes him feel bad, because he felt that they must be chasing the underworld. But in Fushiguro's opinion, if Gojo Satoru is not dealt with, she will definitely not be able to hurt Riko Tenuki. So Fushikiji wanted to kill Gojo Satoru, and then ducked to the blind spot of Gojo Satoru Road, which was behind Gojo Satoru. When Fushikiji appeared, Gojo Satoru also noticed it, but it was too late. I saw Fushiguro coming behind Gojo Satoru with a weird short knife, and then stabbed Gojo Satoru. Surprisingly, Gojo Satoru's infinity was broken through, and he instantly penetrated Gojo Satoru to his neck. Fushikiji didn't talk nonsense, and then slashed at Gojo Satoru's body. The strange thing was that Gojo Satoru didn't have any intention to fight back, and was finally penetrated by Fushikiji through the forehead. Gojo Satoru fell to the ground. And this infinite breaking cursed tool is the Tian Nii, and its effect is to forcefully cancel the activated spell. On the other side, Ming and Xiaoyuja had already taken the two women to an underground place in the elevator. When he got out of the elevator, Kuroa lowered his head to Tenuki Riko and said, Ms. Riko, I sent you here. Then he bowed, and Tenuki Riko's eyes instantly turned red. Hug Kuroi. Advertisement. What's wrong, Ming? Xiaoyuja looked at Ming who was distracted. Nothing, something strange happened. The technique stored in Wu's eyes was triggered. Ming said calmly, did Wu lose? Xiaoyuja was a little surprised. I don't know. The reason why I say it's weird is because Wu was forcibly suppressed during the triggering period. I don't know what Wu is doing. Isn't that guy trying to show off? Ming frowned. Let's take Riko there first, and then go to Wu's place after the matter is settled, Xiaoyuja suggested. Ming nodded. Then the three of them continued walking and came to a big tree. Is this here? Tenuki Riko looked ahead. Lord Tianyuan, it's inside. This is also the foundation of the domestic barrier. In the main hall of Burial Star Palace, go down the stairs, go through the door, and walk to the root of the big tree. With the high school. Shut up, Ji, hurry up, you're too annoying, Ming said a little upset. I know, we can't enter the barrier here. Only you can enter, so nothing can disturb you while you are assimilating. Master Tianyuan will protect you until the assimilation is completed, Xiaoyu just said. Riko was very depressed. He is not as lively as before, and after all, he is just a girl. Or you can choose to go back the way you came and go home with Miss Heijing. Xiaoyu just said calmly. Huh? Huh? Riko Tenuki looked at Xiaoyuja in surprise. Advertisement. When our mentor assigned me another mission, he called this assimilation erasure. This meant that he had a sense of guilt. Our mentor's mind was filled with. That's enough. Let me tell you. Can you please tell me the important point? The three of us have discussed it. If you are not willing to assimilate this time, then there is no need to assimilate. The three of us will protect you. The future. Ming said calmly. Xiaoyuja looked at Ming with a resentful look. Riko Tanuka gritted her teeth and said, I have been since I was born. Let's get to the point, go or not. Ming's mood is getting worse and worse. He doesn't know why he always feels that something happened to Gojo Satoru. When Riko heard Ming's words, her emotion disappeared instantly, and then she said with a firm smile, I want to be with everyone, I don't want to assimilate. Xiaoyuja also had a gentle smile on his face at this time, his eyes flashed with distress, and then he stretched out his hand and said softly, let's go back. And at this moment, a gunshot rang out, and then Riko Tanuka's hand reaching for Xiaoyuja passed through Xiaoyuja's body, while Riko Tanuka's eyes widened. Xiaoyuja was also surprised. Riko. Xiaoyuja stood in front of Riko, and the man who thought he shot Riko Tanuka thought Riko Tanuka was dead and walked out calmly. Is it you? Where's Wu? Ming's face was cold and his tone was murderous. Who knows, he's probably dead, Fu Haishir said with an indifferent expression. Then you should die too. The eternal kaleidoscope appeared in the eyes of the underworld, and a black flame appeared out of thin air. Fushai Heishier, who had abnormal senses, had his hair standing on end, and then the figure disappeared from the place. Dodged the blow. Then he looked at the black flames in front of him and felt the terrifying heat even though he was far away. Advertisement. I really underestimated you. Achihame, it seems that your eye ability is not only illusion. Fushiguro lowered his head and said. The information he knew specifically stated that he could not look at Uchiha at all. No, yes, are these your last words? Ming's tone was as cold as if the temperature of the surrounding space had dropped. Ming, you protect first, Riko, I'll take care of this guy, Xiaoyu just said. Ming frowned, but still nodded. He had to put Tenariko in the Kamui's face. Xiaoyuja's face turned cold, and the cursed spirit appeared instantly. Ming came to Riko, and at this moment, Fushai Hei looked at Riko Tanuki who had not yet fallen to the ground. He was a little surprised and instinctively raised his head to look at Riko who was intact. What's going on? No wonder there was no resistance when the bullet passed through. It's not good. Just as Fuhaishir moved his gaze, he happened to meet Ming's eyes. Jinjutsu, Sukuyomi. Cursed spirit, go. Ming then grabbed Tanuki Riko's hand, left the place, and ran outside. The barrier here was the foundation, so Ming didn't dare to use Kamui for fear of destroying the barrier, so he pulled Riko and ran out. Puff body. The injured fuzz here vomited a mouthful of blood. It's really scary, that Uchihame. Fortunately, I was well prepared before coming, but I was still pulled into the illusion, but it also offset most of the attack, otherwise it would be really bad. At this time, the crystal pendant around Fuhaishir's neck was completely shattered. Advertisement. Chapter 53 Xiaoyuja's Defeat. Advertisement. Ming took Riko out to solve the problem. After he came out, he felt that Gojo Satoru was not dead. Although the power of the spell was very weak, he was not dead, and the power of the spell was recovering. Ming breathed a sigh of relief. Seeing that the murderous intent in his heart still didn't retreat, he didn't expect that person to be so powerful that he could hurt Gojo Satoru like this. He knew that Xiaoyuja was definitely no match, and on the way out, he found Kuroe who had been knocked unconscious. By this time Kuroe had woken up. Tian Nei, Miss Heijing, now I want to take you to a safe place, and I want to go back to help Ji. Ming said seriously. Okay the two of them knew that after death, they couldn't talk nonsense. Ming looked at the eyes of the two people and transformed into the eternal Mangekyo Sharinan. 
Divine power. The two figures disappeared in front of Ming, who quickly returned to the barrier. As for the transferred Teneriko, she was a little scared when she looked at the space she was in. She was surrounded by rocks of various sizes, and there was a huge blood red moon in the sky. It felt like they were in hell. Where is this? Riko Tanuki asked curiously. Kuroa shook his head. And then a voice came. This is the space of that man named Uchihame. Advertisement. Who is it? The two people asked in horror. Then he looked towards the source of the sound, where an old figure was tied to a cross. And there was a nine-tailed fox next to him looking at the old man in front of him. The old man looked at the two people in front of him, and then explained that this man was the old man who assassinated Riko Tanuki. He was going crazy while imprisoned here. There is no scary person with a quiet voice here, and there is a first-level cursed spirit looking at him. He was also very happy to have people come this time. On the other side, Ming quickly returned to the inside of the barrier. At this time, Xiaoyuja was covered in wounds, and even his rainbow dragon had been killed, and the slit girl was also dying. The realm was also shattered. Xiaoyuja suddenly pointed his hand at the cursed spirit on Fuhei Shire. Although this cursed spirit is special, it is not very strong. This level does not require a subduing ceremony at all. Fuhai Shi'er naturally noticed this and instantly waved his Tianimo, which not only released the cursed spirit technique, but also allowed him to chop Xiaoyuja. The magician can't die after taking these swords. If you were a cursed spirit user, I would kill you, but the difference is the cursed spirit magic. I don't know what will happen to your cursed spirit after you die. Now I don't want to get into trouble. After all, the mission has not been completed yet, but I really wish I couldn't complete it. Fuhei Shi'er slowly walked towards Xiaoyuja, who was lying in the blood. You guys are basically favored by your parents, but you who inherited these favors still lost to me, a monkey who can't even do jujitsu. If you want to live, remember this. Fushikishiji kicked kicked Xiaoyuja in the face. Bastard, if you don't want to die, please take your feet off me. A cold and frightening voice sounded, with a tone full of anger. Oh, are you back? Are you just a bastard? How dare you say that? Gojo Satoru even lost to Gojo Satoru. Fushikiji said calmly, obviously he was a little angry this time. Fuheishir's figure was in Shandong, and he quickly approached Ming. He reached Ming's side and slashed out with his sword. The light of the sword penetrated Ming's figure. Fuheishir was not surprised. The figure disappeared instantly and distanced itself. Sure enough, this guy's ability is more troublesome than Gojo Satoru, but he can't attack either. Fushikishiji analyzed. Advertisement. Ming's figure flashed quickly, and the two began to fight each other. The Sharingan's powerful insight and divine power allowed Ming to handle it even without Fushiguro's speed. However, with Fushiguro's strength, Ming was a little unable to withstand it. This guy is not only fast and powerful, but also has a wide variety of weapons. Mei used his divine power to distance himself, but was still pestered by Fushiguro. Then Mei attached Amaterasu around his body. Sensing the crisis, Fushiguro was instantly pushed back. Mei took the opportunity to summon Suzanu. Then the giant Suzanu began to attack Fushiguro. It's actually possible to achieve this level. Sure enough, the information is right. Has this guy been fishing? Fuhaishi ER said, looking at the giant of more than 40 meters. He did not hesitate to chop the sword that cut off the rainbow dragon towards Suzano, but Suzano had no effect at all. After failing to kill him in one hit, Fuhaishi ER disappeared instantly. He didn't want to be hit by this big guy. A lightsaber appeared in the giant's hand, and he looked at Fushikishir, but Fushikishir was too fast, and even with the prediction of Sherry Non, he could not hit the opponent. Ming was a little anxious, looking at Xiaoyuja lying there and Gojo Satoru outside who had almost exhausted his spell power. His remaining sanity was completely taken over by anger. Damn it, go to hell, you bastard said Suzano, who had four hands and concentrated spell power in his hands. Infinite eight editions of Megatama, he said and threw numerous Megatama towards Fushai Heishiji with four hands. Hey, this guy is exaggerating, doesn't he have any scruples? This is the center of the neon barrier, this madman. Even Fushai Heishir, the tyrant of heaven and earth, had a cold sweat on his face. Looking at the intensive attacks in front of him, he did not panic at all. This guy has an unreasonable amount of magic power. The magic power emitted by each attack is so strong that it can almost catch up with the total magic power of a first level magician. Fuhaishir said, and then his figure flashed quickly, because of the attack it's too dense and very fast until you can get this cursed tool place. Advertisement. This damn monster Fuhaishir said. The figure flashed continuously to avoid the attacks in front of him, but the explosion caused by each attack in this small boundary had already injured Fuhaishir. Fuhaishir knew that this was going to happen, and his figure flashed to Xiaoyuja's side. Sure enough, Minja no longer fired Megatama around Xiaoyuja. Ming controlled the power of the explosion early on because he was afraid of injuring Xiaoyuja a second time. What? I don't dare to attack anymore. Fuhaishir looked proud, but he secretly thought in his heart, although this giant has strong defense, its movements are very slow. If it is outside, there is still a chance to break through the defense. Insect, get away from G. Ming's cold voice sounded. Oh, you guys are really softer than I thought, Fuhaishir mocked. Don't anger me again, or I will kill you now. Ming looked at Fuhaishir with cold eyes. Oh, I want to take a look. Fushai Heishir slowly left Xiaoyuja's side, but from this distance, it was obvious that Xiaoyuja would be hurt by the residual power of 8 edition Megatama. The blood red Mangekyo sharing on in the dark eyes of seeking death can emit a strong red light, and the power of the curse suddenly increases. I saw a piece of armor appearing on the giant's body, and his figure became taller. After a while, a giant more than 100 meters tall rose from the ground. A giant wearing Karatengu armor appeared in front of Shi'er. Then he pulled out his long knife. The huge feeling of oppression made the hairs on Shur's hair stand on end. That's not good. Is this his true appearance? Fuhaishir said with a look of retreat in his eyes. Then the figure came to Xiaoyuja's side. Advertisement. Chapter 54 The Birth of the Strongest. Advertisement. Although Fuhaishir disdained and threatened the hostages, he had to do it this time. Let me go, I won't move him. Fushiji finally showed a serious expression. Unlike Gojo Satoru, Gojo Satoru's infinite will be restrained by his heavenly eyes, but he can't break the giant in front of him, and with such a huge size, even he cannot escape 100%. Okay Minja didn't talk nonsense. As soon as Ming finished speaking, Fuhaishir put Xiaoyuja down. He was very confident that Ming would not dare to do anything, because the world was like this, there were restraints, and although Fuhaishir could not defeat him outside, he was confident that he could escape successfully. Without any nonsense, Fuhaishir walked outside the barrier. 
and Ming glanced coldly at Fushiguro, cancelled Suzanu, and came to Xiaoyuja's side. Ji, are you okay? Xiaoyuja slowly opened his eyes at this time. The magic power in his body was exhausted and he was seriously injured, so he was very weak. It's okay Xiaoyuja said with a smile on his face. Pain and remorse flashed in all eyes, because he knew that in order to protect her, he had to let Satoru's killer go. It's okay, Satoru is fine. His spell power has not dissipated, so he must have been seriously injured. Let's solve the matter in Tenna, Mingya said with a smile. The two of them walked towards the building in front of them. At this moment, a figure appeared. The man wore a suit and walked towards Ming and Xiaoyuja. Master Ming. Mr. Xiaoyu, the man said respectfully. Although he was inside just now, he saw everything outside. That huge part was like a god. How could he dare not respect it? Take me to see Tianyuan, Ming said calmly. Advertisement. This, the man was a little embarrassed. Don't embarrass others, Ming. Xiaoyuja was supported by Ming. He looked very weak. You go back and tell Tianyuan that I will not give him the astral plasma body. Let him evolve automatically. If the evolution fails, then I will kill him. Ming said with a calm face, and then let Xiaoyuja go. Rest somewhere. Ming, on the other hand, sat on the ground and waited. When the man heard Ming's words, he broke out in a cold sweat and looked a little embarrassed. Why don't you go? Ming said coldly. When he heard this, the man became nervous and hesitantly said, that, that, Lord Ming, Lord Tianyuan has actually completed the assimilation. That astral body is just a bait, and there is actually more than one astral body. So you don't have to do this. Hearing this, Xiaoyuja's face became dull. The justice that I had been holding onto in my heart was crumbling bit by bit. However, something suddenly occurred to him and he immediately looked at Ming next to him. As Xiaoyuja had guessed, Ming's face was gloomy at this time, with a mixture of terrifying spell power and murderous aura, which made the man in a suit in front of him almost unsteady. Oh, does that mean Tianyuan is playing tricks on me? Ming, who was already extremely irritable, heard this and his anger was ignited again. Although there was no expression on his face, Xiaoyuja knew that Ming was even more angry this time. Ming slowly stood up, his eyes had switched to the eternal kaleidoscope form. Tianyuan is in there, right? Ming asked coldly. The man in the suit was so frightened that he could not speak. Ahem, stop, stop, Ming, Xiaoyuja said with difficulty. Jack. Ming turned back to look at Xiaoyuja. At this time, Xiaoyuja was in extremely bad condition. Not only the injuries on his body, but also the news he had just heard made his eyes very cloudy. Advertisement. Ming, listen to me, since this matter has been completed, there is no need to do this. We need to go back. Xiaoyuja said with difficulty, but there was self-doubt in his eyes. I understand. Ming walked towards Xiaoyuja. Puff. Ji Ming quickly came to Xiaoyuja's side. Looking at Xiaoyuja who passed out, he didn't say anything, picked up Xiaoyuja and walked out. Then he looked coldly in Tianyuan's direction. But he didn't do anything. He wanted to wait for Xiaoyuja to wake up. And looking at Ming walking away, the man in the suit could no longer hold on and collapsed on the ground, breathing heavily. Even he didn't understand that as Tianyuan's guard, someone like him who had already ignored death for a long time could be so afraid. On the other side, Fu Haixie came to a place and met Kong Xiao. I didn't expect that you would miss, Kong Xiao said while lighting his cigarette. I thought it was successful, but both you and I underestimated the person named Uchihame, Fushiguro explained. Stronger than Gojo Satoru, Kong Xiao said. Who knows, but it seems that he is more difficult to deal with than Gojo Satoru here. If I face Gojo Satoru, who is completely victorious, I am 50% sure of killing him. But facing him, I have no confidence. Goejinji said plainly said. Is it so strong? It seems that reform in the jiu-jitsu world is coming, Kong Xiao said. Anyway, it has no impact on us. I'm only interested in money. After Fuhei Shiar finished speaking, he left. Kong Xiao looked out the window and fell into deep thought. When Fuz here walked out of the room, a figure suddenly appeared in front of him. Hey, long time no see, the figure said slowly, with a hint of madness in his eyes. Advertisement. Real, fake, illusion. Fushikiji looked at the Gojo Satoru in front of him, and then judged that the Gojo Satoru in front of him was real. Reverse the technique. Fuheishiar muttered as he thought of a possibility in an instant. That's right. When I was stabbed by you, I didn't have the ability to resist. I had been activating the reversal spell at that time, and in that case I finally understood the core of the spell. Gojo Satoru's expression grew worse like Huang explained, when the negative magic power and the negative magic power are multiplied, a positive magic power will be produced. Ha ha ha, if you had cut off my head at that time, then the victory would be yours. Excitement appeared on Gojo Satoru's crazy face. Winning or losing, it's just the beginning, Fuhaishiar said confidently. Ah oh, really? Yeah, maybe. Gojo Satoru's expression became even more crazy. And looking at Gojo Satoru like this, full of flaws, how could Fushiguro let go of this opportunity? Quickly rushing towards Gojo Satoru, Fushikiji waved his tenema, but Gojo Satoru dodged with an extremely weird movement. Reversal of the technique, he, Gojo Satoru put his index and middle fingers together, and then the energy he wrote gathered at his fingertips. A terrifying repulsive force pushed Fushikishiji back several meters and hit the building hard. Really, all of them are like monsters. Fuhaishir began to move his body. In his mind, he judged the ability of Gojo Satoru. The first is the defensive power of time and stop, the second is the attraction of Kang, and the last is the repulsive force, the reversal technique. No problem, Fuhaishir said confidently, took out a chain, fastened the Tian Nii on it and began to rotate the Tian Nii. But looking at Gojo Satoru floating in the air, he felt a sense of disobedience, which he couldn't describe. Soon he concentrated. Gojo Satoru was swimming in the sky, thinking about what happened. I'm really sorry. Whether it's you or Ming, I'm not worried or angry at all. I just feel that this world makes me very happy. Gojo Satoru thought to himself, and then Gojo Satoru, who was floating in the air, stood up and pointed to the sky and the ground. I am the only one in heaven and under heaven. Advertisement. Chapter 55 The Death of Fuhaishir. Advertisement. I am the only one in heaven and under heaven. At this moment, Fuhaishir threw out the Tiani Eye in his hand. The huge strong wind splashed the rocks on the ground in the distance, and the Tiani Eye rose into the sky very fast. But Gojo Satoru is still calm and calm. 
He knew that Jin Er understood his technique. After all, no matter how strong the technique passed down from generation to generation was, its shortcomings were obvious and it was easy for intelligence to be collected and targeted. Gojo Satoru stretched out his hand, but this time it was not he. At this time, Gojo Satoru's gesture looked like bouncing something. When the forward and reverse rotations create their own infinite conflicts, they create an extremely powerful imaginary quality. Virtual form. Gojo Satoru popped out his hand, and a terrifying attack followed. When the majestic energy appeared, Fuhaishir smiled. I see. Haven't I lost my self-esteem a long time ago? I'm the strongest. Did I really lose? Fuhei Shire knew where the feeling of disobedience came from. Even if he knew he would lose, he still wanted to give it a try. Can you kill the man in front of you? The figure of a child appeared in Fuhei Shire's mind, and that child looked very similar to him. Do you have any last words? Gojo Satoru said calmly. My child will be sold to Zenin's family in two or three years, and his life and death will be left to you. Even in the face of death, Fuhei Shire's eyes and expression remained calm. And when he closed his eyes, he said, Who is stronger, you or that man? After saying this, Fuhaishin closed his eyes. Advertisement. There was no wave in Gojo Satoru's dull eyes. He slowly turned around and finally walked in one direction. After a while, Ming, who was holding Xiaoyuja with cold eyes, looked up at Gojo Satoru, who was standing in front of him in a panic with a calm expression. Are you going to kill them all, Ming? I won't feel any guilt now. Gojo Satoru said calmly, his eyes without any waves were completely different from the Gojo Satoru who escaped before, and the power on his body became more oppressive. Ming ignored Gojo Satoru's state and felt relieved to see Gojo Satoru standing there intact. Then he said calmly, let's wait until Ji wakes up. Let's go back, Wu. Ming came to Gojo Satoru, not paying attention to the crowd around him. His body began to twist and finally disappeared from the place with Gojo Satoru. On the other side, Shoko Yutahim and Yagamasamichi are waiting for Gojo Satoru and others to come over in the classroom. Everyone looked at the whirlpool in front of them and stood up immediately. He knew that Ming was back. Before they could ask any questions, Ming looked at Shoko and said, Shoko, I'm sorry to bother you. Shoko nodded without any hesitation, and then everyone came to the medical room, where Shoko treated Xiaoyuja. What happened? What happened? Yagamasamichi asked. He didn't understand why the three of them were in such a mess. Xiaoyuja was seriously injured, Gojo Satoru was very bloody, and even Ming was not in a good mood. Without saying a word, his eyes were focused, and the vortex face suddenly emerged, and two figures appeared in the vortex. These two people are Tenuki Riko and Kuroi. Astral body? Didn't Lord Tianyuan assimilate? Yagamasamichi said seriously. Then Ming told the story. Everyone frowned, not knowing what to say. Tenuki Riko and Kuroi, who were originally very happy, were also very sad to hear that someone had been assimilated. And no one spoke and the scene was very depressing. Only Gojo Satoru and Ming were expressionless at the scene. Ming knew it a long time ago, but Gojo Satoru's state was always wrong. And when he heard Ming finish speaking, he turned around and left. Advertisement. Wu, where are you going? Come back to me. Ming suddenly shouted loudly. This sound startled everyone. Looking at the indifferent Gojo Satoru, everyone finally noticed that Gojo Satoru was in a bad state. Go out for a trip, Gojo Satoru said indifferently. Everyone walks towards the door. But everyone knows that Gojo Satoru is definitely going to kill someone this time. I said, come back here, Satoru, you can't do anything until Ji wakes up. Ming Ledeo shouted angrily in front of Gojo Satoru. Everyone looked at the two of them without daring to interrupt. They didn't know why Ming had such a big reaction. And Ming was already angry because Xiaoyuja and Gojo Satoru were injured. Looking at the unfamiliar Gojo Satoru, he didn't know why he was even more angry. Ming, you can't stop me now, Gojo Satoru said indifferently, his face still showing no joy or sadness. Haha, <laughs> Satoru, you think you are talking? The dark eyes switched to Sherry Non, and the majestic power of the curse burst out. Apparently he laughed out of anger at Gojo Satoru. Gojo Satoru, on the other hand, had a dull expression and glanced at Ming indifferently, then walked around him and continued walking forward. If you want to go to a high school, you have to defeat me. Otherwise, I won't let you go, Seiji Luo, Wu, Ming said coldly, and then walked out of the room first. Gojo Satoru also slowly followed Ming. Everyone looked at the two of them with flashes of worry, and even Shoko was a little confused. This was the first time they saw the two of them like this. After all, the previous quarrels were just complaints between friends, but this time it was obviously different. Teacher Shoko looked at Yagamasamichi. Let's go out and take a look first. Satoru's condition is not right, Masamichi said seriously. Then everyone came to the training ground. But Masamichi and the others did not move forward. After all, they are also afraid of being injured. It would be dangerous to watch a battle of this level from the sidelines. Wu, I won't hold back. Ming said with a cold face. Advertisement. Come on, try your best, don't let me down, Ming. Gojo Satoru said indifferently. Asshole, stop looking down on others. Ming said angrily. No nonsense, the two fought directly against each other. Black flash black red lightning appeared in Ming's fist. Gojo Satoru raised his fist and punched out casually, Ming's deep meaning flew out. Ming instantly stabilized his body. Then he looked at Gojo Satoru with a surprised look on his face. You have indeed understood the reversal technique. Ming was a little surprised. As if responding to him, Gojo Satoru brought his index and middle fingers together, and red light magic began to gather on his fingertips. Reversal of the technique, Hayek a powerful repulsive force instantly gathered from Gojo Satoru's fingertips. Ming didn't dodge, and came to Gojo Satoru's side in an instant. He had no fear at all because of the power of the gods. But again he has no way to attack Gojo Satoru. Just play he. Ming instantly transformed into a physical entity and punched out, wrapping his fist with divine power. Gojo Satoru watched indifferently as an invisible aura appeared around Ming's body. You feel like an invisible wall separates him from Gojo Satoru, and he can't get even remotely close. Gojo Satoru's eyes suddenly opened wide, and invisible walls surrounded Ming. It even felt like his body was being squeezed into a confined space, and was shrinking further. Ming did not dare to hesitate, and instantly became virtual and escaped, because if he hesitated for a moment, he would definitely be crushed into a meat pie. Just as Ming retreated, Gojo Satoru held Satoru's hands together. 
When he came to Ming again, his aura was also brought in. Gojo Satoru knows that as long as Ming is not allowed to switch into a physical entity, Ming will automatically transform into a physical entity after 15 minutes. Advertisement. Chapter 56 Understand the Reversal Technique. Advertisement. May also saw the intention of enlightening Gojo Satoru's path. Huge mana surged. Suzanu appeared, surrounded by Amaterasu. Gojo Satoru backed away instantly. Ming looked at Gojo Satoru solemnly. The combination of divine power and Amaterasu can naturally break through Gojo Satoru's defense by burning the void. This is also Ming's eternal new ability. It can combine two pupil techniques and consumes a lot of energy. When using this move, Kajai Fumin cannot use it, cannot change its form, and cannot deal with the teleporting Gojo Satoru at all. But it can protect him very well. Gojo Satoru looked at Ming Suzanu, still looking like Fury Imuha. Not enough, Ming Gojo Satoru said calmly. Yeah, why don't I use all my strength to deal with you, Sage Luo? But I hate you now, Ming said, and then the curse power boiled up again, and a hundred meter tall Suzano appeared instantly. It would be impossible to defeat Gojo Satoru with the complete Suzano. What is that? Tanukiriko looked at the tall figure. For her who had always lived in the world of ordinary people, not only he but also Yagamasamichi was shocked and speechless. Not to mention them. I didn't expect Ming to do it to this extent. Yagamasamichi frowned. Sansai, what should we do? Neither of us held back this time. Shoko said worriedly. No, Shoko, that guy Gojo hasn't used his full strength yet. Yagamasamichi said while looking at Gojo Satoru, who still had no expression on the battlefield. Back on the battlefield, Mei used all his Suzano because he felt he would lose. He must be the one who loses when he keeps his hand. Although the two were competing, he was so proud that he would not allow him to lose. Come on, Satoru said the underworld controller Suzano, pulling out the twin swords at his waist. This action instantly set off a huge gust of wind. Advertisement. The giant drew his sword and slashed at Gojo Satoru. Gojo Satoru raised his hand, and the majestic repulsion filled his body. Even the complete Suzano of Hades could not make any further progress. Ming swings another sword here, but is blocked by Gojo Satoru again. Then Gojo Satoru's body exploded with even stronger repulsion, and his swords were knocked away. Gojo Satoru held his hands and came to Ming, which was the crystal on Suzano's head. The azure six eyes and the scarlet sherry non stared at each other. Gojo Satoru pointed his hand at Ming. Spell reversal Hayek. The huge repulsive force was compressed and exploded with unrivaled power, and Suzano was instantly knocked down. However, the ghost inside Suzano was not harmed at all. Suzano, the controller of Kamui Shuriken, instantly flew into the sky, start attacking with Kamui Shuriken. But Gojo Satoru didn't panic at all, he dodged one by one, and his movements were very weird. Ming, this one is not my opponent. Gojo Satoru lay in the air, Ming's attack seemed to be ignored by him. Stop looking down on people, Kamui, slash. The power of Hades Kamui attached itself to the sword and slashed towards Gojo Satoru, but even so, it was bounced away. Gojo Satoru flew up and made a flicking motion with his fingers. Virtual style. A huge black sphere headed towards Hades. Advertisement. Ming reacted instantly. A huge shield appeared in Hakakaku mirror Suzana's hand and began to resist the blow. This attack Ming knows that the divine power is useless, because the virtual style can cut space. What? The eight-foot mirror. Yagamasamichi exclaimed. What's wrong, teacher? Is this eight-foot mirror the same legendary cursed tool as the Jukin sword? Shoko asked confused. What? You said Ming still has the ten-fist sword. Yagamasamichi looked at Shoko in surprise. Yes, it is the sword condensed by Suzano. It is obviously just ordinary magic power, condensed, but it has a very strange ability. Ming also said at the time that they were divine weapons. It was not condensed by him but lodged in an artifact in his eyes, Shoko explained. No wonder, no wonder, there are no clues about these two cursed tools. I didn't expect them to have no entity. Yagamasamichi was a little surprised. Then explained. The eight-foot mirror can withstand any damage. It is said that the eight-foot mirror can change its own attributes according to the attributes of the attack, thereby invalidating the attack. So powerful Tenukiriko said in surprise. It's not that simple. His opponent is Satoru. On the battlefield, the Dark Suzano has resisted Gojo Satoru's Kyoshi. But the eight-foot mirror also had cracks. Ming pulled the eight-foot mirror away from his hand, and his eyes flashed with unprecedented solemnity. Even the eight-foot mirror could not completely resist Gojo Satoru's attack. You must know that the eight-foot mirror condensed on him the consumption is huge. Are you blocking it? Since it's Ming, let's be a little more arrogant. Gojo Satoru's expression changed from calm to crazy at this time. The magic technique turns brilliant. The magic technique turns dark. Koshiki Gojo Satoru once again performed a more terrifying virtual style than before. Advertisement. This monster looked at Gojo Satoru who attacked again and had to sigh with emotion. Gojo Satoru is indeed the strongest in the original work. Because Ming's Sherry Nan told him that Gojo Satoru's mantra consumption was basically no consumption. Who do you think I am? I am Uchiha Mei. Mei looked at the attack that had flown in front of him, and controlled Suzano to swing the giant sword towards the attack. Ming did not choose to escape. The long sword in my hand was shattered instantly without me resisting it for even a second. Then Suzana started to resist the attack with both hands, but his body was disintegrating bit by bit. Get away, you bastard. Gojo Satoru recovered at this time, his face full of panic. But Mei didn't seem to hear it. Suzana's hands were shattered, and Mei used the huge magic power in his body to restore it again. Only Mingan can play like this. If the spell power of others is absorbed, the attack released by Gojo Satoru this time is too strong, and the speed of recovery cannot match the speed of destruction. After holding on for a while, Suzana began to break apart little by little. At this moment, Gojo Satoru came to the sky above Ming, intending to rescue Ming. After all, he could still resist this limited virtual style. After all, it was his body's curse that emitted energy. Not good Gojo Satoru frowned he was too late now. Although he knew that this move wouldn't kill Ming, he didn't want to see Ming get seriously injured. Shoko looking at Shoko in the distance, Gojo Satoru shouted anxiously. I plan to let Shoko come to the rescue. After all, he knew that even if Mingying caught one of his empty attacks, he would be seriously injured. Damn it, is that kind of sudden state so difficult to control? 
Gojo Satoru frowned. It's not his fault. After all, magic power is inherently negative, and it will take some time for him to adapt to the sudden surge in magic power. Just when everyone was anxious, Gojo Satoru looked at the disappearing Kyoshi in surprise, and felt a powerful and majestic curse. This curse was not the dark negative energy but the positive energy multiplied by the two. Energy. Have you finally figured it out? Gojo Satoru smiled. Shoko and others who rushed over anxiously looked at Gojo Satoru. Gojo Satoru smiled and said, It's okay. Go back quickly. The battle has just begun. What method did you use to make my Kyoshi disappear? Not even a trace of the magic power remains. Gojo Satoru murmured. Advertisement. Chapter 57 Awakening the Eye of Reincarnation. Advertisement. Go back. The battle has just begun Gojo Satoru said. The scene returned to where Ming was resisting Gojo Satoru's hollow style Pyrene. Watching the attack in front of him, Ming didn't flinch at all. The magic power attached to his hands and began to resist the attack. He watched the shattered Susano and the same start. The dissipated arm, Ming began to use the inversion magician. At the moment when he was close to death, Ming finally understood the reversal technique, and the majestic curse power in his body began to slowly transform into the positive curse power, and his body also burst out with vigorous vitality and began to repair the body. Ming resisted the attack again and again, slowly transforming everything in his body. When all the magic power was transformed into him, the magic power in his body began to converge towards his eyes, and his mangekyo sherinan disappeared in his eyes in an instant, and then ripple-like textures appeared in his eyes. Hungry ghost path, absorb. Then Gojo Satoru's attack disappeared in an instant and smoke bombs were released. Everyone looked at Ming standing in the pit intact, but Ming lowered his head at this time, and they did not see Ming's expression. I didn't expect that you actually understood the reversal technique. I planned to teach you well then Gojo Satoru said with a smile. You've changed back. I thought I was going to wake you up. Ming said calmly. Hit me. Can you do it? Gojo Satoru said nonchalantly, but his eyes were serious, and it was obvious that he also noticed Ming's changes. Really? Wu Ming said lightly, then slowly raised his head, revealing a pair of purple-rimmed reincarnation eyes. Can I still evolve? Wu thought to himself. A sense of depression filled the heart, but Shoko and others who had already retreated to the back did not see this scene. Ming faintly raised his hand towards Gojo Satoru. All things are attracted by heaven. Advertisement. Gojo Satoru's figure flew towards Mingna unconsciously. Gojo Satoru instantly opens up the infinite and stabilizes his figure. Unexpectedly, Ming slowly lowered his hand. Oh, my ability, your eyes, can you copy my ability? That's really interesting. Gojo Satoru said lightly, but he didn't think so mentally. The body of Ming who opened the reincarnation eye seemed to be covered by a veil. It's so average, even six eyes can't see through it. Of course not, it's just the eyesight that comes with these eyes. Come on, let's start the second round, Wu, Ming said calmly. Since it's not my ability, then it's just mediocre, Gojo Satoru said disdainfully. Ming couldn't be too lazy to talk nonsense to Gojo Satoru now. He was very unhappy about being beaten just now. Heaven's hand power. Gojo Satoru, who was in the sky, felt the scenery in front of him change and looked at Ming in front of him. Instinct activates repulsion. But how could Ming give him a chance? A blacklist appeared in his hand and he stabbed Gojo Satoru. The moment the blacklist appeared, Gojo Satoru felt that the blacklist could penetrate his infinity. To be precise, it could disturb his infinity. Then he clasped his hands and disappeared. Ming, put your hands together. If I can't catch you, I'll seal you. Earth Explosion Star. Ming pointed his hand at Gojo Satoru, and gravity suddenly appeared around Gojo Satoru, and everything around him smashed towards him. Hack Gojo Satoru looked at the gravity around him, and then released Hack's repulsive force to neutralize the blow. Playing with gravity in front of me, you guy. Gojo Satoru said angrily. Advertisement. Then he aimed his hand at Ming, and Ming's body flew towards Gojo Satoru. Then he was thrown to the ground by Gojo Satoru. After Ming hit the ground, his eyes looked at Gojo Satoru. Tenjo Riki, swaps places with Gojo Satoru. That's how it feels. What kind of ability is it? Damn it, the curse power can't be mobilized. Gojo Satoru thought to himself. A blackboard penetrated Gojo Satoru's leg. Why is the magic power sealed? Ming had a sneer on his lips. Wang Xiang Tianyi Gojo Satoru is attracted to Ming. But Gojo Satoru reacted quickly and took out the iron rod in an instant. The inversion magician instantly cured Ichigo, and the infinity emerged around him, blocking Ming's attack again. Haku a red beam appeared in Gojo Satoru's hand. Shenra Tianjang. Two powerful repulsive forces confronted each other, white light suddenly appeared around them, and the two quickly retreated. The art of psychics, a huge dog head appeared in front of Ming and Gojo Satoru. And there are all kinds of animals. You guys, are you planning to open a zoo? Gojo Satoru said. But he thought to himself, it's not a cursed spirit, but there is cursed power in the body, and there are eyes like Ming. Are they the Shikigami of these eyes? TCH, Ming Ye said without any nonsense, and let these psychic beasts start running around. After all, a psychic beast with only one level of cursed spirit strength would be of no use against Gojo Satoru. The reason why he summoned it was to increase his field of vision. Although Gojo Satoru didn't know Ming's intentions, he still kept an eye on it, knowing that Ming was very sinister. Then the battle started again, and Gojo Satoru was repeatedly seen through by Ming Hei during the battle. After some experiments, Gojo Satoru also knew the intentions of those psychic beasts. Those guys have the same field of vision as you, Gojo Satoru said. Although he did not receive any substantial damage from the battle just now, he was still in an extremely embarrassed state. It's too late to know. Enlightenment, the prison on the edge of the tomb. Advertisement. Clone. Wu Yao exclaimed. Then the figure was controlled by Ming. Then Ming's figure began to retreat, and his eyes switched to the Mangekyo Sherinan. Satoru, didn't you ask me if you could absorb the planet into the divine space? I told you, you can't, Ming said calmly. Suzano appears. Only the forehand Sug's Yuninja seal can be seen. Heavenly obstacle shocking star. On the other side, Wei Yungxiang and Nanami Kento came back. Seeing that no one was in the high school, they were wondering what was going on. They happened to meet Xiaoyuja who had just woken up in the medical room. Natsu Senpai, are you okay? Hi Harris Yong asked with concern. Nanami was also very worried. No problem, have you seen Ming? 
Xiaoyuja asked. No, the two of them had just returned. Then Xiaoyuja felt two huge spells. Xiaoyuja was shocked to realize that it was Ming, and Gojo Satoru. Go quickly. Xiaoyuja didn't waste any time and ran to the training ground with the two of them. In about ten minutes, Xiaoyuja arrived with several people using cursed spirit. Stop it, you two, Xiaoyuja shouted. What is that? The sky suddenly darkened. A huge boulder was falling, and everyone looked up at it. What is this? Tenukiriko collapsed on the ground. Although this attack could not affect her, people would still be helpless in the face of natural disasters. Maximum power, Hayek Gojo Satoru broke free and pointed his hands towards the sky. Advertisement. Chapter 58 The Terrifying Ability Heavenly Obstacle Earthquake. Advertisement. You two, stop it. Xiaoyuja shouted loudly. At this time, Ming, who was standing in the distance with his arms around his shoulders and watching Gojo Satoru, and Gojo Satoru, who was using Jujitsu to bounce the meteorite back, both looked at the source of the sound. Jack. Jack. The two shouted at the same time, then one of them shook his hands, the other's eyes narrowed, and they both came to Xiaoyuja's side at the same time. Is everything okay, Ji? Ming, how do you feel? The two said at the same time. You are indeed fine, Satoru Xiaoyuja Gojo Satoru, except for the blood on his forehead, was still alive and kicking and said happily. Then he looked at Ming, whose purple rippled eyes were full of mystery and power. Ming, your eyes have evolved again. Xiaoyuja was a little surprised. Yes. Ming nodded. He checked Xiaoyuja with his samsara eye and found that except for the fact that his spell power had not recovered, he was in good condition. Hey, you haven't figured out the situation yet. Yaga Masamichi was also happy to see the three people who had recovered, but the current situation was obviously not the time to talk. Huh. The three of them were a little puzzled, and finally looked behind them belatedly. The huge boulder in the sky that blocks out the sun is slowly falling. Even if it did not fall, the falling boulders of such a huge boulder also destroyed the surrounding trees. You are the one who caused this, so you should do it. Gojo Satoru gloated about the effectiveness of the misfortune. Ming, on the other hand, had a dark look on his face. How can he do it? His abilities are not easy to use in this situation. The cause of this incident is not that a certain guy suddenly fell ill. I just want to recover him. So you better go ahead, Ming said calmly. Advertisement. Oof, don't I want to avenge you? Gojo Satoru said with a look of dissatisfaction. What are you talking about? Do I need you to take revenge? Who do you think I am? Ming said angrily. Why don't your ears work? And I'm not forgetful. I know who you are. Gojo Satoru looked like a dead pig that is not afraid of being raised in boiling water. You guys are definitely not awake yet. Do you need me to help you? Ming said through gritted teeth. Come on then, am I afraid of you? The winner hasn't been decided yet. I am the strongest. Gojo Satoru said with disdain. Okay, let's just stop talking and quickly find a way to solve the problem. Xiaoyuja looked at the two of them speechlessly. Satoru, it's not like you can't crack it. It's a gift from me, Ming said sarcastically. What, who do you think I am? Look at me. Gojo Satoru curled his lips and turned to look at the boulder behind him. Gojo Satoru, who glanced at it, froze for a moment. There is no good way to solve the problem without affecting the surrounding areas. Why can't it work? Ming had a mocking look on his face. Stop talking nonsense, you guys, hurry up and find a way to stop the boulder from falling. Yagamasamichi couldn't help but punch both of them on the head. The two of them were completely honest this time. Woo, I'll chop the boulder into pieces. You move the boulder away, Ming said calmly. Okay Gojo Satoru nodded. No, unless it is moved to the sea, otherwise such a big boulder will cause panic. Yagamasamichi said. That won't work. Mine can't move that far. Gojo Satoru waved his hand. In this case, it can only be crushed, Ming said lightly. Cursed spirit technique, extreme fan, vortex Xiaoyuja condensed a human vortex around his body. Oh, you have understood the ultimate power. Gojo Satoru and Mei were also a little surprised. It's okay, you all have made progress, and I can't stand still. But I haven't fully understood it yet, it's just a semi-finished product, Xiaoyuja said with some pity. After all, he couldn't extract the cursed spirit spell yet. Advertisement. Okay, the technique will turn to Kang, the technique will turn to He. A huge black ball appears behind Gojo Satoru. Azurideo, Azura's attack and arm appeared on Ming's shoulder. The arm began to gather terrifying spell power. Then three powerful attacks began to be launched. Enlightenment. New. Magical rotation, Kang. Weak. Earthburst Sky Star. Two huge forces of attraction began to attract the scattered stones into the air. Divine power, Ming finally used divine power to transfer the remaining boulders that had not turned into fly ash to the divine power space. It's finally over. I'll take care of you when I go back. Yagamasamichi wiped the cold sweat from his forehead. Gojo Satoru and Xiaoyuja didn't feel anything at all. Ming, on the other hand, stood there a little embarrassed. Um, Sansai, teacher, Ming said with some embarrassment as he looked at Yagamasamichi who was walking back. What's wrong, Ming, I will punish you and Satoru for whatever you say this time. Yagamasamichi said. No, that's not over yet, Ming Liliang said a little embarrassed. What did you say? Yagamasamichi said angrily and turned his head. At this time, an even bigger meteorite than before appeared in the sky. What's going on? Black lines appeared on Xiaoyuja's face. Advertisement. You also know that simply summoning one is of no use to Satoru, so I summon two. I don't care about you, Gojo Satoru said unhappily. Stop talking nonsense, Satoru, you are also involved in this matter. Hurry up and smash the stone to pieces for me. Ming immediately made a face to Gojo Satoru. Okay, I got it. You guy, I'll just crush him this time. Gojo Satoru said impatiently. Virtual style. Gojo Satoru once again used a more powerful virtual style, crushing an even larger meteorite. The underworld uses gravity to control it at this time, then transfer to the divine space. After solving this matter, everyone returned to the classroom. Gojo Satoru and Mio were inevitably taught a lesson. Still in front of juniors and Riko Tanuki, Ming and Gojo Satoru are sulking at each other all day long because of something. If Xiaoyuja hadn't been mediating in the middle, the two would have started fighting again. Gojo Satoru and the other three were also very tired because of Tanuki Riko's matter, and Tanuki Riko planned to invite several people from the high school to dinner, but no one refused. As a star prize body, you are still very rich. And on the way there, Xiaoyuja looked at Ming. Ming, can your eyes switch to normal form? 
Xiaoyuja asked curiously, looking at Ming who still maintained his reincarnation eyes. After all, these eyes were more conspicuous than his eternal kaleidoscope. Oh, I forgot. Ming closed his eyes, and when he opened them again, the purple rippled eyes had turned back into black pupils. By the way, didn't you say your eyes can't evolve? And those eyes are pretty ugly, Gojo Satoru complained. Shut up, Wu Ming rolled his eyes. Forgot. Xiaoyuja couldn't believe it. Could he forget this? After I learned the reversal technique, it doesn't cost me anything to open the sherry non. Basically, I don't need to close it. Ming said calmly. Oh, what are those purple sherry non eyes? Gojo Satoru asked immediately. He was very curious about Ming's eyes. If he didn't know the power of those eyes, he wouldn't be so embarrassed. It's not the sherry non, it's the Rinnegan. Although it also evolved from the sherry non, they are different. Ming said calmly. Advertisement. Chapter 59 Domain. Advertisement. That is the samsara eye. Although it is also evolved from the sherry non eye, the two are not essentially the same. Ming explained. Reincarnation eye, the name is good. Xiaoyuja lost. Relative to the name of those eyes, I am very curious about his abilities. You can actually use some of my abilities. Gojo Satoru asked anxiously. What is your ability? Don't put too much emphasis on yourself. That's my reincarnation eye, the ability of heaven. What does it have to do with you? Ming said with disdain. TCH, how could it be such a coincidence? It couldn't be gravity, repulsion, and AO's teleportation. Don't your eyes have two abilities every time they awaken? Gojo Satoru said disdainfully. First of all, is this the Rinnegan eye? It's not the Sherry non eye, and that one is not an extension of Kang. It's called Tenshao power. Finally, the repulsive force and gravity are a force that belongs to the way of heaven. Ming said lightly. Explain your abilities Yaga Masamichi asked. Okay, let me first introduce the Samsara Eye. The Samsara Eye is a special physique that activates my body after mastering the reversal technique and converting the mantra on my body. When the two are combined, the power of all things will be awakened. And one thing is that when I use the Rinnegan, I cannot use the Sherry Non Eye technique, but of course Susanna can use it. The completed body requires a kaleidoscope. In terms of abilities, when awakening, in addition to some special abilities, my Samsara Eye has these six basic abilities. Six? That's so many. I haven't developed other abilities yet, so you basically have six. Gojo Satoru said unhappily. Advertisement. Note that there are also special abilities. What the hell are you doing? Gojo Satoru just couldn't stand Ming's appearance. Okay, let's continue talking, Ming. Yaga Masamichi stopped the two quarreling people, and several people present were used to it. After all, the three of them would quarrel over nothing, and Riko Tanuki was not surprised at all, let alone everyone in the high school. The Samsara Eye is divided into six paths. The first is the ability of heaven to control gravity and repulsion. Then the beast said, it is the huge creature I summoned. Not only can it share the field of vision, but its combat strength is about that, but there are more powerful ones that cannot be summoned temporarily. And those beasts are still unkillable. If you want to defeat them, you must first defeat me who cast the spell. In the end, the Shuradeo is like this. When talking about the Shuradeo, Ming's body changed and he stretched out three hands. And some of his hands were cannonballs. A Shuradeo uses mantra as fuel to launch strong attacks, energy cannons, missiles, and tracking bombs, which turn me into a weapons arsenal. In the Hungry Ghost Path, it means absorption. Energy attacks composed of mantras can be absorbed by anything with mantras. The remaining worldly realms and hell realms cannot be used because of the first awakening. At this time, the inversion magicians can be mastered everywhere. The remaining special move, Tenshao's power, is to transfer the things and people seen with the eyes. Ming said lightly, what about that clone? I remember your clone was not that powerful and was very weird Gojo Satoru asked. Advertisement. You can indeed see, Satoru, you really have a pair of good eyes. Ming was curious at that time why Gojo Satoru broke free so quickly. Although it was because the pupil technique used in a hurry was not very powerful, he was still beaten by Gojo. Satoru solved it quickly. The wheel tomb, the border prison, summons an invisible shadow to attack. That shadow has the same power and spell as me, but it cannot use the pupil technique. Normal people, or to be precise, no one in this world can do it except you and me. See, Ming explained calmly. It's a really strong ability. Gojo Satoru said calmly. At this point, few people said anything. Although they were also curious about other abilities, Ming Ye did not continue. Even such Ming's ability amazed everyone. If this reincarnation eye can be given to others, even if it cannot become a special level, it would be very easy to become a first level spell. Everyone came to the dining place, had a meal happily, and then returned to the high school. Although Riko Tanuki was safe now, who knew if there were still any remaining evil spirits still lingering on. So let Tanuki Riko and Kuroa live in the high school for a while. During this time, Ming and Gojo Satoru cleared away all the remaining evildoers. The reason why they did not call Xiaoyuja was because Ming and Gojo Satoru discovered that Xiaoyuja had been listless since the last mission, as if he had something on his mind. Ming and Gojo Satoru asked, but Xiaoyuja didn't say anything, leaving the two of them helpless. After this incident, the time the three of them spent together became shorter and shorter. After all, the three of them were too strong. Basically, no matter what the task was, one person could easily complete it, and the three of them were also the successors to Yuki Kyuju, was successfully rated as a special level Jiu-Jitsu master, especially Ming, who was rated as a special level Jiu-Jitsu master by the senior management the next day after leaving Tianyuan. Ming, who was abroad, was drinking coffee and looking at the tall woman in front of him. Then he said calmly, to say it or not to say it. Hey, this is your attitude when asking for help. The tall woman replied with an unhappy look on her face. Forget it if you don't tell me anything. Ming stood up and left. Advertisement. Okay, I said it's not okay yet, but before I say anything, I want to ask you a few questions. The tall woman said. Tell me, I'm curious about why you want to become stronger even though you're so strong. The woman suddenly said seriously. Ming pondered. This world is very dangerous. It would be very dangerous if we stayed still, Ming said calmly. I don't believe it. Except for your best friend Gojo Satoru, I don't think anyone in this world can hurt you, not even Xiaoyuja. And I think you have a better chance of winning against Gojo Satoru, the woman said. Are you enlightened? Ming's indifferent eyes fell into deep thought again. After all, the three of them haven't contacted each other for a long time. I don't know the answer. 
I'm just following my heart. My heart tells me that it doesn't allow me to stop moving forward. My abilities have basically been developed to the limit, and now I just need domain expansion. And you are today the only magician who can expand his domain, Ming said calmly. I know, in fact, domain expansion is a domain that is expanded by the realm of birth and magic. It is an instantiation of the domain. To expand the domain, you must not only use the best of your own birth and magic, but also use the barrier. Technique. Understand, then build. I remember that there is a kind of field that is an open field. Ming said calmly. It seems that you know a lot. Yes, it does exist. That kind of field existed thousands of years ago, but I don't know much about it. In today's world, Tianyuan is probably the only one who knows about it. Jujuyuji said calmly. Actually, I was very curious when we first met. It wasn't until our last mission that I learned that you were also a star plasma body before. Ming looked at Jujuyuji seriously. Advertisement. Chapter 60 Xiaoyuji's Situation. Advertisement. Have you really noticed? Yes, I was once an astral body. Jujuyuki said without any secret. Okay, I'm not very interested in this kind of thing. Just let me experience your domain expansion, Ming said calmly. You're really impatient, man. Yuki Kyuju said. Ming ignored Jujuyuji and turned around to leave. Jujuyuji smiled sweetly and followed him. In a deserted place, Ming used his divine power to bring the two of them to a remote place. And arrange the account. 99 Yuki, no nonsense, hold both hands together, with the index finger, little finger, and thumb sticking together. Domain expansion, the space between stars. The surrounding environment was pitch black, with a starry sky above it. Well, this is my field. In my field, I will be given imaginary quality. Yuki Kyuju said with a smile. Ming ignored him, opened his sherry non and began to analyze the structure of the field in detail. After looking at it for about a minute, Ming frowned and looked at Jujuyuji. Attack me, Ming said. Are you sure? 99 Yuki asked. You must know that her domain attributes are not generally strong. Come on Ming said nothing. Jujuyuji waved his hand, and Ming only felt that his body was instantly suppressed by a force that could not be restrained. However, he felt much better after running the spell. Continue to increase the intensity, Ming said calmly. The Sherry Non stared intently at the 99 Yuki and the surrounding areas. Advertisement. 99 Yuji stepped up efforts. Kaka Ming's body deformed instantly, but he recovered in an instant, and a strong vitality burst out from the body. Okay, that's enough, Ming said calmly. Oh, how's it going? I roughly understand the principle and because of the difference in the birth technique, I can't expand the field according to your method. The problem still lies in the birth technique. My technique seems to me to be more cumbersome. Ming frowned and you said. Speaking of being complicated, Gojo Satoru's techniques are also very complicated, but since he awakened the Samsara Eye, his techniques are even more complicated than Gojo Satoru's. Actually, I suggest that you should meet Tian Yuan, because his understanding of the barrier will give you a lot of constructive suggestions. 99 Yuki said. That old guy, Ming eyes narrowed slightly. I know you were very angry about your last mission, but I also said that the only person in this world who is qualified to guide you is Tian Yuan. 99 Yuji said. I know, it seems that we really need to see it. Ming said calmly. When are you leaving? 99 Yuki asked. What are you planning to do? Ming said with a dark look on his face. How could it be? I also want to return to my country. Wouldn't it be more convenient to follow you? No need. Tell me the approximate address and I will use my divine power to send you back. Ming said with a headache on his face. That's not okay. I heard from my good apprentice that you are here for vacation. Advertisement. He has no right to know my whereabouts, Ming said calmly. It's not a secret. When you asked for leave, you had a serious quarrel with the old guys at the top of Neon. Jujuyuji said playfully. Ming didn't say anything. This matter was indeed no secret. When he refused to go on the mission, those old guys talked to him for a while, and their attitude was very bad. Naturally, Ming wouldn't spoil them, so he beat the senior executive directly. It couldn't be said to be a beating, but he just let the guy feel Tsukiyomi. Although Ming didn't torture him much at that time, the old man still stayed in the hospital for a month. And now I'm still in a trance. In the next few days, Juju followed him every day. Ming was so annoyed that he had to go back early. Hai Wenxiang called him and wanted to get together. Ming did not refuse. When they arrived in Japan, Juju didn't know what he was doing. The two of them separated, and Ming also walked to the high school. There is only Yagamasamichi among the high school students at this time, and he is working on the Cursed Bones. Three games. It's Ming, come in. Yagamasamichi looked up and then continued to make his curse. The curses created by the teacher this time is very unusual. Mia sat down without any courtesy and glanced at the curses in Yagamasamichi's hand. As expected, I can't hide it from you. I'm working on a technology that can change the entire Jujutsu world. Yagamasamichi didn't hide it either. Then teacher, haven't you already done it? Ming said with a smile on his face. Ha ha ha, you kid. Just like that guy Satoru, he said the same thing. Really? It can only be said that Satoru and I are together. After all, you have taught three monsters. After Ming said this with a smile on his face, he immediately looked at Yagamasamichi with a serious expression. Advertisement. Teacher, I want to ask you something. Hearing Ming's serious tone, Yagamasamichi put down the curse in his hand, his expression became serious, and he looked at Ming and said, It's G you want to ask. Yes, G's mental state has been very bad since the astral body incident. I originally thought he would recover over time, but he didn't. Ming said seriously. Well, I've also noticed this. Since the last mission, you have become stronger and stronger, with more and more missions, and less and less time to meet each other. When you came back last time, I followed he talked, he didn't say anything, Yagamasamichi said. Yeah, so this time the guy from Haiwen asked us to come back and get together. I also wanted to see Ji's condition. Then I would take two days off to spend time with him. Ming said calmly. You kid, I'm afraid it's not to help Jay, but to take a vacation, Yagamasamichi joked. Sansai, you may have misunderstood me, but I really don't want to perform those boring tasks anymore. Ming said and stood up calmly. Are you bored? I ask you, do you think you can win if you fight now Satoru? Yagamasamichi asked seriously. Who knows, I just won't lose anyway. Ming said calmly. Then he turned around and left the room and walked outside. Looking at Ming's back, Yagamasamichi murmured, you won't lose. In the eyes of Yagamasamichi, if there is one person who can surpass Gojo Satoru today, it is the student in front of him. Because Ming has never shown his full strength from before to now. Perhaps it is due to his personality. 
Ming Dan is always trying to catch fish, and his abilities are more and more perverted. Even when fighting against Gojo Satoru and Xiaoyuja, although it sometimes seemed that they were attacking lightly, only Ming and Yagamasamichi knew that Ming had been hiding all the time. Although Gojo Satoru and Xiaoyuja did not use their full strength, it was obvious that Ming is the deepest hidden. Are you bored? Maybe this is your sadness. Each of them is a monster that is rare to encounter in a century, but they have become close friends who cherish each other. Advertisement. Chapter 61 Yagamasamichi's Worries. Advertisement. In the eyes of Yagamasamichi, all three Gojo Satoru have flaws in their characters, but it is also this flaw that makes the three of them become close friends. This is impossible in the eyes of others, but Yagamasamichi is just the opposite. Gojo Satoru has an arrogant personality and does things without caring about the consequences. He is extremely bad and does things based on his preferences. However, for those who recognize him, he will use his own way to protect and comfort others. Xiaoyuja's character is extremely stubborn, even a little extreme. Although he is quite sinister, he is a gentle person at heart. And Ming has a cold personality and is extremely arrogant, which is pride engraved in his bones. Except for those who can put down his cold mask, he doesn't care about others at all, but Yagamasamichi knows in his heart that Ming is not like this, it is just covered up by his cold appearance, and Ming is a person who attaches great importance to feelings. People. From his last incident over the astral body, it can be seen that if he still chooses to respect Xiaoyuja even when he is furious, only a few people from the high school can make Ming put down his pride. Ming, who came out of Yagamasamichi, was wandering around the high school when his eyes suddenly darkened. Who is it? Ming's eyes flashed with a hint of seriousness. Shoko, you are a medical staff, why are you always in danger? Puzzle flashed in Ming's eyes, but he didn't hesitate, and his figure began to twist and finally disappeared from the place. The scene changed, and now he was floating in the air, looking at the dark tent indifferently, and had already seen through the internal affairs with his sherry non. Ha 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 ha, it's so interesting. I didn't expect it. It really exists. But it's so weak. There was a happy smile on Ming's face, and at this time, Shoko's pupil technique burst out with a black flame, and the black flame hit the surrounding ghosts begin to burn. Heaven's hand power. Ming looked at the scene in front of him and teleported over. Shoko and others reacted when a cold voice sounded. Advertisement. Shenra Tianjang. A terrifying repulsive force broke out, and the cursed spirit was instantly shattered by the huge repulsive force. Ming, you're here. Shoko and the others finally felt relieved this time. Long time no see, Shoko and Yuta him, are Miss Meimei here too? Ming greeted calmly. What makes me curious is that Miss Meimei is here, and Shoko can actually trigger my pupil technique. Ming looked at Meimei curiously. Meimei smiled slightly and pushed up her clothes, and saw something like eyes growing on Meimei's white and tender arms. Have you been cursed? But there is one thing that puzzles me. I don't think you two should be sent on this mission. Ming murmured. Yes, this mission was originally sent to you, but since you beat that old guy last time, this mission was actually intended to be assigned to Yuki Kyuju, but she rejected it, so the higher UPS contacted me. Originally thought it was just an ordinary first level cursed spirit, but now it seems that it is not that simple. Mei Mei explained. Ming Ziyi covered his forehead. No wonder that woman knew his whereabouts. Forget it, let's remove the cursed spirit before that. Ming smiled slightly and didn't care at all. Ming took the three girls and walked inside. I wonder if Miss Mei Mei has any information about this cursed spirit. Advertisement. As far as we know, the cursed spirit here should have been born a long time ago, and after investigations by Yutime and I, the one that best fits the characteristics of this cursed spirit is the legendary Yamada no Orakai. Mei Mei did not hide it either. Of course, if it is really Yamada no Orakai, even I will give up on this mission, but I think there is no Yamada no Orakai in it. It should be something like a cursed object related to Yamada no Orakai. Mei Mei said. Ming nodded. He also felt that it would be a bit embarrassing if the so-called Yamada no Orakai was really weak like this. You must know that the legendary cursed spirit of Yamada no Orakai is not just a single one after thousands of years of wear and tear. A level magician can solve it. In Mei's opinion, the most conservative estimate of Yamada no Orakai is that it has the strength of Ryaman Sukuna, with about 13 fingers. The three of them came to an altar without much thought. A cursed spirit slowly turned around, and a huge human-shaped cursed spirit with snake-like features looked over. Looking at Ming and others, greed flashed in their eyes. There must be a special one here. Mei Mei's eyes narrowed slightly. Even he didn't dare to say that this cursed spirit could be removed 100%, but Ming was there this time, so naturally she wasn't worried. Hee <laughs> hee, human, I haven't seen a human in a long time. Rinian cursed spirit grinned. It looks very scary. Oh, you are so smart. Forget it, if that's the case, let's get rid of you first. Ming was a little surprised. You must know that even special grade cursed spirits with wisdom are rare, not to mention that this guy is not very strong. With such wisdom. Human, do you want to kill me? Do you know who I am? The snake-shaped cursed spirit said. It's just cursed spirit Ming said with disdain on his lips. Seeing such a ghost, cursed spirit couldn't bear it anymore, and saw a lot of black gas suddenly appearing around it, like a heavy fog. And they condensed snake heads one by one and bit them towards Ming and others. Ming's face was calm, his eyes were closed, and he opened a pair of purple eyes again, followed by a wave of terrifying pressure that pressed towards the cursed spirit like a tide. Although I don't need this power to deal with you, I also want to try what these eyes can do. Ming murmured to himself. Advertisement. The moment Ming's reincarnation eye appeared, a flash of fear flashed in cursed spirit's eyes, which was the tremor coming from the soul. Damn, how could a mere human being scare me? Cursed spirit said disdainfully, but ignored it. A terrifying repulsive force from Shenra Tianjang broke out instantly, and the tongue of the terrifying black mist was instantly shattered, and the black mist began to dissipate in the blink of an eye. Cursed spirit looked at the snake that was attacking. A terrifying high temperature burst out from the terrifying snake. It slowly gathered on its mouth, and a blast of terrifying high temperature was emitted. Grave of wheels, border prison. The flames dissipated instantly, and the snake-headed cursed spirit's head instantly fell off. At this time, he stared at Ming with wide eyes and an expression of disbelief. Ming slowly walked towards cursed spirit's head and stepped on it. The head was instantly torn apart, but what everyone didn't expect was that at this time, the snake-headed man once again opened his head and punched Ming, with terrifying black mist clinging to his fist. Be careful, Ming, the three girls reminded anxiously. 
How can you still survive after losing your head? Ming had already noticed that the snake head cursed spirit was not dead, with a sneer on his lips. With one punch, cursed spirit's body instantly flew backwards, while Ming looked at the black mist stained in his hands. Simple spell power can't remove it. And cursed spirit got up from the ground, the black mist slowly wrapped around his body, and the injuries he had just been beaten by Ming healed quickly. It's useless. My black mist is the power given to me by the Lord. There is nothing you can do. Cursed spirit said confidently, and then his eyes were full of surprise. Advertisement. Chapter 62 Yamada no Orakai. Advertisement. How could you? The snake-headed man showed a panic expression for the first time, because after Mingze felt the power of the black mist, he lost interest and used the power of the hungry ghost path of the samsara eye to absorb this power. There's nothing surprising, right? A mere cursed spirit looks like a human being. It's really disgusting, so you'd better die. There was murderous intent in Ming's eyes. Then reach out to cursed spirit. Wang Xiang Tianyin an attraction burst out, and the deep meaning around him flew towards Ming. Cursed spirit mobilized the power of the curse and was covered in high temperature, spitting a high temperature fireball towards Ming. There was a sneer in Ming's eyes. Narrowing his eyes, he saw a figure appearing in front of Ming. This figure was the snake man. The snake man was also confused. Looking at the fireball, panic flashed in his eyes, but it was already too late. The fireball hit cursed spirit, and a burning smell appeared. Cursed spirit and Ming were wrapped in black smoke, and the three women watching the battle outside didn't know what was going on. They only heard cursed spirit's screams, and then a shadow flew out, and another figure walked out slowly holding his shoulders. The former is naturally the cursed spirit, and the latter is naturally the underworld. Ming slowly walked towards the cursed spirit. At this time, he had completely lost interest in the cursed spirit. Although cursed spirit was seriously injured, he was able to use the black mist to heal his injuries, and the injuries were cured after a while. Although cursed spirit was not injured at this time, he was scared and for some reason he always felt like he would be killed. The recovery ability is indeed very strong, but I have no interest in reading anymore. The purple light in Ming's eyes receded. Advertisement. You, you can't kill my human. Cursed spirit said nervously. Ming ignored it. At this time, a flash of red appeared in his pupils, and then a half-length giant who was watching alone appeared in front of him, and a knife appeared in his hand. Ming didn't waste any time and slashed at the snake-shaped cursed spirit. The cursed spirit's body and mind were cut into pieces. But in a blink of an eye, the black mist filled the mantra and the mantra recovered again. Ha ha ha, you can't kill me. The cursed spirit, which had recovered at this time, was not as scared as before. Since the underworld couldn't kill him, what did it have to be afraid of? Even if it was sealed, he would be rescued. I really don't know what to say, Ming was too lazy to explain. I saw a knife appearing in the hand of another Susano, and there was a wine gourd at the end. The big knife stabbed out. It's useless. How could you kill me at this level, human being? How? Your sword. It's impossible. That sword has been destroyed by that adult. How could you? Ah, no, no, ah. Cursed spirit went from being calm just now to being frightened now. Ming ignored it and after starting to loosen up, the cursed spirit was instantly sucked into the gourd along the sword body. And Ming was deep in thought at this time. From the information just now, he knew that his ten fist sword also existed in this world, had similar functions, and was destroyed. According to legend, the ten fist sword was destroyed by Yamada no Orakai destruction. Interesting, imagine the fictional cursed spirit Yamada no Orakai, then I really want to see your strength. Ming thought secretly in his heart. It does not affect the plot of the meeting. It is just a side plot of one person. After solving these matters, May will take Shoko back. By the way, Yutahim, are you going back for this high school dinner? Ming looked at Yutahim and said, I'm not going back, Yutahim said with an unhappy expression. Thinking of my Gojo Satoru face, Yutahim was extremely angry. Advertisement. Ha ha ha, that guy Wu really misses you and complains to me every time. Ming had a smile on his face. Really, really. Yutahim asked with a look of disbelief. But Ming Zhao had already left with Shoko. Well, Miss Mei Mei, I would like to take two days off, Yutahim said. Okay, but you have to take me with you. Mei Mei said. Huh. Yutahim looked at Mei Mei in confusion. Mei Mei didn't speak. After this incident, he had a new understanding of Ming, which made him very interested, so he had something to cooperate with Ming. Don't worry, I just have something to discuss with Mr. Ming. Then he turned and left. A Yutahim froze on the spot with a cute look on his face. Then he immediately followed him. Wait a minute for me, Miss Mei Mei. Ming and Shoko were walking on the road. Ming took out a lollipop from his pocket and threw it to Shoko. Shoko happily caught it, opened it, and started eating. Shoko, how can a medical staff always be in danger if they have nothing to do? Ming said calmly as he walked in front. Oh, I can't help it. Every time Yutahim Senpai calls me, nothing good happens. Shoko said lazily. Advertisement. Ming, on the other hand, turned around and stared at Shoko, giving Shoko a look of embarrassment. Then he said coquettishly, Well, don't I also want to feel the feeling of fighting? Hee <laughs> hee. Shoko also knew that Ming was very smart, Mei Mei was fine at the scene, and Yutahim's clothes were slightly dirty, but in this case Shoko actually activated the pupil technique that Ming had in her eyes. Next time, don't do this. This matter is very dangerous. If you encounter a stronger cursed spirit, you may not even be able to trigger the pupil technique. Ming said with a little gentleness. This is not an exaggeration, just for example, when Kuroa faced Fushiguro sure, Fushiguro didn't want to kill her, so he knocked her unconscious and did not trigger the pupil technique. Otherwise, Ming would have already determined Fuhaishir's location. I know, Shoko smiled sweetly. Then he jumped to Ming's side. The two slowly walked into the classroom. At this time, Nanami and Hai Hara Yu were also in the classroom. Senior Ming, you are back. Hai Wen Xiong still looked full of energy. Ming looked at Hai Wen and smiled happily, while Nanami was still the same. Although the current Nanami is also very old-fashioned, she is not the same as the previous one. There are still some differences between Nanami, a wage earner. Nanami Kento waved to Ming and said hello, then turned around to read a book, while Hai Yung Xiong talked eagerly with Ming. 
and also very talkative. And Ming also knew that Hai Wen Xiong admired Xiao Yuja very much. I also asked about Xiao Yuja's situation. The three of them were busy during this period, so they had little contact. But Ming was disappointed. Although Hai Wen Xiong often contacted Xiao Yuja, Hai Wen Xiong didn't see anything wrong, and Ming wasn't surprised either. After all, Hai Wen was a very nervous guy. At this time, Nanami, who was reading over there, raised his head and looked at Ming and others. Ming also looked at Nanami. He knew that I, Nanami, had a very delicate mind. Nanami, what do you think? Ming looked at Nanami Kento. I think Senior Ziyu has doubts about his persistence because of what happened in the last astral body incident. He should be very confused now. Nanami is indeed Nanami, and every word he says goes straight to the point. Of course Ming also knows, but Xiaoyuja is very stubborn, and even Ming and Gojo Satoru, who are close friends, may not be able to listen to his advice. Advertisement. Chapter 63 The Strongest Gojo Satoru. Advertisement. Two days passed in a hurry. At this time, Gojo Satoru had completed his mission and rushed back, and Xiaoyuja came back with him. At this time, Xiaoyuja looked very haggard, with thick dark circles under his eyes, and his face was all numb. He was no longer the same dark-hearted and gentle Xiaoyuja as before. Gojo Satoru was also startled when he met Xiaoyuja again. He teased Xiaoyuja, but Xiaoyuja just stiffly forced out an ugly smile. Gojo Satoru and Xiaoyuja felt the power of Ming's spell when they entered the high school. Without any surprise, they went straight to Ming's dormitory. Ming Ziran also felt the arrival of Gojo Satoru and others. Hey, I haven't seen you for a long time. It seems that you are living well recently. Gojo Satoru had a happy smile on his lips. Nothing, no comparison with Master Gojo Satoru. Ming said, rolling his eyes. Speaking of which, gee, you have such dark circles under your eyes. What did you do at night? Ming Ye was startled by Xiaoyuja's appearance. Although there was a connection, he couldn't see anyone after all. Yet, yeah, I'll ask Jay to be more restrained, Gojo Satoru said. Shut up, Wu. Xiaoyuja finally regained some sparkle in his eyes. Oh, gee, look at our looks. It's not necessary. It's really not possible. Let's spend some money. Wu is the best at it. Ming hooked Xiaoyuja's shoulder and said, Advertisement. Get lost. Xiaoyuja threw Ming Xiao away angrily. Ha ha ha, it's okay. I'll pay the bill. Gojo Satoru looked like he understood everything. Ah, I realized that I was wrong about you. You are so good at this. There was disgust in Ming's eyes. Yes, Wu, I really misjudged you. I didn't expect you to look quite decent. I didn't expect to do such a thing. Xiaoyuja also complained. Hey, what? It was obviously you who suggested it. Gojo Satoru said angrily. Oh, what did I say? Ming retorted calmly. You, hum, I think you are targeting me. There is nothing you can do about it. Not being jealous is mediocre. It seems that you have finally understood that this young master is indeed the strongest one. Gojo Satoru said more and more. Excited, it can even be described as elated. What do you want to eat tonight, Ming? Xiaoyuja looked at Ming and said. Hey, this really bothers me. I don't know. I have difficulty choosing. Ming CAO scratched his head and said. Gojo Satoru looked at the two of them with a look of resentment. These two people were definitely targeting him. Satoru, what do you think? He looked at Gojo Satoru with a smile on his face. Needless to say, of course it's cake. Gojo Satoru said. Hey, you got, as expected, hey, it seems that G and I are close friends. Ming sighed. What did you say? Why, bastard. Advertisement. Look, G and I are both salty friends, and you are the only sweetheart, so you and we are not from the same group, so let's break up our relationship, Ming said with a pity look on his face. Asshole, J, look at this bastard. He just abandoned our friendship like this. Gojo Satoru roared. Enlightenment, haven't you learned the reversal technique? It's really time to change your taste. Xiaoyuja said calmly. Gojo Satoru jumped up in anger, got into a fight with the two of them. After this incident, Xiaoyuja also recovered a lot. Ming was also very happy. At noon, Gojo Satoru and everyone were sitting in the classroom. Gojo Satoru began to show everyone the results of his training during this period. The specific results also surprised everyone. First of all, Gojo Satoru changed the unlimited time stop power from manual to automatic, and also added his repulsive force. The danger of the attack can be judged based on the spell power and the shape of the object, and the degree of danger different screenings are performed automatically whether to pause or attack. In other words, the situation like Fushiguro last time will not happen again. Not only that, Gojo Satoru also changed the inversion magician to automatic. Basically, in addition to destroying Gojo Satoru's brain instantly, otherwise he would rely on inversion. The magician, Gojo Satoru is also extremely difficult to kill. What's more, Gojo Satoru also has an invincible technique with no lower limit. How's it going? Gojo Satoru said with a stinking look on his face. Satoru, you have indeed become the strongest. Xiaoyuja said nothing, his eyes were full of darkness. Although he was also happy for Gojo Satoru, he was very confused in his heart. Gojo Satoru became stronger and stronger, and the three of them were separated. Since the separation, Xiaoyuja has never used the help of Sherry Nan to devour the cursed spirit. Although he was also given the pupil technique by Ming, Xiaoyuja was of no use, because he felt that this was what he should bear. God gave him unparalleled talents, so he had to endure these, which caused him, who was already confused, to collapse even more. Gojo Satoru and Ming did not notice the injured Xiaoyuja, and only Nanami Kento at the scene saw all this. Advertisement. Gojo Satoru was very happy when he saw everyone's reaction and continued. Besides, Ao and Haku have almost mastered the multiple activations of each, and the requirement of palm seals has been omitted. The topic of the strategy now is the field, and teleported over long distances. Shoko, the others, and even Yagamasamichi had to lament that Gojo Satoru was too strong. Gojo Satoru, who was originally extremely strong, has now clearly become the strongest magician in the contemporary era. But everyone still looked at Ming, after all, what would be the expression of this man who always suppressed Gojo Satoru and was extremely arrogant. At this time, Minorai looked calm, as if he had not heard everything Gojo Satoru explained. That's it. 
I feel like you've been slacking off during this time. Ming looked at the people who were looking at him and said calmly. No one was entangled. After all, the person in front of them was Uchiha Mei, so it was not surprising what he said. You guys are not jealous of me, are you? Gojo Satoru said with an unhappy face. You must know that this is one of the few results of his serious training. Why do you think I'm jealous of you? Unfinished long distance teleportation. I was able to do that kind of thing a long, long time ago. Or am I jealous of your clueless domain expansion? Ming said calmly. And Gojo Satoru looked at Ming in surprise. Ming ignored Gojo Satoru's expression and continued. My current power of divine power can also cause blur without time limit, and I can also attack. Everyone gasped. These two monsters. But Gojo Satoru thinks differently from everyone else. Wait a minute, you guys can already expand your domain, right? Gojo Satoru said. Who knows? Ming said with a confident smile on his face. It's impossible, absolutely impossible. It's impossible for you to understand domain expansion before me. Gojo Satoru said quickly. Advertisement. Chapter 64 Three people fight each other. Advertisement. What's the fuss about expanding the field earlier than you? Ming said with disdain on his face. What? What are you so proud of? I can expand my domain very quickly. Besides, I was the first to understand the inversion master. Am I proud? Gojo Satoru said. Hey, I'm just an inversion magician. What's there to show off with such a simple magic technique? Ming shouted angrily. Easy? Then why don't you learn faster than me? Gojo Satoru said with a proud look on his face. Asshole, you have to understand. The reason why I didn't understand the reversal technique is because I have never been injured, and I didn't understand the core. You realized it before me because you faced that monkey and was beaten into a dog, so you realized it. Oh, I really can't imagine being beaten to that half-dead state by a person without magic power, and almost killed. I wouldn't even have the nerve to mention such a thing. After hearing what Ming Xian said, Gojo Satoru's expression kept changing, and then he looked at Ming Xian angrily. You guy, weren't you beaten half to death by me before you understood the reversal technique? You are still not as good as me. If I hadn't kept my hand, I would be worse than you. Gojo Satoru roared with anger on his face. Woo, you guy, you still dare to mention what happened last time. I have never been so embarrassed since I was born. If I hadn't seen you possessed last time, I would have beaten you into a dog. Ming Ye was angry, roared. What did you say? You have a vicious tongue. What's wrong, stinky white hair? The two quarreled here, and the style of the painting changed instantly. The two were like children. Gojo Satoru pulled Ming's black hair, and Ming kicked Gojo Satoru's thigh and also pulled Gojo Satoru's white hair. Q version Gojo Satoru and Hades. Advertisement. Asshole, let me go. Gojo Satoru said with a painful look on his face. Why do you order me? Am I someone you can control? You let me go first. Ming said with an unconvinced look on his face. Why should I let it go first? If you want to let it go, you have to let it go first. The two of them made no concessions. Everyone laughed out loud when they saw the two people whose painting styles had changed. Yagamasamichi coughed seriously at this time, and then asked the two to stop. But both of them were tempered, so how could they stop? When Xiaoyuja saw this scene, he walked out from behind with a helpless smile on his face. Looking at the two people fighting like children, he said gently, Ming Yawu, please stop it. You look like a senior, okay. Just as Xiaoyuja finished speaking, a sudden change occurred. Gojo Satoru's shoes were seen flying towards Xiaoyuja at an extremely fast speed, but Xiaoyuja did not pay attention and was hit in the face by the shoe. The shoe fell off Xiaoyuja's face, and a shoe print was left on Xiaoyuja's handsome face. Xiaoyuja's face was covered with black lines and his eyes were gloomy, but he still suppressed his unhappiness and tried to maintain a gentle attitude and said, Can't help it. Before Xiaoyuja could finish speaking, another shoe flew towards him. Fortunately, Xiaoyuja was well prepared and avoided it immediately. At this time, the two people, who were fighting more and more fiercely, did not hear Xiaoyuja's words at all. Xiaoyuja had just dodged a flying shoe, and was about to turn around when he called the two of them to stop again. A shoe flew again, and again accurately landed on Xiaoyuja's face. Asshole, I'm going to beat you two to death today. Xiaoyuja couldn't suppress the anger in his heart at this time. He rolled up his sleeves and walked towards the two people who were having a fierce fight. As a result, the war between the two turned into a fight between the three, and the scene became increasingly chaotic. Asshole, Jay, why did you hit me? Gojo Satoru screamed. Advertisement. Gee, you idiot, you have said that you don't slap people in the face. How dare you slap my handsome face? Ming's angry voice also sounded at the same time. Then Ming punched Xiaoyuja. Xiaoyuja felt his nose feel warm and watched the blood flow out of it. In the last Q version, the strongest trio started fighting each other. After fighting for a while, Yagamasamichi couldn't bear it anymore and walked towards the three of them and roared, Stop, or I will be punished by standing there until dawn. When the three heard Yagamasamichi's voice, they were shocked and stopped immediately. Yagamasamichi looked at the three of them with a gloomy expression and one of them punched the three of them. Stand still for me. The three of them also stood in line obediently, and the three of them looked at each other, and then turned their heads away with a cold snort. From left to right, Gojo Satoru turned his head to the left, while Ming looked at the sky. Yuja turned his head to the right. The three of them looked at each other with disgust. Looking at the three people standing there, Shoko had a smile on his face, while Nanami and Nanami were holding back their smiles. After all, they were seniors and they didn't dare to laugh. In fact, I don't blame Shoko and others, the three of them are really funny. Not to mention the tacit understanding of turning their heads in different directions at the same time, the funniest thing is the current image of the three of them. Gojo Satoru was barefoot, one of his spectacle lenses was missing, his hair was messy, and his handsome face was swollen and completely asymmetrical. And his nose was bleeding. Ming Zi had a black eye on his right eye, his hair was still messy and had the same style as Gojo Satoru, and he also lost a shoe. Xiaoyuja was also miserable, his head was completely shattered, and he even had a pair of panda eyes. The worst part was that he could no longer open his eyes, a pair of panda-sized eyes. The clothes on his upper body were torn like a beggar. Looking at the three people, Yagamasamichi, was really speechless. They finally got together and either quarreled or fought. Fortunately, no spells were used this time. But this image reminds me that Yutahim will bring guests later. He was just really helpless. You three guys, go and clean up for me right now. Yagamasamichi pointed in the direction of the dormitory. Yes, Laosi, teacher, Gojo Satoru. Advertisement. Yes, Master Lu, teacher, Ming. 
Like, Teacher Syayuja. The three of them answered obediently at the same time. Why are you trying to imitate me? Gojo Satoru looked at the two of them. Who is imitating your speech? Please understand, you two are obviously imitating me. No matter what, I must have made the sound first. Syayuja looked at him and said unhappily. Seeing the three people who were about to quarrel again, Yagamasamichi immediately roared angrily, Get back here quickly. The three of them immediately obeyed, but the disgust in their eyes did not fade away. Looking at the three people walking away, Yagamasamichi also smiled slightly, and his anxious heart finally felt at ease. But then his face immediately darkened, because the three of them started arguing again. I saw three people trapped in the doorway. Yes, they were trapped there. The three of them wanted to go out to the classroom, but the entrance to the classroom was very narrow, and none of them had the intention to give way. In the end, the three of them were trapped there at the same time. I told you, let me go first, don't you two understand? Ming said with an angry look. Why? I said I should leave first. Xiaoyuja also looked dissatisfied. Why? Let you go first. It should be me, but I'm standing on the far left. Shut up Satorit, the one on the right should go first. You two guys should really get some sunshine, so you won't be regarded as idiots. I'm standing in position C, facing the door. I should be the one to leave first. Yagamasamichi, with his forward bent at this time, was really tired. As expected, there was nothing he could do about these three guys. Advertisement. Chapter 65 The Paths Chosen by Each. Advertisement. After the farce ended, the three of them tidied up their appearance, and then used the Inversion Magician to treat their injuries. After such a long time, Xiaoyujo also mastered the Inversion Magician, so the injuries from the slapstick just now are not good for you and the others. It was cured very simply. After tidying up everything, everyone walked towards the dinner place. When they arrived, the three of them looked at each other with happy smiles on their faces, because this place was the room that Yagamasamichi had booked after the three of them met for the first time. But unlike last time, different from the naive ones a year ago, the three of them have become super magicians, and this time there are Yutahim, Nanamai Kento and others, and even Mei Mei. During this dinner, Ming and the other three surprisingly did not quarrel, but ate very well. Everyone felt strange because of the calmness of the three of them. After eating, Ming and the other three walked out first in tacit agreement. Yagamasamichi did not stop him, looking at the three people with a look of depression in their eyes, and Shoko and others did not follow him out. This is a conversation between men. At this time, the three of them were walking on the street and wandering around. Gojo Satoru and Syayuja were not walking funny at this time. The appearance of the three of them attracted the attention of passers-by, but the three of them just walked aimlessly. Hey, tell me, how long will it take for me to go like this? Gojo Satoru spoke first. Gojo Satoru spoke, and the three of them stood there at the same time. Satoru, what are your plans for the future? Mei looked at Gojo Satoru and said, Only the devil knows. Gojo Satoru's eyes were a little dodgy and he turned his head, not wanting them to see the sadness in his eyes. Where's Jay? Advertisement. I, I don't know. To be honest, I don't know what to do now. Xiaoyuja's eyes were full of confusion. What about you, Ming? I, like you, haven't thought about it well. Complexity flashed in Ming's eyes. Okay, why make it so complicated? Really, I just don't like this very depressing atmosphere. Gojo Satoru smiled with disdain. Right, that's right. The three of them then walked towards the high school with relaxed expressions. On the way back to the high school, the three of them looked at the three roads in front of them. They all instinctively want to follow the path of their own choosing. The three of them looked at each other. Let's go. The three of them said at the same time. Then the three of them chose their own path. Gojo Satoru went to the far left path, and Xiaoyujo went to the far right path. Pluto goes in the middle direction. The road Gojo Satoru chose was a route full of lights and unusually winding roads, the road chosen by most people. Xiaoyuja walked towards the shortest road without any lights, although it was muddy, a path only some people would take if they are anxious. Ming walked towards a road with no lights and even fog in front of him. Although it was flat, he didn't know how far it was. About half an hour later, the three of them met at the entrance of the high school. Advertisement. The three of them looked at each other and smiled. No matter what, it is enough that the three of them have the same purpose. Go back. The three of them touched their fists together with happy smiles on their faces. Back in the room, the three of them returned to their respective dormitories, lay on the bed and began to think about their future. Ming thought for a while, stood up, and walked out of the room. Started walking aimlessly in Jaiswen. Good evening, senior. A plain voice sounded. Ming hesitated and didn't pay attention. He followed the source of the voice and looked at Nanamai Kento who was reading a book at this time. It's Nanamai, why don't you rest yet? Ming looked at his valued junior with gentleness. Senior, isn't it the same? I don't think Gojo Senpai and Natsumai Senpai can sleep either. Maybe. Ming said ambiguously. Senior, I have something to ask you. Tell me. In your eyes, what exactly is a Jiu-Jitsu master? Number 7 looked at Ming seriously. Jiu-Jitsu master? It seems that little Nanamai is also confused sometimes. Ming did not reply but looked at Nanamai curiously. Advertisement. Senior is not the same. When I first met him, I felt that he is a person who knows what he is doing and what he wants. But now, the same is true for Senior. Nanamai Kento said. Yeah, I thought I was like that, but some things are not up to us, right? But little Nanamai wants to ask what a Jiu-Jitsu master is. Then my understanding is that to me, a Jiu-Jitsu master is just an ordinary profession that I can no longer be ordinary. But for you, including Wu, it is a kind of bondage. Ming said lightly. Is it possible that someone as strong as Gojo Satoru Senpai can't break free? Yes, Satoru is from the Gojo family. He also has things that he must protect and the responsibility of being the strongest. Because he is the person chosen by this era, even Satoru cannot escape. Ming said, then how to break free, those who were hurt by the cursed spirit, and why we have to carry out such a dangerous mission, I don't understand, looking at the people who were killed by the cursed spirit, and those who died with despair what are the eyes, and even the resentful eyes for, Nanamai seemed to recall some bad scenes, and her face was no longer so calm, little Nanamai, if you want to break free, you have to go through the barriers in your own heart, listen to me, no matter you, or even me, we are only human beings, and we cannot save everyone, therefore, we only need to try our best to save the people we can, and do not blame anyone, nor you, for the people we cannot save. As long as you are worthy of your own heart, and you try your best to save her, then you will be worthy of your heart. Ming said patiently as he looked at the back he valued and fell into himself. 
If I were as powerful as Senior Ming, wouldn't there be more people? Nanamai looked at Ming and said, Maybe, but you have to know, little Nanamai, you don't need to think so much now. People living in this world are selfish, so now you are not saving others, but saving yourself, the people you cherish. Do you understand? Only when you are redeemed can you be worthy of saving others. Ming's eyes were full of seriousness. After hearing this, Nanamai Kento's eyes were no longer confused and he bowed deeply to Ming. Thank you, senior, for your teaching. Nanamai understands, Nanamai said respectfully. Go, little Nanamai, sometimes you have to learn from that boy Haber Yu. Suo Ming turned around and returned to his room. After saying these words, Ming also understood his own path. But Ming didn't know what to do. Advertisement. Chapter 6599 Yuji meets Xiaoyuja. Advertisement. Time passes in a hurry, and a year passes in the blink of an eye. The former strongest trio also separated. Each pursues his own path. This summer, there were many neon natural disasters, cursed spirits kept coming out like maggots, and there were more tasks. It took a long time for the three of them to meet each other. Although they are separated, the reputation of the three people is growing. Even if they are separated, the three of them are still the strongest. Together they are invincible, but apart they are each powerful. But the most famous of the three is Gojo Satoru. Because of his powerful strength, he is already recognized as the strongest in the jiu-jitsu world. Mingzi rarely performs tasks, but every time he performs special tasks. Even Xiaoyuja's reputation is much greater than that of Ming. At this time, in a mysterious space, a figure stood there, the blood-red blood moon and the boy's purple eyes glowing with mysterious light. The surroundings were covered in blood, and behind the boy there was a magic circle that looked like a six-pointed star. Is this my field? I see. It seems that as long as you understand the structure of the spell and then use the characteristics of the spell, you can expand the field. Understanding the principle is not enough. Then his eyes narrowed, the surroundings instantly returned to their original appearance. The moment he pulled away the realm, Ming discovered something interesting. Interesting, I think even that guy Wu can't do this. Ming's eyes flashed with satisfaction. The appointed time is coming soon. It seems I need to contact her. Ming's figure slowly twisted and finally disappeared from the place. On the other side, Xiaoyuja from Jiu-Jitsu High School was taking a shower. Xiaoyuja's face was full of struggle and distortion, and his eyes were even more tired than before. He muttered, damn, disgusting, stinky monkey. Advertisement. At this time, he had already become numb after repeatedly pulling out and devouring the cursed spirit countless times, and his heart was already riddled with holes. He knows the taste of cursed spirit better than anyone. It's as disgusting as a stinky rag used to wipe vomit. He didn't understand who he was doing this for. He clearly decided to protect the weak, but when he thought of those pedantic senior officials and those ugly and disgusting faces, he felt nauseated. Every night he told himself that he must stick to his ideals and his duties as a magician, but when he thought of those people who applauded and smiled because of the success of Tianyuan's assimilation, and the death of a girl like Tanukiriko, he he began to waver again, over, and over again, and he had no answer. And the words he said when Fuzz here stepped on him rang in his mind. Xiaoyuja's eyes flashed with a cruel stinky monkey look. Xiaoyuja walked out of the bathroom after taking a shower and changed his clothes. Senior Xiaoyu, Haiwen Xiong looked at Xiaoyuja and greeted him enthusiastically. Haiwen, thank you for your hard work. Haiwen stood up straight and politely. Oh, do you want something to drink? Xiaoyuja asked. Oh, I'm sorry, I want to drink coke. Haiwen said with a silly smile. Then the two sat on chairs and started chatting. I have to go on a mission tomorrow and go to a faraway place. Really? Then please bring back some souvenirs. What flavor of specialty do you like, senior? Is it salty or sweet? Haibara asked happily. I don't think I'll want to eat it either, Wu. Let's just buy some desserts. If it's Ming, it's still salty, so I'll trouble you to buy some. Xiaoyuja said gently and calmly. I see. Advertisement. Xiaoyuja asked some more questions about the jiu-jitsu masters he was related to. Although Xiaoyuja's face was tired after hearing the answers, he still showed a gentle smile when he saw Hai Harris Yong's cheerful look. Every time he chats with Hai Harris Yong, his mood gets much better. Because of his carefree personality, Xiaoyuja can feel the meaning of life. However, while the two were chatting, a blonde beauty suddenly appeared in front of them. Long time no see, Mr. Xiaoyu. What type of woman do you like? Huh? Don't ask questions like this every time, and Ming is not in a college. Xiaoyuja said speechlessly. I like girls who eat a lot. At this time, Hai Harish Yu said loudly while sitting upright. Oh, ah, uh, Huiwen. Xiaoyuja looked at Huiwen who answered the question honestly and was speechless. What? Senior. Yeah, it's nothing. Xiaoyuja recovered and no longer looked at Huiwen, a simple fool. Senior, I'll take my leave now that I have something else to do. After looking at the time on his phone, Heibara ran away in a hurry. Ha ha ha, you are really energetic. Kujuyuki nodded with satisfaction to Heibara, he is a frank guy. On the contrary, I think that as a magician, you should learn how to doubt others. Xiaoyuja expressed his opinion with his arms crossed. By the way, it's the second time we've met, Xiaoyukun, won't you answer my question? Jujuyuki said. No, before that you should answer my question first. Miss Juju, why are you here at the high school? I think you should know Ming's whereabouts better than me. Xiaoyuja asked with a look of disgust. Road. Hey, what's your expression? It's the same as that guy Ming. I'm here to find Gojo Satoru this time, not Ming, Juju complained. Advertisement. Yeah, Ming and I have different opinions. He is obviously a super magician, but he doesn't accept the mission at all and is a waste doing nothing abroad. Xiaoyuja complained. Huh, it's true. You won't survive at all if you talk. No wonder they are close friends. I hate high schools the most. He said as he lay down on the chair and his style changed. It's getting awkward. No, I'm kidding. The reason why I do this is just that my policy is different from that of the college. What people here are doing is only symptomatic treatment while I advocate treating the cause to find the root cause. Hearing this, Xiaoyuja's face flashed with excitement, treatment for the cause. It's not about hunting cursed spirit, it's about creating a world without cursed spirit. Xiaoyuja then looked at Jujuyuji in surprise, his face full of surprise and disbelief. He felt like he had found the answer he wanted right away. Let me teach you a lesson. Jujuyuki then expressed his thoughts, mainly starting from the root of the birth of cursed spirit. There are two specific plans. 1. Eliminate all curses in the world. The specific person he was referring to was the name Xiaoyuja least wanted to hear, Fuhei Shiar. 2. The second type allows humans to learn to control the power of magic, and then everyone becomes a warlock. 
He also stated the feasibility of the two options, and Xiaoyuja also thought of a third option. Kill all non-magicians, Xiaoyuja said calmly. For the first time, he said what he was thinking. Xiaoyujan, this method works. Wait a minute Xiaoyuja regained his clarity instantly. Rather than saying it's feasible, it's better to say it's the easiest way. Just like nature, the fittest survive. Of course I'm not that crazy, Juju frowned and thought. Do you hate non-magicians? 99 Yuki asked. Xiaoyuja did not hide anything and spoke out his thoughts. Advertisement. Chapter 67, The God of Land. Advertisement. Who is it? Shoko? No, it's that kid from Haiwen. Ming frowned without any hesitation. Impressed by his power, the figure instantly disappeared into the room. On the other end, in a dilapidated temple, two figures were in a mess, with wounds on their bodies still oozing blood, and their faces were covered with green-black blood. At this point, they face a giant cursed spirit. Cursed spirit is more than 10 meters tall. Nana Ming, you go first, leave this place to me. At this time, the member still said with a smile on his face. Although there was fear in his eyes, he was extremely determined. Shut up, Haibara has already reached this point, and you still say such things. We must join forces to defeat him. Nana Mai Kento stared at the cursed spirit in front of him seriously and calmly analyzed in his heart, the intelligence is wrong. I didn't expect it to be a level 1 cursed spirit, damn it, we can't go on like this. Haibara, I'll attract attention, and you can give him the opportunity to hit him hard. Nana Mai Kento suggested. Nana Ming, I'll attract his attention and you go attack. Only you can do it at this time. Ming's words also echoed in Hai Win's mind. No matter how critical it is, you must keep your mind clear. Nana Mai frowned and didn't say anything else. He knew that this was still a good idea. His ten-stroke spell could hurt this cursed spirit. Hai Win did not hesitate, mobilized the magic power to activate comfort, added all attributes to the speed, and quickly ran towards the cursed spirit. The cursed tool in his hand stabbed towards the huge cursed spirit. Cursed spirit's huge arm swatted at Haibara, and Haibara was forced to dodge. With his speed, Haibara evaded all attacks. Just when cursed spirit focused all its attention on Haiwen, Nanamai took out the cursed tool in his hand. Ten strokes of curse was slashed with one knife, and cursed spirit's body instantly fell to the ground. Although cursed spirit was injured, it did not cause fatal damage. Cursed spirit stood up and roared. Advertisement. Damn it, such terrifying defense and power. Is this the first level cursed spirit? Nanamai Kento's eyes widened. At this time, cursed spirit focused on Nanamai and began to attack. Nanamai immediately dodges upon seeing this. Cursed spirit looked at the slippery Nanamai and became angry again. He stamped his foot on the ground and many spikes sprouted from the ground. Nanamai reacted immediately, but was still replaced with his right arm. At this time, Haiwen immediately jumped up, mobilized the power of the curse, clenched his fist, and punched cursed spirit's body. Cursed spirit turned around and struck out with a big hand, sending Haiwen flying. Haber and Nanamai Kento shouted anxiously. And he cannot protect himself. Damn it. Seeing that he could no longer move his right arm, Nanamai looked a little desperate. I couldn't help but curse the supervisors in my heart. This land god was obviously a first level cursed spirit, but he only said it was a second level. And also has the ability to control the land. High defense and strong attack. The cursed spirit ignored Haibara and felt pain because of Nanamai. Being not so smart, it naturally regarded Nanamai as the first target of attack. I saw the cursed spirit roaring, the ruined temple instantly began to collapse, and many earth thorns sprouted from the ground. Nanamai used her left hand to hold the sword and cut off the earth thorn. But after all, his left hand is not his dominant hand, so the power is much sharper, and there are more and more thrusts. Moreover, cursed spirit has controlled many boulders to fly towards him, and he can no longer avoid them. Is this the end? I'm really not willing to give in. Senior Ming has let you down. Nanamai said bitterly. Be careful, Nana Ming. Haiwen shouted loudly. Then he quickly ran towards Nanamai Kento and pushed him out of the attack range of Cursed Spirit. Haibara, you idiot. Nanamai Kento shouted with an angry temper. Haibara looked at the angry Nanamai with a relieved smile in his eyes. It was a lie that he was not afraid of the attack in front of him, but it was just like what he said to Xiaoyuja, try your best and do what you can. I'm sorry, Senior Xiaoyu, it seems I can't bring you souvenirs. He looked at the attack coming towards him. A special power arose in his mind, but Hai Harris Yong was not aware of it due to his strength. Success this time. Nanamai suppressed his emotions and calmly mobilized the power of the spell. Black Flash Nanamai quickly rushed towards Cursed Spirit, shooting out with black and red lightning. Cursed Spirit was knocked away, but Cursed Spirit's attack was still unable to be stopped. Looking at the gray field in front of him, Nanamai's eyes widened. Advertisement. When all the attacks came to Haiwen, Haiwen's right eye turned into a blood red eye, and the attacks passed through Haiwen's body. Haibara looked at the body that was not free of pain, and then looked at Nanamai, confused. Am I already dead? Nanamai said with a cute look on her face. Nanamai looked into Haiwen's eyes and recalled the gifts Mingchuo gave them, as well as the expressions on Xiaoyuja's and the others' faces. Is it Senior Ming? Nanamai suddenly said with wide eyes, and at this moment, a voice sounded. That's good. Little Nanamai can actually play Black Flash at such a critical moment. Little Haibara is also very good, but you should be more careful next time. A gentle voice sounded. Senior. Senior Ming Nanamai and Haibara looked at the source of the sound at the same time. I didn't know when a figure appeared, with a gentle smile on his face. Long time no see, Ming said to the two people. Wait a minute, I'm not dead. That was the ability of the senior just now. Only then did Hai Wing Sign react, and then he remembered the gift Ming gave the two of them. Thank you, senior. Hai Wing Xiong stood up straight and bowed deeply to Ming. Ming's waved his hand carelessly. Advertisement. It turns out to be a quasi-special grade cursed spirit. It seems there is something wrong with this mission. Ming said calmly. Yes, senior. We originally thought it was an ordinary second level cursed spirit. At most, there is only a first level cursed spirit. Unexpectedly, Nanamai said angrily. It doesn't matter, it's okay to meet little Nanamai and little Huiwen. Remember the lesson of this time and work hard to become stronger, so that you won't have any regrets. Ming said lightly. Yes, senior. Yes, senior. Okay, please step back. No matter how hard it is for my lovely junior to recover from such a serious injury, as a senior, I still have to stand up for you. Ming said calmly. But senior. Shut up, idiot. Nanamai immediately stopped Haiwen. Haiwen looked at Nanamai's serious expression and walked over helplessly. The two retreated far away. All right, ugly guy, the second round has begun. Ming looked coldly at Cursed Spirit who had already walked over. 
Cursed spirit looked at Ming, greed flashing in his eyes. After all, if such a curse swallowed him, he would become stronger. The big hand waved towards Ming. Ming jumped up from the spot, dodged the big hand, and punched out. The terrifying power instantly turned cursed spirit's entire arm into blood mist. Cursed spirit roared in pain. Ming ignored it and punched out again, causing the cursed spirit to fly backwards instantly. The moment it flew out, cursed spirit activated the spell, and sharp spikes of earth sprouted from the ground. With a sneer on Ming's face, a Susano appeared with a knife in his big hand and slashed around. Advertisement. Chapter 68, Unplugging the Cursed Spirit. Advertisement. May summoned Susano's big hand to chop away the surrounding earth thorns. Then slowly walked towards the cursed spirit, the land god. Fear flashed in cursed spirit's eyes. The huge body couldn't help but step back. Are you afraid? Can cursed spirit also feel fear? He is so weak, he can't even dance. Disappointment flashed in Ming's eyes. Then a blacklist appeared in his hand, and he threw it towards cursed spirit. Cursed spirit was instantly nailed to the ground without any chance to resist. So strong. Hai Wen looked at Ming with admiration. It was too strong, and their helpless cursed spirit was defeated by Ming using only physical skills. Nanami Kento looked calm, but he was also shocked by Ming's physical skills. His black flash couldn't even hit Ming's ordinary punch. Is this a monster? Is this the weight of a special level Jujutsu master? No, this is the terror of Ming Senpai. Nanami Kento doesn't think that anyone can defeat the ordinary level cursed spirit with Teijutsu, except of course Gojo Satoru. Senior, why don't you remove him? Cursed spirit looked at cursed spirit as he came over and did not kill him. He looked puzzled. Keep it for now, there is one thing that needs to be verified. Ming said calmly. Then, I'll leave the rest to you. Say hello to Wu and Ji for me. I'll go back after a while when I finish my work. Ming said with a smile on his face. Advertisement. Thank you for your hard work, senior. By the way, senior Ziyu asked me to bring you souvenirs. Hai Wen Xiong said excitedly. Oh, that guy Ji is really gentle. Okay, I understand. I accept your wishes. You can practice hard after you finish your tasks. I think you will have to improve your strength with Wu and Ji here. It will be a lot more convenient. Ming said lightly. Senior, do your words still count? Nanami said at this time. Huh. Ming looked at Nanami who was speaking in confusion with some confusion. That is, when I am strong enough you will recommend me as a first level magician. Nanami said seriously. Of course, but you still have a long way to go. Ming said calmly. Senior, I won't let you down. Nanami Kento said, while Hui principal remained silent. He wanted Xia Yuji to recommend him to become a first level magician. Because compared to Gojo Satoru, who has been favored by heaven since birth, Xia Yuji, a genius who is a commoner, is obviously the person Haber Yu admires the most. In Hai Wen's eyes, Ming is similar to Gojo Satoru. Although he also respects Ming and Gojo Satoru, he admires Xia Yuji the most. And you, Xiao Hui Wen, when you are strong enough, I will let Ji recommend you. Ming said calmly, naturally you can see Hai Wen Xiang's little thoughts. Thank you, senior. Hai Harris Xiang scratched his head and smiled sheepishly. Goodbye then. After Ming finished speaking, he still groaned and twisted, and finally disappeared from the eyes of the two of them. And the cursed spirit in front of me was also taken away. Advertisement. After Ming left, the person from the window also came here and was scolded by Nanami. Hai Hara Yu was also shocked when he saw Nanami who was so uncool. And Nanami ignored Haibara all the way back, obviously resenting Haibara for pushing her away and getting hurt. Haibara also apologized all the way, which made Nanami forgive him slightly. This is not Nanami's pretentiousness. Haibara is like a close friend to him. He doesn't know if he can forgive himself after Haibara dies for him. He didn't want his best friend to die before him. After a day, the two finally rushed back to the college. Haibara found Xiaoyuja excitedly, while Nanami dragged her exhausted body back to the dormitory. I'm back. How's it going? Xiaoyuja looked at Haiwen with a gentle smile. Senior Xiaoyu. It didn't go very well. I almost got killed. If Senior Ming hadn't suddenly appeared, I would have died. Hai Harris Yong scratched his head in embarrassment. Then he explained to Xia Yuja the danger at that time. Oh, really? Did Ming take action? Xia Yuja was not surprised. After all, he and Gojo Satoru were also present when Ming sealed the eyes of the two of them, so they naturally knew about it. But when he heard that Hai Harris Yong was going to die, he couldn't help but clench his fists. But the scene was hidden by him. Yes, Senior Ming is very powerful. He solved the cursed spirit in just a few seconds. But Senior Ming took the cursed spirit away. Don't you know what he wanted to do? Hai Wen asked a little puzzled. Xia Yuja was also a little curious and couldn't figure out what Ming was going to do. However, he didn't think much about it. Through Hui Yuan's description, Xia Yuja also knew that the cursed spirit only barely reached the threshold of the quasi-special grade cursed spirit. If he needs to call Ming at that time, Ming will not refuse. But he was not interested in the cursed spirit. Forget it, I don't understand that guy either. Who knows what he is going to do? Maybe try a new eye technique. Xia Yuja knew that Ming had other eye skills that he had not yet demonstrated. Well, Senior Xiaoyu, I'm going to see that Nanami guy. This is your souvenir. I'll leave first. Haibara held a bag. Advertisement. Go. Xia Yuja nodded and took the bag. After Hui Wen left, Xia Yuja stared at Hai Wen's back and murmured, What if the marathon race called the technique ends with mountains of corpses of friends? And those, even if it is eliminated, it cannot be eradicated. There is no limit to human greed and fear. Just when Xia Yuja was lost in thought, Xia Yuja's phone rang. Hello, this is Mr. Xia Yuja. The thing is like this. In a remote mountainous area, a case occurred. Is it difficult? Xia Yuja said coldly, obviously hating those people. Yes, yes, Mr. Xia Yuja. The superiors have assigned you to complete the task. The other end said nervously. I know. Xia Yuja hung up the phone and muttered, smelly monkey. At this moment, a figure quickly came to Xia Yuja's side and hooked his shoulder. Hey, Jay, why are you getting worse and worse and losing so much weight? A cynical voice said. Yeah, maybe he's sick. Xia Yuja's expression did not change, then he took out the bag next to him and stood up. Wu, I'll give you some souvenirs. I'll have a mission later, so I won't chat with you anymore. See you later. Xia Yuja said coldly. Really, it's really cold. Gojo Satoru complained, then opened it, and a sweet smell appeared. Gojo Satoru laughed instantly, picked up one and ate it. Speaking of which, it's true. I don't know what that bastard Ming is doing, and I have no contact with him at all. 
That guy, I've also got some clues in my field recently. I guess I can conquer it in a while. Really, congratulations to you, Wu, Xiaoyuja echoed after hearing this. Then left the place. Really, every one of them is mysterious. Gojo Satoru continued to eat the dessert in his hand. It's delicious. I have to ask Ji where he bought it. Advertisement. Chapter 69 Xiaoyuja turns black. Advertisement. That's what happened. According to the investigation, it's Xiaoyuja himself. Hey, are you listening? Mei Mei said to the other end of the phone, her tone unusually serious. I'm sorry, Miss Mei Mei, our cooperation needs to be postponed for a while, the voice on the other end said, with a tone of suppressed disbelief. Okay, before Mei Mei could finish her words, the other party hung up on the phone. To be precise, the phone on the other party exploded. How could it be possible? Jay, that guy would actually do such a crazy thing. Ming looked in disbelief. He knew Xiaoyuja too well. He was a person who protected the weak to his core. Why would he do such a thing? On the other end, equally unbelievable is Gojo Satoru. Huh. Gojo Satoru looked confused after listening to what Yagamasamichi said. His brain felt like it was shutting down now. There was no reaction for a moment. He wanted to see it as a joke on Yagamasamichi's face. Don't make me repeat it several times. Jay, he killed Jay and killed everyone in the village. Yagamasamichi said calmly, but he was also in disbelief in his heart. Even after seeing this information, he didn't know that he was brave enough. How much courage do you need to tell Gojo Satoru again? I heard it clearly, that's why I replied what to you. Gojo Satoru said impatiently. Jay's hometown has been deserted, but judging from the bloodstains and residual spell power, his parents were also. Yagamasamichi was also a little depressed, but was interrupted by Gojo Satoru. Absolutely impossible. Gojo Satoru roared loudly. Satoru, I don't understand what happened. Yagamasamichi's eyes flashed with pain. He covered his forehead with his hands and closed his eyes tightly. He doesn't believe it either, but the evidence is there. Who can lay out the crime scene, and who dares to attack Xiaoyuja? He once again acted so weak in front of his students. Seeing himself like this all the time, Gojo Satoru clenched his fists, which were so strong that they even bled. Satoru, don't embarrass me, you are embarrassing the teacher. A calm voice sounded. Advertisement. Ming, why, tell me, why did Ji do such a thing? Could it be that what he said before about protecting the weak was a lie? What is that guy doing? Gojo Satoru heard Ming's voice and immediately turned around to look. To him. I spoke out what I had just been holding in my heart. He knew that the only one who could understand his inner thoughts was the Ming in front of him. Satoru, calm down. No matter what, we still have to ask him face to face. Ming was also helpless. Ming who had just received the news was the same as Gojo Satoru, but he knew that Ji had been very abnormal during this period. Then what are you waiting for? Go and find him. Gojo Satoru shouted. Be quiet, you guy. You told me to calm down. And if I can be found, will I go back to the high school? Hearing Gojo Satoru's question, the suppressed anger was ignited again. What's going on? Don't you have a pupil technique in Jay's place? Gojo Satoru said without any rush. He was driven away by Ji, and now I can't lock his position. Mingya said in despair. Damn it, damn it. Gojo Satoru punched the building next to him, and the surrounding buildings collapsed instantly. Calm down, idiot. Ming looked at the angry Gojo Satoru and shouted coldly. How can you tell me to calm down? Bastard Gojo Satoru looked at Ming with wide eyes. Shut up, Ming said without any nonsense, and punched Gojo Satoru in the abdomen. Gojo Satoru's body flew backwards instantly. Smash into the ruins just now, you guy. Gojo Satoru also rushed towards Ming with an angry face. Haven't you calmed down yet, Satoru? Ming Lang Lang said coldly with his sherry non and glanced at Gojo Satoru, who was coming over, with a faint coldness flashing in his eyes. Advertisement. Gojo Satoru looked at Ming, his body froze, and a look of astonishment appeared on his face. Then he clenched his fists and stopped taking action. He knew that he had lost his sense of proportion. Ming looked at Satoru who had recovered, and looked at Yagamasamichi again. Teacher, is there any news about Jay now? Looking at Gojo Satoru who was gradually getting colder, Yagamasamichi also breathed a sigh of relief. If the two of them had not restrained their attacks, the barrier here would have been shattered, and things would have been bad. No, his whereabouts have not been traced by the higher authorities, Yagamasamichi said. At this moment, Gojo Satoru's cell phone rang. Seeing that it was Shoko's phone, Gojo Satoru took out his phone. Line connected. Hey, is it Gojo? What's wrong? Shoko Gojo Satoru said impatiently. Zayayu is here with me, come here. Shoko said calmly on the other end. What? Shoko. Gojo Satoru's eyes suddenly lit up and his tone became anxious. Ming grabbed the phone at this time. Tell me the location. Shoko Mingya said anxiously. Shinjuku. It's Ming, I was calling you. Before Shoko could finish speaking, the call had been hung up. Advertisement. When Gojo Satoru and Mei heard the news, they instantly began to teleport. Really, I haven't finished speaking yet. Shoko looked at the phone helplessly. Ming, are you here? Xiaoyuja looked at the crowd in front of him. Yeah, those guys probably want to take you back. Shoko joked. That's really troublesome. Xiaoyuja said without any worry. At this time, the dark circles under his eyes had disappeared. It was obvious that he was no longer as confused as he was during that time. Is this really okay? You might become enemies with Wu and Ming at the same time. Shoko looked at Xiaoyuja and said, It doesn't matter, that kind of life is too painful for me. Looking at those annoying monkeys, I can no longer face them like before. Xiaoyuja said, Do you want to walk for a while? Xiaoyuja asked. I don't want it. Shoko refused. It's okay, that guy Ming won't mind. Xiaoyuja said with a gentle smile. Shut up, I, I'm just afraid of being killed by you. Shoko turned and left. Xiaoyuja looked at Shoko walking away. We might be enemies next time we meet. Xiaoyuja said calmly. He also turned around and left. Walking on the street, Xiaoyuja saw the monkeys he hated laughing, and he could no longer turn a blind eye. Why should I protect you stinky monkeys? You are obviously the source of the crime. My world will not allow monkeys to appear. Xiaoyuja thought to himself. 
Advertisement. Chapter 70 Conversation with Xiaoyuja. Advertisement. Explain yourself, J. Xiaoyuja, who was walking, suddenly looked up and knew that Gojo Satoru was coming. There's nothing to say, Satoru. You should listen to Shoko. I want to create a world without cursed spirit. A world with only jujitsu style. Xiaoyuja said without any hesitation. Why even parents? You can't give special treatment just because you are your parents. I'm not asking you this. Didn't you say you want to protect the weak? That's the Xiaoyuja from before. I did this for my own purpose and meaning. Your so-called world with only jujitsu masters will never come true. There is no point in doing such a petty thing that will never come true. Gojo Satoru shouted loudly. How arrogant. What would you do if it were you, and what would Ming do if it were Ming? You can obviously do it easily, but you say that this kind of thing can't be achieved. Xiaoyuja said in a low voice. Whether you are good or not, you all possess innate power far beyond ordinary people. Unlike me, you are born strong. Xiaoyuja turned around and looked at Gojo Satoru. Because you are Gojo Satoru? Are you the strongest, or are you Gojo Satoru because you are the strongest? What on earth do you mean, J. Gojo Satoru looked confused. If I were you, I wouldn't think that this kind of thing is a ridiculous ideal. Maybe it could be realized? I have already thought about my lifestyle. Now I just finish what I can do. At this point, Xiaoyuja's mind the appearance of that kid from Haiwen could be heard. After saying that, Xiaoyuja turned and left. Gojo Satoru instinctively wanted to activate Void Style. But he has been reluctant to take action, not because there are civilians around, but because he can't take action against this close friend. Advertisement. If you want to kill, just kill. That makes sense, Xiaoyuja's voice rang out from the crowd. But Gojo Satoru didn't make a move and just watched Xiaoyuja disappear into the crowd. Are you coming to persuade me to? Xiaoyuja came to the corner and said calmly. There was nothing in front of him, but he knew Ming was here. Ah, forget it, judging from your current mental state, I don't think it's necessary. Compared with your half-dead look, you are no longer confused, right? Xiaoyuja's figure suddenly appeared. In front of you, are you really not trying to persuade me? If it's Ming, maybe I will give up the secret and turn to the light. Xiaoyuja said with a relaxed smile. Stop joking, if you really did that, you wouldn't be Xiaoyuja, you stubborn guy. Ming rolled his eyes. Yeah, let's go and stay with me for a while. That guy Satoru couldn't even talk properly when he first came up. Xiaoyuja complained about Gojo Satoru as before. That's right, that guy is just like a child. Gojo Satoru, who had started meditating in the morning, was helpless. The two came to a coffee shop and ordered a cup of coffee, but Xiaoyuja did not order it. Gee, you're not afraid of Wu suddenly taking action. Ming looked at Xiaoyuja and said, No, that guy won't do anything to us. But that won't happen in the future. Ming, do you want to help me? If I have you, the world I want will definitely be completed. Xiaoyuja said with a faint smile. You're cheating, right? Ming rolled his eyes. There is no other way. Although I know you will refuse, I still want to give it a try. After all, if you can stand with me, I will have the capital to fight Wu. Xiaoyuja said with a pity on his face. I have my chosen path. Ming said calmly. Okay, but I have a question. I want to ask you, who is stronger, you or Wu? Xiaoyuja asked seriously. I don't know. To be honest, I don't know how strong I am now, but I think I will win. Ming said with confidence. Advertisement. Xiaoyuja said nothing, with a smile on his face, because he wouldn't be surprised whoever wins the battle between the two. After drinking the coffee, Ming stood up. Forget it, that's it for today. I'm going to go back and check on Satoru. That guy really hates being the nanny for you quarrelsome little devils. You guys are just as vicious as Wu said. Xiaoyuja's face was gloomy. Stop talking, you are already acting like a villain. Get rid of your obscene bangs quickly. Ming Ye complained. After saying that, he disappeared from Xiaoyuja's eyes. Xiaoyuja looked at the place where Ming disappeared and thought of the days when he first entered the high school. And clips from post-secondary studies. Villain. Xiaoyuja murmured. At this time, the sun was setting, and as the sun set, one step up the stairs, Gojo Satoru sat down on the ground depressedly. Then Yagamasamichi came over. Why don't you catch up? Yagamasamichi asked. Are you sure you still want me to say it? Gojo Satoru said calmly. No, forget it, it's my fault, Yagamasamichi said. Teacher, I am very strong. Yes, very strong, arrogantly strong. But it seems useless if I am only strong. I can save only those who are ready to be saved. Gojo Satoru said. Advertisement. Yagamasamichi said nothing because he said that his opinions would affect Gojo Satoru's path. This path must be found by himself. Gojo Satoru thought about it, then stood up immediately, as if he had figured it out. You finally figured it out, Satoru. TCH, don't talk like a senior. You really make Nakai Ran feel uncomfortable, Ming. Gojo Satoru and Yagamasamichi looked at Ming coming from the bottom of the stairs. You're here, Ming. Have you met Ji? Yes, teacher. I've seen him. He's in good condition. Don't worry, teacher. Ji asked me to say hello to you, Ming said calmly. Oh, it's my fault. Yagamasamichi looked at the black and Xiaoyuja and blamed himself the most. Teacher, you are not wrong, and Ji is not wrong either. It's just the path you chose. It's not right or wrong. Ming's was very relaxed and open-minded. That's right. Maybe I got it first. You're not going to rebel. You were instigated by Ji. Gojo Satoru looked at Ming unhappily. TCH, so what? Ming said with disdain. What? It's too despicable, but only if you work together can you have a chance of winning. Gojo Satoru said with a proud look on his face. To deal with you, we still need to join forces, you guy. Forget it, it seems that you are in good condition. I won't persuade you anymore. Ming said lightly. I came here just to say one thing, that is, we have all chosen our own paths, so let's meet at the end. Only then can we know who is right and who is wrong, right? Ming said lightly. That's true. I'm really looking forward to that day. Gojo Satoru looked at Ming with confidence flashing in his eyes. Ming disappeared with a smile on his face. Advertisement. Chapter 71 Heretic Demon. Advertisement. As time passed little by little, Xiaoyuja slowly accepted the Pangsing sect and began to build his own power by using the Pangsing sect's money and power. Gojo Satoru stayed in the high school. He wanted to be a teacher. 
He was looking for his own partners to overthrow the pedantic senior officials. Although he could do it alone, since Xiaoyuja turned black, Gojo Satoru knew that it was impossible for him to change the status quo by himself. On the other side, Ming and Juju Yuji were chatting. Although I have studied this aggregation method, it is more difficult than Xiaoyuja's. If it were you, I think you would not let Xiaoyuja be more suitable, at least you would be stronger. Juju Yuji said. No, it can be realized, a world with zero magic power. Ming said calmly. Whether it's Wu or Ji, what they're doing is wrong to me. Oh, tell me. Juju Yuji became interested. Ji, the so-called world with only Jiu-Jitsu masters, that kind of existence is simply impossible to realize, because whether you can be called a Jiu-Jitsu master is related to the probability of your genes. If Satori, just like Ji before, he is too naive. He can replace those old guys, but what should we do when he dies? Without his threat, many caring people will appear again. In the end, due to the incompatibility between the two ideas, it is conceivable that a war will break out. Wu Suo the created world exists because of his existence. If he is no longer there, it will naturally be like the moon in the mirror. Just empty talk. After Ming said these words, he picked up the water glass and took a sip of water, looking at Jujuyuki. Then I want to know what your solution is. Jujuyuji heard Ming's words and wanted to see what his solution was. Advertisement. She originally thought that Ming was here to punish him. After all, she was indispensable for Xiaoyuji's darkening. After he told Ming about their conversation, Ming was not angry and wanted to cooperate with her. Ming's idea is to eliminate the curse from the whole world. Ming said nothing. Instead, he took 99 Yuji to the backyard of the villa. Yes, this was the villa Ming bought, and it was very luxurious. Darkness. A dark curtain fell. Jujuyuji was a little curious and looked at Ming. At this time, Ming's eyes had switched to reincarnation eyes. This was not the first time Yuki saw the purple reincarnation eye, but he was shocked every time. Just looking at it made her feel a lot of pressure, and even as a special level person, she felt a little short of breath. Heretic, the art of psychics, the heretical demonic elephant. Then a huge monster appeared. The monster's eyes were covered with a white cloth, and the monster roared as it appeared. Gilu, 99 Yuki couldn't help but swallowed his saliva when he saw this behemoth. The moment the heretic demon appeared, the huge sense of oppression surprised him even more than Ming who saw the samsara eye for the first time. What, what is this? Cursed spirit. Jujuyuji looked at Ming in surprise. No, the heretic demon is a special monster from another world summoned by the samsara eye. Ming explained lightly. Is this your plan? Jujuyuji looked at Ming and said. That's right. Ming didn't explain, because no matter how many explanations there are, seeing is not believing. Advertisement. Divine power. Ming once again switched his eyes to the Mangekyo Sherinan, and then a cursed spirit appeared. This cursed spirit was the earth god. And when the earth god saw the huge heretic demon, he instinctively felt scared. He even went so far as to prostrate himself in front of the heretic demon. Ming looked at cursed spirit coldly, then jumped on the head of the heretic demon. Ming's reincarnation eyes bloomed with dazzling purple light. The heretic golem instantly spat out a chain condensed by spell power. Unlike Suzano, this spell is more solid. Chains wrapped around cursed spirit's head. Then the cursed spirit was pulled away bit by bit, and finally the cursed spirit turned into mantra and was swallowed by the heretic demon. After swallowing the cursed spirit, the white cloth in front of the heretic demon's eyes fell, revealing a total of nine closed eyes. One of them also showed signs of opening, but it was not fully opened. The aura of the heretic golem is even more terrifying. The monster you summoned is terrifying? But is it just based on it? Jujuyuki was a little confused. Yes, it's just him. After my experiments, the heretic golem only needs to swallow the power of the cursed spirit and slowly show its true posture. Ming sat on the head of the heretic golem and said with a smile on his face. A real gesture. How to explain it? To put it bluntly, the current heretic golem is just a body. Although it contains huge power, it cannot be activated and requires the power of the cursed spirit. But when the nine eyes are fully opened, it is his true form. Ming said lightly, when the heretic demon is completely resurrected, I will borrow its power to cast a huge illusion. When Ming said this, Jujuyuji also jumped on the head of the heretic demon and interrupted Ming who was speaking. Advertisement. Illusion? Super big? How big is it? Juju asked with a frown. A place that can cover the whole world. Ming said calmly, what? Are you sure you're not joking? Jujuyuji looked at Ming in surprise. Of course, I can't do it with my current strength, but with the help of the heretic golem's recovery, I can do it. There was a confident smile on Ming's face. But even so, this kind of thing is simply crazier than Xiaoyuja, and what is the meaning of doing this? What is the difference between killing them? Jujuyuji said. This is what I'm going to say next. First of all, to let them enter the illusion, they need to use the power of the heretic demon to cast infinite Tsukuyomi. After it is cast, the heretic golem will become its final form, which is the divine tree. When the divine tree is summoned, it will even take root. People who have experienced the infinite Tsukuyomi will be wrapped in the branches of the divine tree and absorb the world. And the cursed power in people and cursed spirit. Ming said lightly, I estimate that in just one year, the magic power of this world will be completely absorbed by the sacred tree, the heretic golem. And the heretic golem will become the only creature with magic power in this world. At that time, I will be the solution open unlimited moon reading. Ming said calmly, and when he said this, Ming Yan also appeared a little crazy. Although he is not interested in world peace, it is a good way to pass the time for him. Although it feels crazy, it makes sense unexpectedly. Can Uchiha Mega believe you? Yuki Kyuju asked. Of course, I have no selfish intentions in this ugly world. It's just my temporary pleasure as an Uchiha. So Jay can trust me, because this world has no value to me. Ming looked up at the space. Moon. Then let's have a happy cooperation. A pleasure to work with. Advertisement. Chapter 72 True. Yamata no Orakai. Advertisement. In a remote mountain, two people were watching the scene in front of them. I'm curious how Miss Maymay knew this place. Ming looked at Maymay in amazement. It's a chance. I was short of money at the time and wanted to carry out some tasks, but you also know that compared with monsters like you, I need to be fully prepared. After the meeting, I found this clue in an ancient book. Maymay said calmly. After my investigation, I learned the origin of the Yamada no Orakai. It is said that there is an ancient special grade cursed tool where the cursed spirit is sealed. Maymay smiled. Oh, Miss Maymay is interested in that cursed tool. Ming asked curiously. Of course, I'm very weak in jujitsu. 
Cursed tool has improved me the most. Mei Mei had a smile on her face. The two slowly walked towards the altar. It's okay to give the cursed tool to Miss Mei Mei. I have no interest in that okay thing, but what makes me curious is why you chose me. Maybe Satoru is more suitable. Actually, it doesn't matter whether I choose you or Gojo Satoru, but Gojo Satoru has the Gojo family behind him. I don't want those senior officials to know everything about Yamada no Orakai until the end. After all, how can I earn something that I have worked hard for? We give it away, I think you do the same. Mei Mei said. That's right. Ming also didn't care. Then he Ming came to an altar. The surrounding area was very desolate and there was a powerful barrier. Can it be destroyed? Ming looked at Mei Mei and said. Advertisement. No, legend has it that the Yamada no Orakai is the incarnation of disaster, and its spell power is very powerful. If it leaks out, it will probably be discovered immediately. Mei Mei said with a smile. Without any nonsense, he formed seals with his hands, and then a barrier similar to a tent fell down, covering the surrounding area. The rest is up to you. Okay Mei summoned Susano, and then slashed down with a knife. The seal was instantly destroyed. The violent curse spread to all directions, and the scarlet curse instantly filled the entire barrier. Then a huge hydra appeared in front of the two of them. The tongue in the middle of the hydra is different from the other tongues. At this time, it speaks human words. Human, are you the one who let me out? Ha 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 ha, don't worry, I will give you a happy death. Obviously Yamada no Orakai doesn't want to let the two of them go, and of course Mia doesn't want to let him go, such a great cursed spirit. But it's hard to find. Ming said nothing, looking at the cursed spirit in front of him with a playful smile. With his blood red eyes fixed on the cursed spirit in front of him, Yamada no Orakai looked at Ming at this moment. I was shocked by the aura of curse with blood red eyes. Who are you? Human being, what are your eyes? Yamada no Orakai looked at Ming in horror. Jinjutsu Sherinan. Ming didn't talk nonsense, his eyes glared, and his pupils surged with power. Mei summoned Suzano, even half-length Suzano looked very small in front of Yamada no Orakai. Suzano gathered two swords and slashed at Yamada no Orakai. In an instant, eight heads were cut off by Ming, leaving only the head that controlled the body. As for the severed head, Yamada no Orakai also woke up from the illusion. Advertisement. Looking at Ming, fear flashed in Yamada no Orakai's eyes, and eight heads grew out instantly. What? You can't even look at me directly. Ming looked at Yamada no Orakai playfully. Human, I admit that I underestimated you, but so what? You are still going to die here. Then the Yamada no Orakai's nine heads were condensed with the attributes of wind, fire, thunder, lightning, and poison and attacked, spitting life into Ming. Come over. Seeing the scene in front of her, Mei Mei approached the mysterious Suzano. After all, the power of this cursed spirit is very strong. Just the cursed breath makes it impossible for the cursing power in his body to be mobilized normally, not to mention fighting back. Seeing the attack in front of him, Mei Mei pulled Mei Mei into Suzano, summoned the Karasu Tengu armor, and also summoned the eight-foot mirror. The attack instantly engulfed Suzano, and the powerful attack even caused a trace of damage to the surrounding barrier. When the attack dissipated, Mei Suzano was not damaged at all. Looking at the eight-foot mirror in front of him, Yamada no Orakai's pupils shrank. Human, you are very strong. If you are willing to be my servant, I will give you even more terrifying power. Yamada no Orakai said seriously. Ha 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 Ming suddenly laughed. This sudden smile confused Yamada no Orakai. Even Mei Mei is a little curious. A mere cursed spirit, to be honest, is just a product of human beings' negative emotions. Even if it has wisdom and power over ordinary people, it is just a clown and wants to dominate human beings. The disdain and words in Ming's eyes the Yamada no Orakai became furious instantly. I am going to kill you. Advertisement. Then you start giving it a try. What can you do with your attack just now? Ming sneered. A whirlpool slowly appeared around the Kamaway Yamada no Orakai, and then its head was twisted off again. Amaterasa then used terrifying flames to burn eight heads instantly. Human, ha 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 ha, I am useless. I am immortal. The Yamata no Orakai has recovered here. Although the power of the spell is consumed, there is nothing wrong with it. Yamata no Orakai said with a ferocious smile on his face. Stop joking, nothing is immortal. Every time you are resurrected, you are consuming the magic power. That is, as long as your magic power is exhausted, you can be killed. So I will play with you for a while. Ming with a sneer on his face, he extinguished Amaterasu. He didn't want to waste such a good sandbag. Although he looked relaxed, Ming was not careless. He originally thought that this cursed spirit would only be about 13 Sukuna fingers at most, but he did not expect that in terms of cursory power alone, it would be almost the same as his eternal kaleidoscope period. Moreover, although the attack just now was not up to Gojo Satoru's weakest hollow style, it was still very strong. Let you see, Achiha, the power of God, Ming said calmly. The power of the spell began to boil, and Susana's appearance slowly began to improve. The last set of armor was put on his body. At a height of 100 meters, he is much taller than Yamada no Orakai. Ming looked down at Yamada no Orakai and crossed his arms over his chest. Come on, please me, insect. Ming looked at the Yamada no Orakai in front of him proudly. Mei Mei saw Suzano for the first time. At this time, he stood in Suzano's crystal and looked at Suzano. It was the first time that he felt the majestic curse in Ming's body at such a close distance. Force. Even with just a hint of aura, he could tell that the power of the curse in Ming's body was far greater than that of the Yamada no Orakai in front of him. And the majestic giant in front of you can tell how strong this giant is just by looking at its size. Advertisement. Chapter 73 The Cursed Ten Fist Sword Appears. Advertisement. Yamada no Orakai, try to please me. Indifference flashed in Ming's eyes. Human, don't think that you can fight me just like this. Yamada no Orakai said in a gloomy tone. The eyes of the middle head turned purple black. Eight heads, spitting out poisonous mist. The surroundings were instantly filled with purple poisonous mist. How is that possible? Ming looked at his palms that had turned black, and felt that the spell power in his body was rapidly being consumed. And Yamada no Orakai invaded Suzano instantly. All eight heads bit towards Ming's crystal. Mei was surprised, and Suzano began to exert his strength, but the snake's entanglement became tighter and tighter. Ming's eyes were stunned, and the wings on Suzano's back instantly opened, and Yamada no Orakai's body began to fall apart. Looking at the wreckage on the ground, Ming didn't stop. The controller Suzano began to destroy the body of the serpent, and the Yamada no Orakai suddenly broken body, 
turned into many little snakes. Anyone with trypophobia would probably be scared to death here. You really know how to play tricks. Ming sneered. The controller grabbed Susanna and began to fly into the sky. The 8th edition of Megatama Susanna began to gather many Megatama and began to bomb. Advertisement. Looking at the densely packed Megatama, the small snakes transformed into Yamada no Orakai began to gather together, and finally returned to their original form, and then used wind, fire, thunder, and lightning to form a shield in front of them. Human, you forced me to do this, the Yamada no Orakai roared, and then its huge size began to shrink slowly until it shrank to normal human size. A cursed spirit in the form of a snake man appeared, which was very similar to the cursed spirit of the snake man they had encountered, but the snake man transformed by Yamada no Orakai was obviously more human. This image. Ming frowned and looked at the snake man with nine heads. Although it was weird, it didn't surprise him, but the image of the snake head in the middle reminded him of a person. Sukuna, King of Curses. Yes, the current Yamada no Orakai is very similar to Sukuna from King of Curses. Human, I'm going to kill you this time. I didn't want to use this form, but it's worth killing you. Yamada no Orakai stared at Ming with his cold eyes. I see, you swallowed Sukuna's finger. No wonder you are so powerful. Ming's Sherinan discerned the familiar yet unfamiliar spell. So what? Yamada no Orakai said coldly, obviously he was afraid of Sukuna. Just when Ming mentioned his name, fear flashed in Yamada no Orakai's eyes. Domain expansion, the shadow realm embedded in the sky. Mei, Suzano, and Mei Mei were instantly pulled into the field. Mei also cancelled Suzano at this time. Because his Sherinan looked at the poisonous gas around him, he knew just now that the poisonous mist could ignore Suzano's defense. So there is no need to maintain it. What should I do? Although Mei Mei still looked calm, the solemn look in her eyes meant that he was not as calm as he appeared. After all, he is only a first level magician, and there are not many people who can expand his field in today's world. Apart from Yuki Kyuju, he is probably the one in front of him, and Gojo Satoru, who is called the strongest in the jiu-jitsu world today. Advertisement. There are many ways to deal with the domain, but the best way to deal with it is to expand the domain in the same way. The stronger domain will offset the weaker one. Ming explained calmly. So, domain expansion, infinite Tsukuyomi. A blood moon slowly rose into the sky, and a person with a halo like a reincarnation eye appeared behind Ming. And when Ming expanded his domain, the Yamada no Orakai's domain was covered, and disappeared without a trace in the next moment, surrounded by a purple star-like color. But the field that Ming expanded this time was completely different from the last time. How is it possible? Why can you do it? Open field. Yamada no Orakai looked at Ming with a horrified look. Yamada no Orakai looked at the figure in front of him, and couldn't help but think of the man who played with him as a toy. He was also so arrogant, standing on the shrine and looking down at him, with loneliness and disdain in his eyes. The man in front of him had the same look in his eyes, which made him feel angry, fearful, and panicked at the same time. Are you surprised? Ming Yanzong was disdainful. He was so surprised when he just casually showed off some tricks. It was really boring. Who are you and why are you so strong? Cursed spirit's eyes flashed with fear. I'm just an ordinary jiu-jitsu master. Ming looked cold. Then he removed the domain. He did not use the power of the domain. He just offset the Yamada no Orakai's domain and cancelled it. Okay, I've had enough fun. Stop looking down on me. Yamada no Orakai said angrily, while a trace of clarity flashed in his eyes. Then a sword came out of his mouth. This sword is clearly the ten-fist sword that sealed Yamada no Orakai. It's also a straw sword. Advertisement. Oh. Ming looked at Yamada no Orakai with interest. Yamada no Orakai didn't talk nonsense. He stabbed out with his sword, and the majestic curse power emerged from the cursed tool. Interesting. Ming looked at the Yamada no Orakai that was rushing towards him. He dodged slightly to avoid the sword, and then kicked it out. The Yamada no Orakai blocked it with his sword. The cursed tool has the same nature as the monkey without cursed power. It seems to be called Tianimu, and it is more powerful. Does it also have sealing techniques? Ming looked at the Tenfist Sword in Jujutsu Kaisen, and his eyes flashed. More than a hint of disdain. It's not the disdain for the cursed tool, but the disdain for the physical skills of the cursed spirit. Compared with Fushaiji, this guy only has comparable brute strength, no moves, and no speed. Cursed spirit is cursed spirit, is this all after living for so many years? I thought to myself. The black flash figure flashed, and time came to cursed spirit's side, punching out with black lightning. Yamada no Orakai flew out instantly. Ming stood there, stretched out his palm, and a terrifying gravitational force appeared again, and the cursed spirit's body flew towards Ming quickly. Black Flash Ming punched with Black Lightning. The Black Flash produced by the majestic magic power, coupled with the effect of gravity, received the double attack, and the Yamada no Orakai was beaten to the ground and spewed purple blood. Yamada no Orakai clutched his abdomen in pain. Then he transformed into his own body again. In this state, he has extremely strong recovery ability and recovered in an instant. I've seen enough of your tricks, and I'm almost ready to put a collar on you. A hint of coldness flashed in Ming's eyes. The mysterious purple reincarnation eyes burst out with majestic power in their sockets, and then clapped their hands on the ground. The Art of Psychics, Heretic Demons. Advertisement. Chapter 74 Who is the Strongest? Advertisement. Psychic Art, Heretic Demon. Ming slapped his hands on the ground, a burst of smoke passed, and a huge monster appeared in front of Yamada no Orakai. When the Heretic Demon appeared, it let out a terrifying roar. When Yamada no Orakai saw the Heretic Demon, he instinctively told him to run away, but he no longer knew how to escape. The human in front of him was too strong. Ming was now standing on the head of the Heretic Demon, looking down at Yamada no Orakai. Then the index and middle fingers were raised, instantly appearing from the mouth of the Heretic Demon. Nine chains wrapped around the head of Yamada no Orakai. No, I surrender. Yamada no Orakai couldn't control that much at this time. He originally thought he could use the magic power to escape, but he found that the magic power couldn't be used, and it was sure that he would die. As a person who has survived in the world for so long it naturally knows that he is immortal. As long as humans still exist, he will not die. He can still recover after tens of millions of years. But this time was different. He felt that it would die and be wiped from consciousness. Why do you think I should accept you? You are so weak. It would be good to make some contributions before you die. But there was no mercy at all. He controlled the heretic demon and started to drag the Yamato no Orakai, and in just a few seconds, the Yamato Orakai was swallowed. The heretic demon howled, and the terrifying pressure made Mei Mei's body tremble instinctively. At this time, the heretic demon had already opened its three eyes and evolved. 
It seems pretty good, Ming said with a satisfied smile on his face as he picked up the fallen fingers and the cursed tool. Needless to say, Ming threw him into the divine space, while cursed tool threw it to Mei Mei with a relaxed expression. Advertisement. Miss Mei Mei, it's for this cursed tool, but it's a little damaged. Ming said lightly, because there was a fist mark on the cursed tool at this time, which was left by Ming. It doesn't matter, my swordsmanship is not very good. Even if you give it to me, I will change it to another weapon. Mei Mei calmly put away the ten fist sword with a smile on her face and returned to her usual calm demeanor. Let's go back, Miss Mei Mei, Ming said calmly. Ming Dong used his divine power to take Mei Mei and disappear. And Zaming left the heretic demon and disappeared in the same place. In Ming's home, the space type jujitsu is really convenient, Mei Mei said with some envy. Ming didn't answer. Sitting on the sofa and looking at Mei Mei, she said, I think this matter will be noticed by the senior management soon. I don't know what Miss Mei Mei should do. I didn't expect Yamada no Orakai to be so powerful and able to break through the barrier. Mei Mei said lightly, watching Mei Mei struggling with herself. Ming Ye was a little helpless and said to himself, Sure enough, beautiful women are smart. Miss Mei Mei can tell the higher UPS that I did this, and ask him to come to me, and you can also receive some bounty. Similarly, if I want to ask you for help, you can help me three times for free. Ming said calmly, Three times. Mei Mei frowned. She rarely did such free things, but she thought of those greedy and selfish senior officials. He also nodded. Three times is not too many, and the person in front of me doesn't need her help at all. It's probably just trivial matters and information. Advertisement. In fact, after the battle just now, he was also surprised. He did not expect that such a powerful cursed spirit could be defeated so easily. You must know that it was the legendary Yamada no Orakai, and that monster is so terrifying that it can swallow the cursed spirit to strengthen itself. And looking at Ming's look, he thought of something even more terrifying. Although the battle was fierce, there was not even dust on this man's clothes from beginning to end. This is no longer easy to describe. Ming doesn't know what Mei Mei thinks. Seeing Mei Mei nodding, she also started to issue an eviction order. Miss Mei Mei, I guess there are still things to deal with, so I won't keep Miss Mei Mei. Ming said lightly. Mei Mei didn't care and smiled coquettishly, he's really a charming guy. After saying that, Mei Mei didn't stay any longer and walked out with elegant steps. A few days passed in a hurry, at Gojo's house, Gojo Satoru looked at the old man with an indifferent expression. Is this your choice? Gojo Satoru said coldly. At this time, Jia Wu, who was wearing casual clothes, no longer looked so funny. Yes, that thing must be brought back. One of the old men said. Oh, I understand. Gojo Satoru said as a powerful energy slowly gathered in his hands. Master, why, why? The old man stuttered, obviously shocked by Gojo Satoru's move. Advertisement. Since you know that I am the head of the family, you should understand that that guy is my best friend. Gojo Satoru said coldly. Can. Before the old man could refute, his body was blasted to pieces by Gojo Satoru. The senior members of the Gojo family looked at each other. They were all surprised by Gojo Satoru's move. They looked at the decisive Gojo Satoru and said nothing. Keep your mouth shut quietly. Satoru, give me an explanation. Even if he is your friend, you don't need to be so protective. That thing is of great importance. A powerful voice sounded. A middle-aged man with similar appearance to Gojo Satoru walked in from the door. Dad, you're here. Gojo Satoru looked at his father, who was no longer cold and looked lazy. Looking at his father Gojo Satoru who was staring at him, he waved his hand and said seriously, First of all, he is not my friend, he is a close friend, the only two close friends in the world. Secondly, I am doing this for the Gojo family. Although I'm not interested in the head of the family, but I still have to do something. If that guy goes on a killing spree, no one can stop him. Hearing this, Gojo Satoru's father was stunned and then looked at Gojo Satoru with wide eyes, knowing that Gojo Satoru would not be humble or lie about such things. Does that person also include you, Satoru? Gojo Satoru's father said. He has always been proud of his son. As Gojo Satoru's father, his own technique is also the ancestral technique of the Gojo family, with no lower limit. But he doesn't have six eyes, so he can't use it, but the amount of magic power in his body is terrifying. Not to mention Gojo Satoru, who has both six eyes and unlimited magic, plus his unparalleled talent. Gojo Satoru can even be said to be the strongest six eyes owner in history, but unexpectedly Gojo Satoru said that he cannot stop someone who is not a sorcerer family. Explanation, six eyes does not necessarily mean that there is no lower limit technique, and there is a technique that does not necessarily have six eyes. Having both does not necessarily mean that you can cast a reversal technique. And Gojo Satoru's strength is not only six eyes and no lower limit, and he has unparalleled talent. Impossible. With six eyes and infinite lower limit techniques, you are the strongest in modern times. An old man said in surprise. He would rather believe that Gojo Satoru was doing it for friendship than believe that anyone is stronger than Gojo Satoru. Advertisement. Chapter 75 Help me kill them. Advertisement. Impossible, you are the strongest, an old man from Gojo's family said in surprise. It's up to you whether you want to believe it or not, but you have to understand that I am not negotiating with you, understand? You can also deal with Ninja, but you will be removed from the Gojo family. Gojo Satoru said with a look of disdain. Then he stopped staying and turned around to leave the conference room of Gojo's house. Gojo Satoru's father gave these old guys a cold look and ignored them, and followed Gojo Satoru away. Satoru, is your friend really that strong? Gojo Satoru's father also didn't believe it. If other people from the big three sorcerer families could compare with Gojo Satoru, he might still believe it, but a completely ordinary person Ming, he was a little puzzled. Even though Gojo Satoru's other Xiaoyuja was a monster that had not appeared for a hundred years, Gojo Satoru would not be allowed to say that. Yeah, it's very strong, especially that guy's awakened eyes. Now he can't even see through me. Gojo Satoru said calmly, his eyes a little indifferent. The following words were only spoken by Gojo Satoru in his heart, and his father did not hear them. 
How do you compare to him? I don't know, maybe both sides will suffer losses, and there is another possibility that I will lose. Gojo Satoru said indifferently. What? Gojo Satoru's father was completely surprised, and even a slightly ferocious look appeared on his face. This was not his fault, because when Ming had just defeated the Yamada no Orakai, the higher UPS began to investigate, and Gojo Satoru's father's he also got the news that Yamada no Orakai has these two Sukuna fingers. At that time, he asked Gojo Satoru a question. If you face Sukuna, what are your chances of winning? Gojo Satoru replied with only three words, I will win. Advertisement. These three words made Gojo Satoru's father ecstatic. Who is Sukuna? That was the strongest jiu-jitsu master from thousands of years ago. Even though he was besieged by all the jiu-jitsu divisions at the time, he still won in the end. You must know that jiu-jitsu was at its peak at that time, and there were many people who could open up fields at that time. He could be called the strongest Sukuna of his time and was called the king of curses. It's conceivable how powerful it is, but I, Jo Satoru, still have the confidence to defeat it. But the guy whom Gojo Satoru called his best friend actually made the arrogant Gojo Satoru say that. Oh, that guy's talent is not weaker than mine. There is really no guarantee of defeating him now, but who knows in the future. Even so, Gojo Satoru has absolute confidence in himself. From birth to now, he has never been its others chasing him, no matter what he does. But when Ming said that he appeared, Gojo Satoru was slightly threatened. This threat was something that even Xiaoyuja had never faced before. Just as Xiaoyuja said, both he and Ming were born strong, and the loneliness in their hearts had no one. Understand. What is a born strong person? It is a person who is chosen by fate. It is a person who is destined to become the strongest person in this world. People often say that man can conquer nature, and hard work can catch up with genius, but in Gojo Satoru's opinion, this is all nonsense. The power of his casual punch may be something that an ordinary person cannot achieve in his lifetime. From the first time Gojo Satoru saw Ming, he could tell that Ming was different from others. He had the same kind of aura. When Ming came out for the first time, he had only one feeling in his heart. If anyone in this world could defeat him, it would be the man in front of him. In fact, he had the same feeling when he met Gojo Satoru in Ming. At that time, he thought that someone with multiple Sherry non-abilities might be stronger than Gojo Satoru, but he was wrong. Gojo Satoru's power was not just about his powerful spells, but also just like him, in battle, he has super potential for evolution. If two people fight to determine the winner, basically one will die and the other will be injured, seriously, and he doesn't know who will die. Even with the all-encompassing Rinnegan, Mei still doesn't think he can completely defeat Gojo Satoru. The best outcome is that Gojo Satoru dies, he is seriously injured and then dies. Advertisement. So, Dad, you'd better advise those old guys who have their own evil intentions to go to them. Maybe the Gojo family will be ruined by them. Gojo Satoru said indifferently. He has nothing to do with those old guys. Good impression. Satoru, if that happens, why don't you stop him? Gojo Satoru's father frowned. He really felt a little worried about his son. Well, it's not that there's nothing we can do if we don't stop them. How should I put it? They were killed in the aftermath of our fight. Gojo Satoru said. Also, that guy has a very arrogant personality. If that guy has murderous intentions, I can't dissuade him. But don't worry, for my sake, Dad will not destroy the Gojo family. He will just kill those people. From a pedantic old fellow. Having said this, Gojo Satoru said nothing more and turned to leave. This era may surpass a thousand years ago. Gojo Satoru looked at me blankly and said Gojo Satoru's back. Gojo Satoru's words hit his heart like a heavy hammer. On the other hand, Ming received a call from Gojo Satoru. Hey, what have you been busy with lately? Gojo Satoru's cynical tone sounded. You're talking about something again. If nothing happens, I'll hang up. Mei Mei said angrily. Okay, you guy, it's true that we haven't seen each other for a long time, so there's no need to be so cold. Gojo Satoru said. Say it. Advertisement. Okay, the high-level people have already started taking action, and the Gojo family has received the news. Gojo Satoru said calmly. Oh, why did you ask me to let go of your Gojo family? But for your sake, it's okay. Ming's voice was playful. TCH, who would do such a thing? Gojo Satoru said with a disdainful tone. Then you care about this close friend of mine. Hey, you are so disgusting. I don't need it with my strength. Ming Chi had goosebumps all over his body. How could you be stupid? I'm asking you to do me a favor. Gojo Satoru said angrily. Did you tell me earlier? It gave me goosebumps. Just tell me. Ming Zaina breathed a sigh of relief. If anyone from the Gojo family is involved in your matter, just kill them directly without looking at my face. Gojo Satoru said lightly. Tell me. Why? Ming already knew that the Gojo family, the leader of the big three sorcerer families, would also participate when he got the news about Mei Mei. Originally, he had no intention of touching them for Gojo Satoru's sake. You also know that as the head of the family, I basically don't manage the Gojo family. This has led to some of those old guys to join the higher UPS. I don't have any good impressions of those guys, but it's not easy to take action directly. You just do things that are convenient. Directly please help me solve it. I have already warned them anyway. Don't blame me if you are seeking death. Gojo Satoru had a smile on his face. Okay, I understand. Now that Gojo Satoru had spoken, he naturally agreed. Anyway, he wanted to teach those senior officials a lesson. On the other side, Gojo Satoru looked at his phone angrily. Then, with a playful smile on his face, he looked at the address Mei Mei sent. There was also the money transferred by Gojo Satoru, and this address was the location of Ming Mei's villa. Advertisement. Chapter 76 Gojo Satoru's Birthday. Advertisement. At this time in Ming's villa, Ming looked at the uninvited man sitting opposite with an ugly expression. The man's white hair towered into the sky, and his eyes were wrapped in white bandages. Why did you come here, Satoru? Looking at Gojo Satoru with a smile on his face, I found out after a little inquiry. Gojo Satoru lay on the sofa without caring. Next time, don't come without my permission. Ming said angrily. It depends on the situation. Maybe I'll come here more often if I smile and have nothing to do. Gojo Satoru said without caring about Ming's words. By the way, what are you dressing up like? Ming looked at the bandaged Gojo Satoru in front of him and his hair that stood on end. How about it? It's cool. Gojo Satoru pointed to his bandage. He was just about to change his glasses, so he replaced it with a bandage, but the effect was good, so that's all. 
Cool? Isn't it okay for you to be cool? How could your aesthetic become like this? Stay away from me, I'm afraid of being infected. Ming said with a look of disgust. Hey, you guy, don't complain about me every time, even when you wear glasses. You also know that my eyes can see things too clearly. What can I do? Gojo Satoru said with an annoyed look. Okay, it's up to you. Ming didn't say anything back. Looking at Gojo Satoru who was getting closer and closer to the original, Ming was still a little kind. By the way, those old guys, will they let you take action? Ming said casually. Advertisement. Probably, after all, they are very scared of you because of what you did in the past. Gojo Satoru also said calmly. It's unimaginable that you would also work as a thug for those old guys. Ming said with a sarcastic look. Don't worry, I won't take action, just don't worry. Gojo Satoru naturally went to Daya Ming's refrigerator and took out the cake and ate it. Hey, your tone is very harsh, as if you are better than me. It seems that you are known as the strongest jiu-jitsu master in the modern era, but you are a bit arrogant now. Ming mocked with a listless look on his face. How could it be? Before I defeat you, you have a share in who is the strongest. And I don't recognize the one who is the strongest, even if I am the strongest. Gojo Satoru said equally casually. Ming glanced at Gojo Satoru but said nothing. After a moment of silence, Gojo Satoru said calmly, Jay, how's that guy doing? Oh, it's good. I've been living a very prosperous life recently. I've gained a lot of weight, and there are many beautiful women around me, Ming said lightly. Oh, that's really good. Gojo Satoru smiled casually. Why are you envious? After all, my subordinates are quite obedient. They are not like those old guys in your family who are very thoughtful. Yeah, so you have to help me, that kind of guy is not helpful to the world, Gojo Satoru said. But compared to Jay, I envy you more. Sure enough, among the three of us, you are the one who enjoys it the most. Tisk, this is called contentment. But Wu, you have really grown up. I am very happy. Ming had a fatherly smile on his lips. Since Xiaoyuja turned black, Gojo Satoru seems to have grown up and is no longer the child who doesn't think about anything. Go away. Gojo Satoru said angrily. Hurry up, come take a walk with me. Gojo Satoru stood up and walked out. Advertisement. Ming shook his head helplessly and stood up. He looked at Gojo Satoru's back and murmured, You look more and more like Jay before. Is it because this was Jay's previous ideal? Then Ming took Gojo Satoru to play here for a day. Even if Ming dislikes the arrival of his best friend, he can't just let Gojo Satoru wander around by himself. In the evening, Gojo Satoru did not stay here and planned to go back. But before going back, Ming stopped him and threw a note to Gojo Satoru. What? Gojo Satoru looked at the notes in front of him. Birthday gift, get out of here, Ming said angrily, then ignored Gojo Satoru and continued drinking coffee. Gojo Satoru smiled and disappeared from the room instantly. Gojo Satoru returned to the high school, lying on the bed and looking at his notes. These notes were some records about the open field. In fact, open fields and ordinary enchantment fields. Each has its own advantages and disadvantages. But there is no doubt that the open field is better. This guy has actually made it this far. It seems like he's going to be tired for a while. Gojo Satoru said, and then he just gathered the notes at his fingertips and turned them into ashes. At the other end, on the top of a tall building, a man wearing a monk's robe looked at the moon in the sky, his eyes full of complexity and nostalgia. Happy birthday, Satoru the man murmured. Master Zaiyu, you are here. Everyone else has already arrived and is waiting for you in the conference room. Two beautiful little Lolita said. This man is naturally Xiaoyuja, and the two girls are the little girls he saved. Okay, let's go back. Xiaoyuja touched their little heads with a gentle smile. The lonely expression just now had disappeared. Advertisement. Xiaoyuja came to the building, looked at the people in front of him, and walked slowly on the stage. Lord Xiaoyu, why did you summon us? A man looked at Xiaoyuja respectfully. Then let's talk about the next plan. On the other side, many high-level officials gathered in the conference room. They were discussing matters, and a man spoke first. I sent someone to negotiate with Uchihame, but he refused, and his attitude was extremely bad. The man said with a gloomy look. Isn't this result certain? This is not the first time he has done this. It's simply more difficult to control than that guy from Gojo's family. An old guy remembered the way Gojo Satoru talked to him, with a look of disdain on his face, and threatened to kill him, but it was just a talk. Gojo Satoru did not he didn't take action, but Uchihame was different. He would take action whenever he felt unhappy, even very heavy-handed. That little guy doesn't really think that becoming a special level jiu-jitsu master means he is invincible. I think it's because he has a good relationship with Gojo's six-eyes kid, so we don't dare to touch him. I think we need to negotiate further. Even though that little guy is not as powerful as the one from the Gojo family, he is a special one after all. A conservative said. Even if it is a special level, it can't compare with our positioning. And to put it bluntly, Yamato no Arakai has been sealed for a thousand years and his strength is estimated to be no more than ten. Even if he has special strength, he is only the weakest. Don't forget that there were still Meimei is here. A hawkish old man said. In the corner, a faceless middle-aged man wearing a top hat showed disdain on his lips. One out of ten? How is it possible? Yamato no Orakai has strength far beyond its peak, but that Uchihame must be eliminated. Advertisement. Chapter 77 Zeninji. Advertisement. At this time, Ming, who had just gotten off the plane, looked around coldly. With a sneer on his lips, he walked out of the airport little by little without saying anything. Walking towards the high school. Uchiha Ming, there is an adult who wants to see you. A man in black appeared in front of Ming and said arrogantly. Oh, lead the way. Ming had a sneer on his lips without any resistance. Follow the man in black out of the airport. The man in black was also stunned. He originally thought that this man would struggle, but he didn't expect to be so obedient, and the man didn't think much about it. Turning around to leave, Ming followed behind and looked at the man and secretly asked, Are you an ordinary person? Interesting. After walking out of the airport, a car appeared in front of the two of them. Ming opened the car and got in without any courtesy. Wait a moment. Is there something wrong? Although the man in black is an ordinary person, he is also very arrogant as the spokesperson of the higher UPS. He does not look down on ordinary magicians. Although Ming is a special level magician, he was rejected by the higher UPS after all, so he was not angry. Replied, This driver, do you know the location? Ming tried to keep his tone calm. Of course I know. Stop talking nonsense. You can't afford to waste your time. The man sneered. 
He was not afraid that the underworld would kill him. After all, although Jujutsu masters are powerful, there is one thing that prohibits killing ordinary people. Oh, it's nothing. I just want to say that you are no longer useful. Ming's eyes became cold. She glanced at the man slightly and closed the car window. The man's head suddenly disappeared, leaving only his body. Lao Gao with blood splattering. Advertisement. Let's go Ming said calmly. Yes, yes the driver said with some confusion. Although he could see the cursed spirit, he was indeed an ordinary person. The people around who had just left the airport looked at this body, and the entire airport fell into a riot. About an hour later, Ming was taken to a shopping mall. It's really interesting. You don't really think I'm enlightenment. Is this like restricting me? Ming said lightly, then glanced at the driver and said, If you don't want to die, leave this area, the further away the better. Of course, if you can just leave this city and your chances of survival will be greater. After all, power is not that easy to control. After saying this, Ming got out of the car. According to the power of the spell, Ming had already locked his position. Sir, we have arrived, but Kazuma has not followed. A jiu-jitsu master said to an old man. It doesn't matter, don't worry about him for now. Bring Uchihame here. I want to see who he is. The old man said with disdain. The reason why he set the location in this remote small city is because it has a small population. Not much, he just wanted to prevent Uchihame from suddenly not resisting. It would not be easy to solve this matter in Tokyo. Yes, Master Zenin. After the man finished speaking, he immediately walked towards Ming. Ming also knew that someone was coming to find him, so he was not in a hurry. Come with me, the man said directly without any nonsense, and nodded. After a while I came to a room. You must be Uchihame, my name is Zenin, and I am the ancestor of the Zenin family. The so-called adult said. Oh, why are you looking for me? Ming said with an indifferent expression. Advertisement. Hand over the three Sukuna fingers on your hand. It is safest to hand over such dangerous things to us. Zenin Z said coldly. Oh, you are talking about that kind of thing. It is indeed here with me. Ming said lightly. Looking at Ming's attitude, Zenin Ji was quite satisfied. After all, after the last negotiation, Ming beat him up before he could even say anything. But before he could be happy, Ming said with an indifferent expression, Then let me ask you, why should I give what I got to you old immortals? You, don't forget that your special magician was given to you by us. Zenin Z said angrily. Since he achieved his current status, no one has dared to talk to him like this for many years. Oh, who cares about that kind of thing? Just take it if you want it. I don't care. Ming said calmly. Okay, in that case, Achihame, then on behalf of the Jiu-Jitsu world, I will execute you. Zenin Ji said gloomily, and the moment he said execution, many Jiu-Jitsu masters appeared in the room. And Zenin Ji also disappeared in place. Ming Ye looked at the Jiu-Jitsu masters around him without any expression. He calmly took out his phone and checked the time. In a dark room, Zenin Zi looked at Ming with a gloomy face. Then take your time and deal with you. Ming stood up. Wang Xian Tianyin. A huge attraction appeared around Ming. Fire release, with earth life. Black flames appeared all over Ming's body like a hedgehog, attracting all the jiu-jitsu masters around him, and were finally burned up by Amaterasu. Some experienced jiu-jitsu masters stood up and ran out as early as Ming. And there are many jiu-jitsu masters hidden in this mall. Advertisement. Then let's play a game of cat and mouse, Ming sneered. Ming's body slowly blended into the underground. He came to the third floor and looked at the jiu-jitsu master in front of him. Ming's eyes glanced at them, and their bodies and heads instantly. It was as if it had been chopped off by something invisible. Looking at the killed companions around them, the besieging jiu-jitsu masters began to run towards the crowd. How could Ming give them a chance? He raised his hand, pointed at the fleeing people, and activated the universal celestial yin, and they were instantly attracted. Then he was killed without mercy by Ming. Damn it, why is that guy so strong? It seems that we have to replan and let them go together, otherwise there will be no chance. This will make him defeat each other. Zenin, who was in the dark room at this time, said with fear, and with a drop cold sweat ran down his face. Run into the crowd, then gather on the first floor, and ask the people in the mall to surround him. He won't dare to take action. Zenin Z sneered. A large number of ordinary people also appeared in Ming's position, surrounding Ming. The jiu-jitsu masters began to sneer. Ming Yan's eyes turned cold. He looked at the ordinary people in front of him and said coldly. I only give you one minute to get away from me, Ming said coldly. And those extraordinary people looked at Ming with disdain and ridicule. They were the people sent by Zenin to stop and restrict Ming. How could they get out of the way? Ming Xia lowered his head, his bangs blocking his eyes. Time also passes little by little. One second, two seconds. One minute is up. The time is up. If you don't want to leave, just stay here. Ming had a crazy smile on his lips. Also, this city will perish because of you. Ming's figure slowly flew up, the majestic power of the spell spread around, and the purple samsara eyes appeared in everyone's eyes. Advertisement. Chapter 77 Zeninji. Advertisement. At this time, Ming, who had just gotten off the plane, looked around coldly. With a sneer on his lips, he walked out of the airport little by little without saying anything. Walking towards the high school. Achiha Ming, there is an adult who wants to see you. A man in black appeared in front of Ming and said arrogantly. Oh, lead the way. Ming had a sneer on his lips without any resistance. Follow the man in black out of the airport. The man in black was also stunned. He originally thought that this man would struggle, but he didn't expect to be so obedient, and the man didn't think much about it. Turning around to leave, Ming followed behind and looked at the man and secretly asked, Are you an ordinary person? Interesting. After walking out of the airport, a car appeared in front of the two of them. Ming opened the car and got in without any courtesy. Wait a moment. Is there something wrong? Although the man in black is an ordinary person, he is also very arrogant as the spokesperson of the higher UPS. He does not look down on ordinary magicians. Although Ming is a special level magician, he was rejected by the higher UPS after all, so he was not angry. Replied, This driver, do you know the location? Ming tried to keep his tone calm. Of course I know. Stop talking nonsense. You can't afford to waste your time. The man sneered. He was not afraid that the underworld would kill him. After all, although jiu-jitsu masters are powerful, there is one thing that prohibits killing ordinary people. Oh, it's nothing. I just want to say that you are no longer useful. Ming's eyes became cold. She glanced at the man slightly and closed the car window. The man's head suddenly disappeared, leaving only his body. Lao Gao with blood splattering. Advertisement. 
Let's go, Ming said calmly. Yes, yes, the driver said with some confusion. Although he could see the cursed spirit, he was indeed an ordinary person. The people around who had just left the airport looked at this body, and the entire airport fell into a riot. About an hour later, Ming was taken to a shopping mall. It's really interesting. You don't really think I'm enlightenment. Is this like restricting me? Ming said lightly, then glanced at the driver and said, If you don't want to die, leave this area, the further away the better. Of course, if you can just leave the city and your chances of survival will be greater. After all, power is not that easy to control. After saying this, Ming got out of the car. According to the power of the spell, Ming had already locked his position. Sir, we have arrived, but Kazuma has not followed. A jiu-jitsu master said to an old man, It doesn't matter, don't worry about him for now, bring Uchihame here. I want to see who he is, the old man said with disdain. The reason why he set the location in this remote small city is because it has a small population. Not much, he just wanted to prevent Uchihame from suddenly not resisting. It would not be easy to solve this matter in Tokyo. Yes, Master Zenin. After the man finished speaking, he immediately walked towards Ming. Ming also knew that someone was coming to find him, so he was not in a hurry. Come with me, the man said directly without any nonsense, and nodded. After a while I came to a room. You must be Uchihame, my name is Zenin, and I am the ancestor of the Zenin family. The so-called adult said. Oh, why are you looking for me? Ming said with an indifferent expression. Advertisement. Hand over the three Sukuna fingers on your hand. It is safest to hand over such dangerous things to us. Zenin Z said coldly. Oh, you are talking about that kind of thing. It is indeed here with me. Ming said lightly. Looking at Ming's attitude, Zenin Ji was quite satisfied. After all, after the last negotiation, Ming beat him up before he could even say anything. But before he could be happy, Ming said with an indifferent expression, Then let me ask you, why should I give what I got to you old immortals? You, don't forget that your special magician was given to you by us. Zenin Zi said angrily, Since he achieved his current status, no one has dared to talk to him like this for many years. Oh, who cares about that kind of thing? Just take it if you want it. I don't care. Ming said calmly. Okay, in that case, Achihame, then on behalf of the jiu-jitsu world, I will execute you. Zenin Ji said gloomily, and the moment he said execution, many jiu-jitsu masters appeared in the room, and Zenin Ji also disappeared in place. Ming A looked at the jiu-jitsu masters around him without any expression. He calmly took out his phone and checked the time. In a dark room, Zenin Ji looked at Ming with a gloomy face. Then take your time and deal with you. Ming stood up. Wang Xian Pianyin. A huge attraction appeared around Ming. Fire release, with earth life. Black flames appeared all over Ming's body like a hedgehog, attracting all the jiu-jitsu masters around him, and were finally burned up by Amaterasu. Some experienced jiu-jitsu masters stood up and ran out as early as Ming, and there are many jiu-jitsu masters hidden in this mall. Advertisement. Then let's play a game of cat and mouse, Ming sneered. Ming's body slowly blended into the underground. He came to the third floor and looked at the jiu-jitsu master in front of him. Ming's eyes glanced at them, and their bodies and heads instantly. It was as if it had been chopped off by something invisible. Looking at the killed companions around them, the besieging jiu-jitsu masters began to run towards the crowd. How could Ming give them a chance? He raised his hand, pointed at the fleeing people, and activated the universal celestial yin, and they were instantly attracted. Then he was killed without mercy by Ming. Damn it, why is that guy so strong? It seems that we have to replan and let them go together, otherwise there will be no chance. This will make him defeat each other. Zenin, who was in the dark room at this time, said with fear, and with a drop cold sweat ran down his face. Run into the crowd, then gather on the first floor, and ask the people in the mall to surround him. He won't dare to take action. Zenin Z sneered. A large number of ordinary people also appeared in Ming's position, surrounding Ming. The jiu-jitsu masters began to sneer. Ming Yan's eyes turned cold, he looked at the ordinary people in front of him and said coldly, I only give you one minute to get away from me, Ming said coldly, and those extraordinary people looked at Ming with disdain and ridicule. They were the people sent by Zenin to stop and restrict Ming. How could they get out of the way? Ming Xia lowered his head, his bangs blocking his eyes. Time also passes little by little. One second, two seconds. One minute is up. The time is up. If you don't want to leave, just stay here. Ming had a crazy smile on his lips. Also, this city will perish because of you. Ming's figure slowly flew up, the majestic power of the spell spread around, and the purple samsara eyes appeared in everyone's eyes. Advertisement. The time is up, I am no longer interested in playing with you anymore. Since you don't want to leave, then stay here completely. No matter you are innocent or forced, since you have made this stupid decision, then let this the city will pay for you. Ming's body began to float, and the majestic spell power spread around like a tide. After hearing Ming's words, some ordinary people who worked for high-level officials showed panic on their faces. Jiu-Jitsu masters are above the rest, not to mention one of the four top-level Jiu-Jitsu masters today. And although this city is not big, at least their family members live there. No, some people who knew the inside story looked at the indifferent Ming and shouted loudly, while the ordinary people who were being used looked blank. After all, people who can fly are considered supermen in their eyes. Super, Shinra Tianjang. A powerful repulsive force swept towards the surroundings, and the entire city began to destroy the surroundings with Ming as the center. After a few seconds, Ming looked at the disappearing building in front of him and the person who was chatting just now, and there was no trace of emotion in Ming's eyes. In fact, Ming did not destroy the entire city, but left a part of it, and that part was the ordinary people in the city. When dealing with Ming, although they wanted to use ordinary people to restrict Ming, they were not sure. Will they fall into a trap? They don't know much about Ming's abilities, so they don't dare to take risks. Moreover, the Jiu-Jitsu division is extremely powerful. If too many people die, even they, the higher UPS, cannot bear it. Therefore, except for the people in the shopping mall, the rest of the people were transported to the edge of the city. And Ming's Sherry Nan has already seen through all this. It's not that he can't destroy the entire city, but it's not necessary. Flying into the sky, looking down, the figure began to twist and finally disappeared from the place. While monitoring everything, Zenin looked at the surveillance equipment that had no pictures, and confusion flashed in his eyes. Advertisement. No, no, okay, sir, a frightened voice sounded. What's going on? Zenin Z frowned. The frightened jiu-jitsu master just now took out a camera cursed tool tremblingly. While watching, a sound made Zenin feel like he had fallen into an eye cellar. I found you. Your jiu-jitsu is really interesting. Even I missed it just now. Is it a projection jiu-jitsu? Ming said coldly. 
Why are you here? It can't be so far away from the center. Wait, you can also teleport over long distances. Xenon said in horror. Oh, do you dare to deal with me without even grasping my information? You are really brave. Ming said calmly. Where are my men? Xenon Z forced himself to calm down. Oh, I don't know, but I can show you. I don't know if you can see it. Ming stretched out his hand towards him, and Xenon Z's body was sucked towards him. However, his subordinate did not make a move but collapsed on the ground when Ming appeared. There was panic in his eyes. Ming ignored it and took Xenon Z to the sky above the city. Looking at everything in front of him, he couldn't believe his eyes, thinking that he was under Ming's illusion. Don't think about it, it's true. They died for you. How about it? Don't you feel honored? Ming looked at the city that had been destroyed by him, nearly half of which was destroyed like a chicken. He said with the Xenon in his hand. Advertisement. You, how, is it possible? Xenon knew that he regretted it completely this time. This guy was either a human or a monster. He was a representative of natural disasters. How big was half of a city? It was destroyed instantly. Seconds. By the way, you are a member of the Xenon family. This time the matter must be related to the Xenon family. It seems that I have to visit the Xenon family. The current head of the Xenon family is your nephew. No, no, this matter has nothing to do with the Xenon family. It's my own intention. Please let the Xenon family go. Only then did Xenon realize how stupid he was. Looking at the ruins of the city around him, he was afraid. Not only that, he was afraid that this god of death would go to Xenon's house, because he knew that the man in front of him would not be lenient. He was different from Gojo Satoru. Gojo Satoru could still restrict it, but it could be seen from this man's actions just now that he would not will be restricted by anything. Listen, actually I still like the way you were in control of everything just now. Xenon, I'll save my life first and tell the guys at the top. I'll give them time to prepare, otherwise it will be too boring. Ming Yi looked calm, said. Then sent a message to Gojo Satoru. There are indeed members of your Gojo family inside. They have all been killed. The rest will be left to you. Receive. Gojo Satoru also received news soon. Ming put away his cell phone and watched Xenonji lead him to leave the city with his divine power and reappeared in Tokyo. Ming didn't waste any time and threw him to the ground. Go, I only give you one day. Don't think about escaping. It will be the same no matter where you escape. Ming said coldly. Just get out of here. What Ming did was quickly reported. Although what was said in the news was covered up, how could those ordinary people completely believe it? You must know that even in a war, it is impossible to use weapons of that level. A city was destroyed by half, but they didn't know how to explain it. After all, they were just ordinary people. Advertisement. That guy Ming, he went a little too far. Gojo Satoru was also shocked by Ming's madness. He thought he would just kill some ordinary people, but he didn't expect Ming to be so ruthless. It can be said that he directly wiped out the city. The number of people who died was hundreds of times more than the casualties Xiaoyuja had caused back then. Even though most of the people in the city had been relocated, there were still too many people who died. Even the government will find it difficult to suppress it in a short period of time. Damn, that's more than going too far, that guy is simply a lunatic. At this time, the old guys from the Gojo family said in horror. They finally knew they were afraid. I just got news that the Gojo family members are also involved in this kind of thing. Who asked that person to go? Gojo Satoru said calmly. Housekeeper. It's me. An old man raised his hand. Should I do it? Should you do it yourself? Or should you wait until Ming investigates and do it? Gojo Satoru said calmly. The head of the family and the elders also do it for the family. Stop talking, I'll do it myself. The old man seemed to have aged several years. He knew that he had to die. Even if Gojo Satoru didn't take action, the man named Ming would do it. If he was killed at Gojo's house, if others kill him, the Gojo family will not be able to hold their head high. And even if Gojo Satoru goes to war with that Uchihame, only the Gojo family's foundation will be destroyed in the end, and he will be the sinner by then. So the best way is for him to commit suicide. The old man didn't hesitate and started to take action. Gojo Satoru looked indifferent, stood up and left. Advertisement. Chapter 79 Compromising Executives. Advertisement. What should we do? Let's talk. Didn't you say that this matter can be easily solved? An old man said angrily. This old man was the party advocating for peaceful negotiations. Now he looked at the few people on the opposite side who had become silent. Said with an angry look. We misjudged Uchihame's strength and madness. I think locating Uchihame's behavior as curse user and then sending Gojo Satoru there will not only kill Uchihame and regain Sukuna's finger, but also reduce casualties. An old man suggested that he was the representative of the Hawks. Hisano Sato was also the first person to suggest using violence to take back Sukuna's finger. Negotiation. Negotiation. No, I don't agree. Zenin Z retorted with a panic look on his face. What did you say? Zenin, were you scared to death by that little guy? Sato Hisano looked at Zenin with an angry look. I don't agree with that either, Sato, said the senior man in a top hat who was also a member of the Kamo family. Sato Hisano looked at the man with anger and confusion. Hmph, Sato, you are too naive. I don't say whether Gojo Satoru will take action. To put it in perspective, even if the two of them take action, do you think Uchiha will fight where you want? Don't forget, Zenin as I said, he has the ability to teleport over long distances, and although Gojo Satoru also has it, it is impossible for Gojo Satoru to successfully stop him when their strengths are about the same. At this time, the only high-ranking person from each faction sneered. And even if he were to stop him, the destructive power he showed would be enough to destroy the entire Tokyo. With that kind of destructive power, you wouldn't really think that guy would be weaker than Gojo Satoru, right? He's not worthy of being its special. Then what do you guys agree to do? Let this unstable factor always exist. Don't forget that guy, he won't be of much help to our senior management. Sato Hisano said. I think what Sato said is right. If it really doesn't work, if we can get Juju back, even if he takes two special shots, no matter how strong he is. Shut up, what do you know? Do you think that with more people, you can defeat that guy? At the level of Gojo Satoru and Uchihame, having people around them will restrict them and reduce their strength. Even if they are both special level 99 of them are not worthy of standing next to them. Zenin Z sneered. Advertisement. 
Only when you feel the strong feeling of that guy at close range can you know what despair is. That huge city was destroyed in an instant, and most of the people have nothing to do. What does this mean? That is, it is far from his full strength. You know, if you really use your full strength, it is impossible to control it so finely. Damn it. Sato slapped the table. Then what do you think we should do? Do we have to kneel down and apologize to him? A senior executive said angrily. There is only one way, to compensate that guy. No matter how you compensate, he has become so strong, what should you do? Hey, hand over that cursed tool. An old man sighed. What did you say? That's, shut up, what do you think you should do? Can you stop him? It's not just your stupidity and arrogance. Do you really think anyone is worthy of being called a close friend of Gojo Satoru? Who can suppress that monster? Even that cursed even Xiaoyuja, a spirit master, can't compare with Gojo Satoru. Do you think that guy is that simple? The dove style old man became more and more angry as he spoke, and almost didn't take action directly. I, Sato Hisano didn't know that he didn't consider this matter well. But the cursed tool is very important. <laughs> it's useless anyway, and there's no use keeping it. Would you believe that illusory legend? Why don't you give that thing to that guy? Okay, agreed. Agree. Advertisement. Agree. There is one more thing, that is, we will not pursue the case that Uchiha may kill those ordinary people. This matter must be explained to those people, otherwise it will be very troublesome. Forget it, don't anger that guy again, this time it's just bad luck for us. On the other end, in a conference room, they looked at the information in their hands with expressions of surprise, horror, and even a hint of blind worship. Ha 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 ha, you are indeed Ming. No matter what you do, you don't play by the rules. Xiaoyuja covered his eyes, feeling so happy for the first time since he became a curse user. Lord Xiaoyu, that gentleman, I heard he is your good friend. No, to be precise, he is a best friend, the only two best friends in the world. Xiaoyuja regained his composure, with a serious and serious look on his face. Then can you please? It's impossible. If that guy really had that intention, he wouldn't have rejected me back then. He was probably offended. You should also remember. One thing, I would rather fight Gojo Satoru than be cruel in front of that guy. Words. Xiaoyuja said seriously. Why Sir Xiaoyu? Asked the little girl adopted by Xiaoyuja. Because Wuhui is too lazy to take action because you are too weak, but if you say harsh words in front of that guy Ming, you will die. No exceptions. Xiaoyuja said calmly. Everyone looked at Xiaoyuja's eyes and felt the deep malice of this world. Advertisement. Why is the gap between people so big? After hearing Xiaoyuja's words, they felt that their lives had never been truly in their own hands. Don't worry, that guy Ming won't take action just because you are cursed. He is a person with no sense of boundaries. If you don't offend him, he won't care. Xiaoyuja said gently. Said. At this time, Ming was in the high school. In the classroom, only he and Yagamasamichi were sitting at attention. Ming, what you did is a little too much. Yagamasamichi said with a serious face. Teacher, you told me that being a jiu-jitsu master is not for others to watch. It is not only the burden on your shoulders, but also your own heart. Ming said with an indifferent expression. Oh, Ming, I can't help you, but I don't want my disciple to become a curse user anymore. Yagamasamichi said with a headache. Don't worry, teacher won't. If those senior officials don't give me a satisfactory answer, I will let them know the consequences. Ming comforted Yagamasamichi calmly. Then what will you do? They won't allow someone who can't control it. Yagamasamichi looked at Ming. Keep killing. Ming's eyes did not change at all. Ming, are you the same as G's choice? Yagamasamichi asked. No, teacher, I have my chosen path, and I will change the world, but at the same time, I have to live for myself. It doesn't matter to me what carelessness I have. Ming said lightly. Okay, I won't stop you. I know you can see more clearly than Wu. Yagamasamichi stopped talking and took out a panda's cursed skeleton from behind. Thank you, teacher. Ming looked a little serious. This was his respect for Yagamasamichi. He knew that Yagamasamichi told him that everything was for his own good. Yagamasamichi said nothing, but just took out a cute panda charm. Advertisement. Chapter 80 Panda. Advertisement. Yagamasamichi, at this time, took out a panda's cursed skeleton. The panda looked at Ming carefully, with a flash in his eyes. Ming Ming was stunned for a moment when he saw this scene, and then looked at Yagamasamichi with a smile on his face. Teacher, you succeeded. Teacher Shuren is the undisputed number one in the field of curses. Yes, Yagamasamichi also smiled happily. After all, it was very satisfying to be praised by his monster-like student. Since he has his own consciousness, he should have a name. I don't know what the teacher named him. Ming had a smile on his face. I haven't thought about this yet. Yagamasamichi scratched his head. He tried several names but couldn't think of a name for it. Why don't we call it Panda? Ming looked at the cute little panda and said, rubbing its little head. The red panda seemed to understand and nodded happily. Okay, let's call it Panda. Yagamasamichi said happily. Little guy, before that, let me give you a gift. Ming said, later, there was also a pupil technique stored in little panda's soul. Teacher, it seems that this little guy is not that simple. He is not just conscious. Ming had a smile on his face. I really can't hide anything from you. Yagamasamichi said. There was a flash of satisfaction in his eyes. Advertisement. Ming said nothing. I couldn't help but laugh at the cute little guy. About an hour later, Gojo Satoru came over with something. You are indeed here. Gojo Satoru barged in directly from outside and sat on the ground without any appearance. Then he pulled out a box and threw it to Ming. What is this? Ming opened the box curiously. There is a very small Megatama inside the hotel. It is said that the cursed tool was passed down from thousands of years ago. I heard that this cursed tool is related to a secret from thousands of years ago, so it has been guarded by the senior officials. Even I am curious why those old guys would give this to you. Gojo Satoru said nonchalantly. Secret? Why do I need such rags? Ming said indifferently, but still opened his sherry non and observed carefully. He does have a strange power within him. What are you going to do next? Do you want to continue killing? Gojo Satoru lay on the ground and looked at Ming. Even Yagamasamichi pricked up his ears and listened. How should I put it? This time the senior management can be said to be very sincere. Forget it, let's leave it to you. This is the path you chose anyway, so I won't interfere. Ming said helplessly. But, Sansai, teacher, are you sure that this guy Satoru can be a teacher? Mei said looking at Gojo Satoru who looked unreliable. What's wrong with me? You guy, why am I not a teacher anymore? 
who is more suitable to teach and educate people. Gojo Satoru said with a look of dissatisfaction. Gojo Satoru is right. Gojo Satoru with six eyes is indeed very suitable to be a teacher. His six eyes are extremely sensitive to the observation of spell power and the insight into magic. For others, teaching requires experience, but for Gojo Satoru say, it's even simpler. Forget it, you have such a bad character, don't teach bad things to children. Ming stood up and waved his hand. Let's go now, don't you see Shoko? Gojo Satoru said calmly. Advertisement. Forget it, it's not like I won't see you anymore. Things here are over, I should go back and give those old guys a message. Forget it. If you dare to plot against me again, I will kill you. Ming Ming said on his face. He said with indifference. Then he disappeared in place. He is really a willful guy. Gojo Satoru curled his lips. If you are willful, Satoru, you have no shame in criticizing others. Yagamasamichi complained. But are you sure you want to pick up that child? Don't forget, you are his father-killing enemy. Yagamasamichi asked again. Of course, if I see a few good prospects, I will naturally accept them. Not to mention that the child's talent is not low. And I also found a few interesting little guys. Gojo Satoru said calmly. The senior executives were relieved to know that Ming accepted their cursed tool. They didn't dare to mess with that madman. At this time, the face of the man wearing the top hat was gloomy and terrifying. That thing was originally in his pocket, but the most important thing now is Sukuna's finger. It seems that Gojo Satoru must be used. It seems that the plan is about to start. But I didn't expect that this era not only has six eyes, but also knows the monster Achihame. It seems that the plan must be changed. The man murmured. At this time, Ming had returned to his home and started to implement his plan. Because Ming had already sent him information, it was said that it was still a special level, but it was subdued by Xiaoyuja. It's really quick to start. Ming had a smile on his face. Forget it, according to the current heretic demons, some ordinary special level cursed spirits can no longer be improved. Ming said lightly. Naturally, Xiaoyuja also got news about Ming. He didn't know why, but he was hunting cursed spirits like crazy during this period, and even had no less than five special levels. Advertisement. However, Xiaoyuja didn't pay much attention to it, because some time ago, due to Ming's dealing with high-level officials and destroying the city, cursed spirits are now springing up like mushrooms after a spring rain. This also made Xiaoyuja hate ordinary people even more. During this time, Xiaoyuja had more and more people in the organization. Corruption at the top led many people to join his ranks. Gojo Satoru is also devoted to education. Ming means doing nothing for a day. It passed in such a hurry, and at this time, Gojo Satoru was leading two students in the high school. One student looked very worried and looked like a gangster. The girl was also dressed in the same way. Gojo Satoru looked at the two people he had beaten to the ground with a headache on his face. As I said, your spell power is too crude. Although the damage is very high, if you want to master the strange power, you must know fine control. Gojo Satoru said with a headache. The anxious looking boy had an ugly expression on his face, and he looked at Gojo Satoru in front of him with dissatisfaction flashing in his eyes. Damn it, you're not playing tricks on me, are you? Who else can achieve that kind of precise control of the spell except you? The young man said stubbornly. Yes, of course. Isn't this kind of control very simple? And that guy's spell power is much rougher than yours, and the power of the spell is even more terrifying. Gojo Satoru waved his hand. Damn it, the boy curled his lips helplessly and thought to himself, this monster. Gojo Satoru was too strong, so powerful that no matter how much progress he made, he could not hurt this monster, even a little, even if he won the jackpot, he was still defeated instantly. But having said that, I haven't seen him for a long time, but I heard that he will come back after a while. I happen to have something to do, so I will leave it to you, Gojo Satoru said calmly. Advertisement. Chapter 81, Weighing Gold Times. Advertisement. Hey, stop talking to yourself, you guy. Why does he teach us? The young man looked ugly. Even though he looks older than Gojo Satoru, the girl also nodded and agreed with the boy. What about this? Don't worry, that guy is qualified to teach you, but I advise you to temper your personality. Humph, that guy doesn't have as good a temper as me. Please note that this is a reminder. Gojo Satoru's painting style changed, said cutely. Then he said with a serious face, by the way, that guy is one of the four great jiu-jitsu masters today. He is my contemporary. Then he said no more and turned around to leave. Then get out of class is over, students. The two boys and the girl are naturally Gojo Satoru's student, Hoshi Kinji, and the girl looking one is his classmate, Hoshi Kirera. Damn it, that blindfolded bastard, I'm going to beat him up when I get stronger. The young man grinned and held his stomach. I don't know why Gojo Satoru was so cruel to him, which caused him to feel a little shadowy. It's okay, scale. Who is that person that Mr. Gojo mentioned? The four top special jiu-jitsu masters today seem to be relatively strong people. Seeing Luoluo said, TCH, I don't know either. I just know that I'm also a student in a high school. But it doesn't matter. As long as I'm not that pervert Gojo Satoru. If I can defeat that guy, I will be a super warlock. Shokinji said with disdain. His technique he has a special style and is still leading the field. Now he can easily expand the field. Except for the pervert Gojo Satoru, he is not afraid of anyone. 2. Advertisement. Then the two started walking towards the classroom. On the other side, Gojo Satoru came to a room. Gojo, this task is left to you. The old man's voice sounded. Got it Gojo Satoru said calmly. I heard that Achihame is coming back. The voice did not pursue Gojo Satoru's perfunctory, but asked with some fear. Yeah, I guess I'll go back to the high school to stay for a while. I know, you go back first. Gojo Satoru waved his hand and stretched out of the room. As soon as he walked out of the room, Gojo Satoru took off his glasses and wrapped a bandage around his eyes. Take out your cell phone and start making calls. When are you coming back? What happened these days? Replied Gojo Satoru with a cold voice. Don't you want to go back to the high school and help me take care of the students for a few days? Gojo Satoru said calmly. You think of me as a nanny. I don't want to take care of that kind of little brat. If you accidentally kill him, you just have to cry. The other end said angrily. Hey, what did you say? Ah, you agreed, then it's settled. Gojo Satoru was about to hang up the phone. Advertisement. 
Don't do this to me. If you dare to hang up the phone, I will destroy your student. The voice on the other end said coldly, I know, how many days will it take? That guy's magic power is of a special type like yours, and that kid named Scale may be able to compete with us. Gojo Satoru said seriously, Are you sure? Ming didn't believe it. Well, how should I put it? Although there is still a lot to be desired, he is a rare genius, and he can already expand his field skillfully. Gojo Satoru said calmly, What, you guys are not joking, are you? You have just entered the second year of a high school and you can start your field? In terms of progress alone, you can already compare with us. Ming was a little unbelievable, although he did not deny that there were other geniuses. But out of recognition of his and Gojo Satoru's talents, I still can't believe it. You must know that even Xiaoyuja, who is extremely talented, only realized it after becoming a black man, and Xiaoyuja's field is particularly demanding. At that time, Xiaoyuja was about the same age as Shang Jinji now. Although he was not as perverted as Gojo Satoru and Ming, it still took a long time. Of course it's true, it's just that the field and the techniques are quite complicated, Gojo Satoru said. Oh, it's complicated? Is it more complicated than the structure of your technique? Ming became interested. No, the structure of the technique is complicated, but the effect displayed by the magician is complicated. You will know when the time comes, and I won't tell you anymore, so I will leave this time to you. Okay, I'm also very interested in the guy you're talking about. You seem to have a lot of tasks lately. Ming has been very bored after so many years, so why not teach his students? It's not because of you. Your unscrupulous destruction back then led to a significant increase in cursed spirit over the years, and you killed many magicians last time. In order to cause unnecessary casualties, those old guys had no choice but to let me go. Although 99 Yuki performed the mission, but it was too time-consuming. Gojo Satoru complained. Don't mention that woman to me. Ming said with an unhappy look. Ha 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 ha. Why don't you all live together? Advertisement. Shut up. Just cooperate. Ming said angrily. Okay, okay, then I will leave my students to you. By the way, they have terrible personalities, so don't be too harsh. Gojo Satoru reminded. Then he hung up the phone. Ming put the phone in his pocket. Then he murmured, you're starting to look more and more like an adult, Satoru. It seems like you need to go back to high school. I haven't been back for a long time. Then Ming also took out his cell phone. Hey, what are you doing, G? Ming asked lazily. I can still do it. Is there anything wrong with removing the cursed spirit? Xiaoyuja said lazily. You are a sociopath. Why are you more active than Satoru and I? I really don't understand you. Ming said with disdain. There's nothing I can do about it. My technique requires cursed spirit. Besides, forget it. I won't tell you. If you tell me, tell Wu, how can I play with it? Xiaoyuja hesitated to speak. Said. Do you think I'm a big-mouthed person, and don't you always get something out of me? Ming said angrily. Allah Allah, don't worry, by the way, why are you calling me? I'm going back to the high school right now. I haven't been back for a long time. How about it? Do you want to meet me? Ming asked. Okay, just call me then. No more talking, I'm busy. Xiaoyuja also hung up the message. These two guys, they took the wrong medicine during this period, and they dare to blame my phone call? Really, forget it. Let's talk about it in person. Ming lay on the recliner peacefully. Advertisement. Chapter 82 Problem Children. Advertisement. In Jujutsu High School, a boy who looked like a gangster was sitting boredly at his desk, while the boy who looked like a girl next to him was looking at the boy infatuatedly. Zhang, what kind of person do you think our new teacher is? Seeing Kiluoluo said angrily. Who knows, let's wait and see. Shukenji said nonchalantly. He is indeed proud of being a genius who can be taken seriously by Gojo Satoru, so it is normal to be disdainful of others. Seeing Chi Luo Luo looked at the young man with admiration in his eyes. At this time, in the office of senior college Yagamasamichi, a handsome man sat in front of Yagamasamichi with a faint smile on his face. Ming, it's true that you haven't come back to see me for so many years. At this time, Yagamasamichi was no longer as round as he was, but at this time he looked even less like a teacher, and he was wearing sunglasses. It's true that Yagamasamichi is indeed worthy of his image. You should know that Suojinji always has an I'm not afraid of you expression towards Gojo Satoru, but he is also very obedient in front of Yagamasamichi. This is enough to express the intimidating power of Yagamasamika's image. Ha ha ha, it's my fault. I didn't expect that after so many years of not seeing each other, the teacher's image has changed a lot. Ming said with a smile on his face. The relationship between them as teacher and student has not weakened due to the fact that they have not remained unchanged for many years. You kid, your mouth is still the same as before. Why do you plan to stay in a high school this time? Yagamasamichi asked. I will stay in Tokyo for a while. Ming said calmly. Yagamasamichi nodded. Advertisement. By the way, Sansai, I heard that there is a student with good talent this time. Ming asked calmly. Oh, are you talking about scale? He is a pretty good genius, but his technique is very special and the top management doesn't want to admit it. Yagamasamichi said. Oh, are you those pedantic old guys? The teacher said so. I also want to be a little more interested. Just in time, Wu asked me to help with it for a while. Ming Ming said with a smile on his face. Oh, are you taking it or returning it? But that child's character is very naughty. Although he is not as good as the three of you back then, he is still very difficult to deal with. Yagamasamichi said. What, teacher, when I first came to Wu, Ji, and I were very well behaved, right? Ming said with some annoyance. You guys, that guy Satoru said the same thing. Yagamasamichi thought of the scene when the three of them met for the first time, and couldn't help showing a nostalgic look. He had a hunch that the three of them would become excellent friends when they first met. Partners, and the three of them were not disappointed, but now they parted ways because of different ideas. Especially Xiaoyuja, he has always been a thorn in Yagamasamika's heart. He felt that as a teacher, he did not give Xiaoyuja the correct guidance, so his heart was always filled with guilt. Really? That guy is really a villain and he complained first. Okay, I'll go see those two children first, Ming said. Then let me go, Yagamasamichi said. No, I'll go by myself. I've already felt their spell power. In terms of spell power alone, it's really good. That's fine, but Ming, you'd better not go too far. Although the kid is a little broken, he is still a talent. Yagamasamichi reminded that he knew his student very well. Allah, teacher. Ming stood up and waved his hand, then slowly walked towards the classroom. Advertisement. Oh, I hope nothing happens. Yagamasamichi looked at Ming's back and said with a headache. 
Forget it, let them make trouble on their own. Yagamasamichi ignored it and concentrated on doing his own thing. On the other side, Ming has arrived in the classroom, feeling the power of the spell inside. The expression on Ming's face has disappeared, and he slowly opens the door. When Mei opened the door, Shokinji thought it was Gojo Satoru. After all, it was only the arrival of Gojo Satoru that prevented him from catching it. But the man who appeared in front of him also surprised him because he had never seen him before. The man had black hair and black eyes. He was almost the opposite of Gojo Satoru. He seemed to be taller than Gojo Satoru, but Buddha denied this man. His appearance is very good. Among the men that Suojinji and Hoshi Kirara saw, only Gojo Satoru could compare with the man in front of them. But what surprised Shokinji the most was that even though the man in front of him was already standing in front of him, he didn't feel the slightest spell. Who are you? Shokinji said with a wary look. Me? I'm your new teacher. My name is Achiha Ming. I think Satoru must have mentioned it before. Ming said lightly, curiously looking at this scale. The power of the spell is very rough, even without the Sherinan. You can tell with your own eyes that the direction of the flow of the magic power is very strange. It is indeed a good seedling. Ming thought secretly in his heart. Shokinji frowned. He felt that the man in front of him was not simple. What qualifications do you have to teach me? Although Shang Jinsi knew that Ming was not simple, he would not be afraid of Ming. Are you qualified? Then let me ask you, what qualifications do you have to receive my teachings? Ming said coldly, Advertisement. If Wu hadn't begged me, do you think I would have come to teach you? Having said that, I am very doubtful about Wu's vision. Can you really be able to compete with us in the future just because you are so good? Ming looked indifferent, said. What did you say? Shang Jinsi quit immediately. It was the first time someone belittled him like this. How could he, who was already arrogant and arrogant, hold back? Do you need me to repeat it again? Ming said coldly, and the pressure of the curse in his body instantly pressed towards the two of them like a tide. Feeling the huge pressure, Shang Jinsi's face changed, and drops of cold sweat flowed down his face. Seeing Kilolo's face turned pale, and he couldn't even mobilize the magic power within him in a short period of time. Damn it, who is this guy? Such a huge spell power is unheard of. Even that guy Gojo Satoru is far inferior to him. Shokinji was secretly surprised. But the magic power still circulates in the body. This makes him feel better. Damn it, don't think it's great because the magic power is huge. Shang Jinsi said with disdain, so what if the magic power is powerful? In the world of Jiu-Jitsu, the art of fighting is talent. There was a smile on Ming's lips, the scale was quite interesting. In that case, I will satisfy you. Ming Manman came to the two of them at an extremely fast speed before they could react. Ming grabbed the two and activated his divine power. The scene turned, and the figures of the three Ming people came to the training ground. Ming Yi threw the two of them to the ground. Since you want to take action, let me see your strength later, but I want to make it clear, don't blame me if you die. Ming said with an indifferent look, and Shukinji and Hoshi Kirara were shocked again. It was the first time for him to see long-distance teleportation on anyone except Gojo Satoru, and he couldn't help but analyze Ming's technique in his heart. According to current understanding, Ming's ability is probably a space-type ability, and the keywords for teleportation must touch people. Advertisement. Chapter 83 The Invincible Time of Shang Jinsi. Advertisement. What? Why don't you take action yet? Ming said, looking at Shang Jinsi who was deep in thought. Humph, you think I'm afraid of you? Shang Jinsi mobilized his magic power and rushed towards Ming quickly and punched Ming. Ming did not dodge and stood there. Asshole, you really think you are Gojo Satoru? Shokinji sneered in his heart. Due to the characteristics of the spell, his attacks were more powerful than normal attacks. However, Shokinji, who was confident enough to defeat Ming with one punch, passed through Ming's body. Seeing Kilolo couldn't help but widen his eyes. Shokinji was also very surprised at this time. He began to continue attacking, but no matter what, he still couldn't hit Ming's entity. At this time, Shang Jinsi quickly analyzed Ming's technique in his mind. Is it a projection type? No, it doesn't look like it. Could it be virtualization? Shang Jinsi analyzed. What kind of magic are you doing? Do you just stand there? Shokinji said with disdain. In that case, let's see what the difference in strength is. Ming did not use his divine power. Make a fist with your right hand and punch the ground. I saw that the ground was torn apart instantly and spread rapidly to the surrounding areas. Shang Jinsi was knocked back by Ming's powerful air wave. He looked at Ming in surprise. What a powerful force. Seeing Kilolo thought secretly in his heart. Advertisement. Are you surprised? Ming said calmly, and then punched out again, hitting Shokinji with an even more terrifying force and at an extremely fast speed. Shang Jinsi instantly strengthened his arms with magic power and blocked his face. But a terrifying punch instantly knocked him upside down, flying nearly a hundred meters away. The surrounding trees began to break, and finally stopped on a rock. Scale. Seeing Kilolo shouted worriedly and activated the technique. Flight among the stars. Ming, who was approaching Jinji, suddenly paused and looked at seeing Kilolo behind him. Is this your technique? When Ming Zhe approached Shang Jinsi, he seemed to be blocked by some force and could not get closer. So what? You can't get close to me and scale now. Seeing Kilo Luo said. Is that really the case? The dark blood red Sherry Nan stared at seeing Chi Luo Luo and said calmly. And when he saw the blood red eyes of the underworld staring at seeing Kilo Luo, he was instantly pulled into the illusion. And the technique was forced to stop. Luo Luo. Shang Jinsi shouted loudly. He jumped out of the stone and activated all the magic power in his body. What? Do you want to continue? Just rely on your three-legged cat's physical skills? Didn't your teacher Gojo Satoru tell you that even he was no match for me in physical skills back then? Ming said calmly. What? Even that guy Gojo Satoru is not his opponent? I see, you developed that strange power, right? Shokinji said with a look of astonishment. Oh, is it weird power? That's right. At that time, I was bored and developed jiu-jitsu randomly, even though I couldn't get it on the stage. Ming waved his hand indifferently. Huh, in that case, I have to be a little more serious. You guys, except for Gojo Satoru, this is the first time I have been beaten so badly. Shokinji said easily. Even so, he was not a little bit embarrassed. Looking at the man in front of him, he didn't know why Xinqi Luo Luo lost consciousness from the beginning to the end. He only saw the man in front of him, a flash of red in his eyes, and the intangible spell. There are also terrifyingly strong physical skills. In other words, he had no other choice but to take a gamble. Domain expansion, sit down and kill Batu. 
Shang Jinxi waved okay with one hand and stretched out the tent with the other. Advertisement. Looking at the changing scenes around him, Ming looked around, and a strange piece of information suddenly appeared in his mind. I see, is this your field? It is indeed different from the traditional field. Ming was also slightly surprised when he saw such a complicated field for the first time. Then a series of plots began to play out in front of Ming's eyes. Interesting, let me have some fun with you. Ming slowly sat on the ground and waited for the so-called grand prize. An excited expression appeared on Shukin Si's face. He knew that the man in front of him was very powerful. He was even defeated before he won the big prize. But the man in front of him was so arrogant, so how could he let him down? After about the third draw, Shokinji finally won the grand prize. When the grand prize appeared, Suojinji's spell power instantly increased greatly, and it was no longer weaker than Gojo Satoru. Violent curse power spurted out from Shang Jinxi's body. This is the feeling, it's great, this is passion. Shokinji had a smile on his face. Four minutes of invincibility. Ming looked at Shang Jinxi calmly. The scale of gold and other places restarted toward Ming at an extremely fast speed. The majestic restless spell protected his fist and punched Ming, but it passed through Ming's body in an instant. It's still like this several times in a row. Damn it, you guys can only use such rogue moves. To be honest, you are just like that? Shokinji said angrily. Keep pumping your fists. Oh, you're really arrogant. Ming looked cold. The scene that followed shocked Shoujinji for a moment. He saw that his punch, which was full of peak power, was easily blocked by the man in front of him. Is this the only level? Ming looked disappointed. Then he punched out, and Shoujinji's body, which was strengthened by the magic power, was instantly shattered. How is it possible? Shang Jinxi looked in pain, and the injury continued in an instant. Advertisement. Ming didn't speak this time and started to attack Shang Jinxi, but I have to say that this guy's technique is indeed extraordinary, and he can heal the injury instantly no matter how serious it is. Amaterasu S3 Magadama Sherry Non with blood red eyes transformed into the Mangekyo Sherry Non, and a terrifying black flame emerged from Shokinji's body. Ah, Shokinji shouted loudly with a look of pain on his face. What the hell is this? Shokinji shouted, no matter what method he used. Neither could extinguish the flames, and even his best friend was set on fire. Add Earth Life. I've had enough fun, let's end it Tsukuyomi. Ming extinguished Amaterasu, and he also knew that Shokinji's invincibility time was coming soon. But in order to teach this quickly had a lesson, before he fainted, he cast Tsukiyomi again. In the spiritual world, Shang Jinxi looked at Ming with a surprised look. I don't blame him for this. Suddenly, I appeared on a red moon from a place, and the surrounding environment was still so dark. He was naturally surprised. Is this the realm? Of course not. This is my illusion. To be precise, your spirit has been pulled into a world that only belongs to me. Ming said calmly. What do you want? Although Shang Jin Siguang didn't understand, he knew that Ming would not kill him. You're really tough. I don't know if you can hold on. Ming said calmly. Then he stabbed Shukinji who was tied to the cross without mercy. Ah, you guy. Shukinji didn't expect it to hurt so much. For a moment, I forgot that this was the environment. Advertisement. Chapter 84 Shoko he's going to die, really. Advertisement. For the next three days and three nights, I will attack you endlessly. Please note that although it is an illusion, you will still feel pain. Ming said with a smile on his face. This smile looked like a devil in the eyes of Shang Jinxi. Also, I advise you not to waste your efforts. Tsukiyomi is the technique I cast on you. Although I will attack you for three days and three nights, it is only a moment outside, so this jutsu is theoretically unbreakable, even by Gojo Satoru. Even he relied on his strong mental power to survive. Ming said calmly. Outside, Shokinji was completely unconscious at this time. At this moment, seeing Kiluoluo had already broken free from Ming's illusion. At this time, he looked at Shokinji lying on the ground and attacked him without any hesitation. Ming naturally noticed it too. With a kick, seeing Chi Luo Luo flew out. Then he slowly walked towards the unconscious Shokinji. The attack was a bit harsh. It seems that Shoko needs to be treated. Ming said calmly. At this time, seeing Chi Luo Luo stood up from the ground. Although he was very embarrassed, he still activated his technique Star Flight. If you want to touch the scale, you must touch me first. Seeing Kilo Luo said firmly, Is this really the case? Ming said calmly, stretching his hand in the direction of Shang Jinxi. Wang Xian Tianyin. Advertisement. A terrifying gravitational force began to exert force instantly, and Shokinji's body flew towards Ming, but halfway through the flight, Shokinji Deo's body stopped in midair. Ming raised his eyebrows and continued to increase his intensity. No, it's useless, my technique. Before he could finish speaking, Shang Jinxi's body had successfully flown into Ming's hand, and Ming was pulling the back of Shang Jin's neck like a chicken. Ming, who is more than 1.9 meters tall, picked up Shang Jinxi even on the ground. And the moment Shokinji was caught, the numbers marked by Hoshi Kirera also disappeared instantly. How, how, is it possible? Seeing Kiluoluo couldn't believe that his spell was forcibly broken. This is the first time. Looking at Ming's side face at this time, the demon-like figure made seeing Kiluoluo completely despair. At this time, he collapsed on the ground and looked at Ming in surprise. Ming slowly walked towards Hashiki Luoluo, who showed no resistance, while carrying Shang Jinji, and then grabbed his shoulders. The figures of the three people began to twist, and finally disappeared in place. In a laboratory, a tall woman with extremely beautiful appearance was looking at the report in front of her. The woman's only shortcomings are probably her dark circles under her eyes and her lack of energy. Shoko, long time no see. At this time, a figure suddenly appeared in the woman's house. The woman was shocked and raised her head. From surprise to surprise, she came to the man in an instant. Ming, it's really you? Shoko said happily. There was a smile on Ming's face, and he rubbed Shoko's head with his big hands. Shoko rolled his eyes, but didn't move away from the warm hands. Hey, I'm not a kid anymore. Shoko said. Advertisement. Ha ha ha. Haven't we seen each other for a long time? By the way, Shoko, help me heal these two children. Ming said with a faint smile. Oh, only then did Shoko know the two people in Ming's hands and beside him. Isn't this Gojo's student? Shoko asked with a puzzled look on his face. Shoko was very familiar with the two of them. After all, Gojo Satoru always brought two injured people to her for free treatment. Oh, that guy Satoru is on a mission. I just happened to be back in Tokyo during this time to help him. Ming said calmly. Shoko rolled his eyes and felt a little lucky at the same time. 
Fortunately, teacher Yagamasamichi didn't do this to Ming and Gojo Satoru. These two people were not serious. Anyone who becomes their student would be lucky, at least he is the one in front of him. It was very pitiful. Every time he was brought in, he was brought unconscious and carried by someone else. The only difference is that this time it's not Gojo Satoru. Okay, you put the unconscious guy on the bed first, and I'll treat the slightly injured one first. Shoko said calmly. Ming didn't say much and threw Shang Jinsi on the bed. And Hoshi Kirera also knows Shoko's identity. Shoko's reversal technique was very powerful, and Hoshi Kirera's injuries were cured after a while. Shoko finished treating Hoshi Kirera, and then began to check the injuries of Shokinji. After checking for a long time, he found that Shokinji did not have any injuries. No need to check, he fell into my illusion, and his spirit was severely damaged by me. Ming said calmly, Um, is it Tsukuyomi? Yes. Advertisement. I know, it looks like we're going to be in trouble. By the way, I'm hungry, so go buy something to eat. Shoko said, That's fine. Ming then walked out of the room. Watching Mei leave, Hoshi Kirera looked at Shoko. Teacher Shoko, how is the scale? Is he okay? Hashiki Luoluo said worriedly. It's very troublesome. If the willpower of Tsukuyomi who is possessed by the underworld is weak, he will go crazy when he wakes up. Even if he is not crazy, it may have an impact on his future strength. Shoko said lightly. Is it that serious? I was also caught in his illusion and didn't feel anything. Seeing Kiluoluo said. It's different. You were hit by an ordinary genjutsu of the Sherinan, while he was hit by a kaleidoscope pupil technique. The two are not of the same magnitude at all. Shoko said calmly. Looking at Kirera who was even more worried, even though he was a boy, his girlish appearance and pitiful expression still made Shoko feel soft in his heart. Don't worry, Ming is also your teacher after all, he won't kill him. I guess it's fine, it just needs a little treatment and a few days to recover. I understand, thank you Mr. Shoko Hoshikiro looked at Shoko gratefully. No, after all, you are also Gojo's student, but I still want to remind you that you must protect yourselves before Gojo comes back. Shoko said, huh. Hashikiro looked at Shoko with a cute expression. I'm going to die, really. Shoko said calmly, and in his mind, he heard all the things that happened in the past, the celestial general meteorite, and Susano. Each one is enough to kill a person. Dot at this time, Hoshi Kirera's expression instantly collapsed. He almost wanted to cry, and even missed Gojo Satoru a little. At least Gojo Satoru was good to him. Although he would get injured every time he trained, in the hands of this person he will die. Advertisement. Chapter 85 Be a teacher? Not bad. Advertisement. After a while, Ming came back with food, but only the three of them started eating, and while eating, seeing Chi Luo Luo looked at Ming with a wary and nervous expression. Thinking of Shoko's words, he looked ugly. He didn't think Shoko would lie to him. And just when the three of them finished eating, after Shoko's treatment and Mei's mercy, Shokinji finally slowly woke up. Zinki Luo Luo noticed it for the first time, and came to Shokinji with a look of helplessness. At this time, Shang Jinsi was a little dizzy. Although he was there for three days and three nights, Ming actually abused him for less than an hour. But I still feel dizzy. He had never felt so weak. Hey, I woke up, it's a little faster than I thought. Ming said calmly. Hearing Ming's voice, Shang Jinsi's pupil suddenly shrank while lying on the bed. A look of horror appeared on his face. What does it look like? Are you convinced or not? Ming looked at Shang Jinsi and said. No, I don't accept it, Shokinji said still forcefully. But the severe fear could not be hidden. Oh, really? Then continue. A black stick appeared in Ming Xiao's heart and stabbed Shang Jinsi quickly. However, Shang Jinsi was very weak and could only watch the black stick attack him. The moment the black stick passed through Shang Jinsi, Ming broke the stick in his hand. What are you going to do? Shang Jinsi looked at Ming and said fearfully. Advertisement. Nothing. I just want to pin you to a prosperous place in Tokyo for them to admire, Master Jiu-Jitsu. Ming sneered. Just a reminder, this black rod was made using yin-yang escape. Forget it, you don't understand even if I tell you, just think it's one of my abilities. You should be able to detect it now. You can't at all now. Mobilize the magic power in your body, Ming explained. After Ming reminded Shang Jinsi, he immediately mobilized the power of the curse, but found that the power of the curse in his body really couldn't be mobilized. Wait a minute, I'm convinced, I'm convinced. Shokinji was completely panicked. He didn't want to be pinned to Tokyo. If that happened, it would be better to kill him. And at first glance, the man in front of him was no joke. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure, teacher, I was wrong. At this time, Shang Jinsi climbed up from the bed with difficulty and lowered his head. That's good. I'll forgive you if you know you're wrong, teacher. Remember, although I like the fact that you know your mistakes and can correct them, I don't like your image as a teacher very much. Ming led Xiaoyuja. He said with a gentle smile. So before me tomorrow, make me look like a student. By the way, don't be late. After saying that, Ming took Shoko out of the room. Watching Ming leave, Shokinji breathed a sigh of relief. Scale, are you okay? Seeing Kiluoluo asked worriedly. It's, not bad. He said, Shokinji pulled out the black rod from his stomach and used the reversal technique to treat the injury. Then he looked at Black Stick with a gloomy look. Then throw it on the ground. Well, Scale, we should just listen to him during this period. Seeing Kiluoluo said, I, I understand, Luoluo, it's okay. When I become stronger, I will naturally take revenge. Shang Jinsi said, Okay, you go back first, Luoluo, I want to have a good rest. Shang Jinsi said while lying on the bed. Seeing Kiluoluo slowly left the single room without saying anything. Advertisement. The next day, in the afternoon at the high school training ground, Ming looked at Shokinsi. At this time, Shokinsi's weird hairstyle had been cut off, turning him into a bald head, and his beard was shaved clean, although he still looked like a he looks cool, but his image has changed a lot. Ming nodded with satisfaction. Okay, in that case, let's start class. Ming said calmly. Teacher Ming, the scale has not fully recovered yet. It is not suitable for fighting. Seeing Kiluoluo said cautiously. Of course I know that today is not about actual combat, but about teaching you how to control the magic power. After Ming finished speaking, he came to a tree and said, Today's lesson is tree climbing. Climb a tree. Climb a tree. Shokinji and Hashiki Luoluo looked at Ming in surprise. It's not the kind of tree climbing you think. After saying that, he started walking towards the big tree in front of him. The two looked at Ming in surprise. Do you understand? Attach your magic power to your feet. Attach it to the tree and slowly walk up. Ming said calmly. The two of them also saw this operation once, and then started to try it. 
However, it seems to be a simple operation, so it is difficult for the two of them, especially Shang Jinji. His spell power is already rough, and this kind of fine control is difficult for him. Seeing Kilo Luo is quite talented in controlling the magic power. Although he is not very skilled, he quickly found the trick. Advertisement. Time passed little by little, and Shokinji became more and more irritable. After all, no matter how he tried, he failed. Although he made progress every time, he was not as fast as Hoshikira. He can now only take three steps before falling. And for him, the way to control the magic power does not increase the combat power in his opinion. Ming Ziren also saw Shang Jinsi's emotions. Without speaking, his eyes switched to the Mangekyo Sharinan. Amaterasu. Black flames instantly enveloped the top and bottom of the tree, but did not burn. Okay, let's continue. If you don't fall down seriously and get contaminated by this black flame, then don't blame me. Please remind me that this black flame can even burn with spell power and will not go out. Ming said lightly, then ignored me. The two of them found a shady place, took out their lounge chairs, put on their sunglasses and began to rest. Watching Ming leave, the two men panicked instantly. He knew how powerful this flame was. If he hadn't been in the grand prize time at that time, he would have been burned to death long ago. Ming suddenly stopped his hand, and as soon as the invincible time passed, there was no ashes left in him in a moment. Not to mention seeing Kiluoluo, he is not a fool. The flames with such terrifying high temperature are not simple ordinary flames. In fact, what made the two people panic was that Ming actually walked away. You must know that such a terrifying flame will be destroyed if you make a mistake and fall. Ming couldn't arrive immediately. Damn it. At this time, both of them were sweating profusely and controlling the spell power seriously, especially Shokinji. At this time, there was a little sweat on the forehead. It was not because of the temperature of Amaterasu, but because of the 120% effort put into it. Put pressure on him. Although Ming was facing the two of them, he couldn't ignore them. At this time, his eyes under his sunglasses had turned purple, and there was a bird with the same eyes on a tree nearby. The beast is watching. Yes, this is much better. Ming nodded with satisfaction, feeling a sense of pride as he watched his students grow. No wonder that Gai Wu is so keen on being a teacher. It doesn't feel bad. Ming said calmly. Advertisement. Chapter 86 Practical Training. Advertisement. No wonder that Gai Wu chose to be a teacher. It feels not bad. Ming Yu said contentedly. Time passed quickly. After about half an hour, Ming felt that he was almost done. He came to the two of them and cancelled Amaterasu. The two could no longer hold on and fell to the ground in free fall. Yes, it seems it's almost done. Ming said lightly. Then let's continue with the second training. Ah, uh, the two looked at Ming in surprise. Don't worry, the next step is very simple, Ming said calmly. Then he took the two of them to the playground. The two of them looked at Ming with painful expressions. The next step is to run laps. As a jiu-jitsu master, you can't do it without a strong body. Ming said calmly. Then he took a few iron blocks from Shinwei's face. Tie this on and run. 500 laps is enough, Ming said calmly. The two of them looked at Ming, but there was nothing they could do. Although 500 laps is difficult for ordinary people, it can still be completed for them. But when the two went to get the iron block, they found something wrong, because Shang Jinji didn't pick it up the first time. Oh, I forgot to mention that these are not iron blocks, but high concentration lead blocks. One weighs about 100 kilograms, and the smaller one weighs 50 kilograms. Ming explained lightly. What? Shang Jinxi was a little surprised and looked at Ming. Seeing Kiluoluo also looked ugly. Advertisement. What? Do you have any opinions, Mr. Shukinsi? Do you want to continue practicing manipulating spells or running? Ming said calmly. Shukinji looked ugly, and finally chose to run, because his magic power had reached the bottom, and if he tried to control the magic power again, he might be burned to death by Amaterasu. Hashiki Luoluo also chose to run with Shang Jinxi. Okay, since you all agree. The black stick appeared in Ming's hand again and stabbed at the two of them at extremely fast speeds. Teacher, you. Seeing Chi Luo Luo looked at Ming with some confusion. Oh, running is just running. How can you use magic power? Let's start, Ming said calmly. What? How can this be accomplished? Shukinji said angrily. Oh, are you questioning me? Ming said coldly. The killing intent in his eyes flashed away, but Shukinji felt it clearly. Although the killing intent was not strong, it was extremely pure. No, teacher Shukinji lowered his head and said, The man in front of me is too dangerous. With the killing intent just now, he was not sure whether he would be killed if he was still dishonest. Then let's start, Ming said calmly. The two of them could only go for a run. After two hours, the two of them were sweating and their speed had obviously slowed down. Especially Shang Jinxi's condition is very bad. He was tortured by Ming's illusion yesterday. Then turn on the control spell and complete high intensity training. But Ming still looked at the two running expressionlessly. But in fact, Ming secretly recognized Shang Jinxi. With such talent and good perseverance, even if he cannot reach our level, at least becoming a special level should be no problem. Advertisement. But this kid's field is a problem. Although it is very special, it has a fatal weakness. If you don't win the lottery, it will be very weak, and the gambler will not end well in the end. It seems that some training adjustments need to be made for that kid's field. Ming analyzed lightly. After about two hours, Shukinji finally couldn't hold on and passed out. The same goes for seeing Kiluoluo, who finally failed to hold on. Ming nodded with satisfaction, came to the two of them, took them to Shoko, treated them for a while, and took them back to the dormitory. Then start planning the next training situation. The next day was still about mantra manipulation and physical training. However, climbing trees was changed to treading water. I was still like this on the third day, and the same on the fourth day, until the fifth day, Ming brought the two of them into the training ground. This venue is the largest training ground for high schools. Teacher Ming, no need to train today, seeing Kiluoluo said. Today's actual combat, after all, I have been training for so long, let you feel the results of this period of training. Ming said calmly, really, Shukinji said excitedly, of course, use all your strength, and the only request I have for you is one. Ming said calmly, what is it, teacher? Seeing Chi Luo Luo asked after swallowing a mouthful of saliva. Stay alive, Ming said calmly. 
Ah, uh, Shang Junxi and Xin Ji Luo Luo looked at Ming in surprise. Don't worry, go ahead boldly, don't be afraid of hurting me, because no one in this world can hurt me except your teacher Gojo Satoro. Ming said calmly, you must know that the time he awakened the samsara eye, he was beaten by Gojo Satoro he was very embarrassed. It was also the first time he was injured after becoming a magician. Advertisement. Hashikiro and Shukinji rolled their eyes and said they were afraid of hurting you. We were worried about our own lives. Don't worry, I won't use illusions, because I want to test your strength, so you don't need to be careful about my illusions. I can't use Amaterasu, and I have divine power. Ming said calmly. Hearing this, Shokinji felt a little better. After all, basically as long as one of each ability was hit, they were done. Of course, when they heard this, some of them were a little curious. After talking about so many abilities, did Ming have other techniques? Can one person really access so many techniques? Although it is said to be an extension, Ming's abilities are not related to it no matter how you look at it. What is his birth technique like? This is a question that has been plaguing Jinsi and Hashikiro. Stop talking nonsense, let's get started. Remember to survive. Ming closed his eyes and opened them again. A pair of purple eyes that they had never seen before appeared, and there were lines of reincarnation in the purple eyes. This pair of eyes was different from the blood red eyes, appearing more profound and mysterious. And the moment Ming's reincarnation eye appeared, Shang Jinsi felt the pressure surge. I began to mobilize my own magic power. Now I have mastered the steps of treading water and climbing trees, and I am more skillful in controlling the magic power. Not only is the use of my magic power more efficient, but I can even mobilize it much faster than before. Come on, Ming said calmly. Xiao Jinsi rushed towards Ming in an instant, and the violent spell covered his fist. He punched Ming, just as his fist was about to hit Ming's face. Shenra Tianjang. A terrifying repulsive force isolated Shang Jinsi, and bounced him away. Star Kilo Luo instantly casts moving spells. Catch the Golden Ruler. Repulsion. Same ability as Mr. Gojo. Xin Chi Luo Luo looked at Ming in surprise. Advertisement. Chapter 87 The Desperate Suo Jinji and Hoshi Kirara. Advertisement. Although they are both repulsive forces, they are not the same. Gojo Satoru's repulsive force is more concentrated, while Teacher Ming's repulsive force is more dispersed. But for monsters like them, this level can be controlled at will. Zhang Jinxi looked at Ming warily. In the past few days since being taught by Ming, his strength has made a qualitative leap. His proficiency in the control of spell power allowed him to know that the extension and form changes of this strong man's moves were at his fingertips, and he could attack according to the attack method he wanted. Ming didn't talk nonsense and reached out to scale Jin again. Wang Xiang Tianyin. A terrifying gravitational attraction appeared, and the magic power condensed in Ming's hand, waiting for Shukinji to fly over, flying among the stars. Hashiki Luo Luo instantly marked Ming He Shenzhenji. There seemed to be an invisible distance between the two of them. At the moment of isolation, Shenzhenji burst out with powerful magic power to break free from the restraints. Ming nodded secretly. Express approval. So how do you plan to stop it this time? Micro, the earth explodes and the sky stars. A small black ball flew into the sky, and attracted the two people and the clods of dirt on the ground. Seeing Kilo Luo felt bad for a moment when he looked at the huge black ball. He used his own spell again, but this time, just like the last time he dealt with Ming, his spell was forcibly broken again. There is no other way, domain expansion, sit down and kill Batu. Scale Jinsi can only use domain expansion. But this time, Jin won the grand prize in the lottery. Not bad, it seems that the probability has indeed increased a lot, but this way of exploiting the loopholes in the spell can only last for one minute. Ming said lightly, this was also the way Ming taught to give Sheng Jin. Faced with an absolutely dangerous situation, the probability of giving up three lottery opportunities in exchange for the grand prize is only one minute, but this minute can protect his life at a critical moment. For this purpose, Ming specially did some special training for Shang Jinsi, as well as some knowledge about the field. Note, in the original work, Sukuna released the shackles of the sure hit effect, and in exchange for the further improvement of the slashing attack, the weighing gold times can also be completed. Advertisement. After entering the invincible time, Shang Jinji instantly opened up the magic power to the maximum, punched out, and the black sphere was instantly exploded. Ming was not surprised at all. After all, this thing can be manufactured later. Not bad, doesn't this look good? Ming praised lightly. Then Pluto's body began to grow some robotic arms. Come and start attacking Shokinji and Hashikiro. The two were surprised, but without any hesitation they immediately tried to dodge the attack. Looking at the two people who started to avoid using their own abilities, Ming had a smile on his lips. Azure Road, fire coverage. Like an arsenal, Ming began to launch various bombardments around it. Soon the surrounding training ground was blown to pieces. Time is running out. Shokinji thought to himself, and then the spell power fully emerged. His spell power at this time was endless, and he also had reversal techniques that he could activate all the time. As long as his head is not cut off instantly, he will not be injured. So I decided to be reckless. Strange power. Maximum output. Holding Ming's attack hard, Zhang Jin quickly approached, Ming. Then he punched Xiang Ming, and the surrounding space was even a little distorted. Yes, although it is a suicide attack, it is indeed the best choice to be invincible for this minute. Ming said calmly. Stretching out his white palm, he calmly caught Shokinji's winning punch. The huge power instantly destroyed the building behind Ming, but Ming did not take a step back. What? Zhang Jinxi exclaimed. He looked at Ming with a look of disbelief. Advertisement. The way of the hungry ghost. Ming eyes narrowed slightly. Shang Jinxi felt that the magic power in his body was being absorbed by the opponent, but Ming's hand was held so tightly that he couldn't break free. Hateful. Without the slightest hesitation, Shokinji cut off his arm instantly, then quickly left Ming's eyes. The arm is also recovering quickly. Wise choice. Ming nodded lightly. Shang Jinxi was not at all happy to receive praise from Ming. Instead, he looked at Ming with a solemn expression. Come on, there are still 20 seconds left, don't die, little Jinxi. And Luo Luo, the dark purple eyes retreated. Then it turns into the blood red eyes of curse. Susana. Then a huge giant rose from the ground. A huge giant over 50 meters tall. Don't be crushed by me. Ming's cold voice came from Susana's stomach. And after he finished speaking, the giant's four arms began to condense the lightsaber. It started swinging at the two of them, but they could only be dodged. After about a while, the time for weighing gold has come, and Xin Chi Luo Luo's spell power has been exhausted. Isn't it possible? Ming looked at the two of them calmly. No, teacher. We lost. 
Seeing Kilo Luo said bitterly, it was the first time that they felt so inferior. Seeing Ming's face calm and not even taking any action during the whole process, they couldn't shake even a little bit. They were so desperate. Advertisement. Ming is different from Gojo Satoru. It's not that Ming is stronger than Gojo Satoru, but Ming's abilities are more abnormal than the other, and you don't know any information yet. And the reason why Ming switched to eyes was also for better targeted training. Otherwise, they can be defeated easily without even needing the Samsara eye. Lost? What happened? It's possible. It's not over yet, classmates. Ming said calmly. Teacher, we. Seeing Kilolo's eyes widened, something bad flashed in his eyes. Before he could finish speaking, Ming interrupted and said, I know you've been working very hard these days, so I'm going to make another move. I've already said the task for this class, there's only one, survive. Then Ming Suzano began to form seals. Heaven hinders the earthquake star. The sky suddenly became dark. The two of them saw a drop of cold sweat dripping down Ming's face. Looking up at the dark sky, they were almost frightened to death. Because a thousand meter boulder slowly fell from the sky. Teacher seeing Kilolo looked at Ming. She was about to say something, but she was stunned for a moment because Ming was nowhere to be seen at this time. Stop talking, Luo Luo, stop the stone quickly. Shang Jin Si looked at the two of them. But scale, how can we stop it? This is simply a natural disaster. Seeing Kilo Luo almost cried. Continue to draw the lottery for me. Shang Jin Si shouted loudly. Seeing Kilo Luo was not idle either. Although there was not much magic power left, he still used the magic power to mark and solve possible problems depending on the speed of the huge meteorite falling. Shukin Si's face was getting uglier and uglier at this time, because it seemed as if half of his luck had been used up. He had been drawing for a long time without drawing anything, and even the spell power was not restored. Two tall figures stood on the peak at the edge of the training ground and looked at the two people in the center. Even though they were thousands of meters apart, they could still see their expressions clearly. Advertisement. Chapter 88 Enlightenment. Simple Realm? Can't do it. Advertisement. It's a bit too much, Ming, said a frivolous voice. There was no panic at all when facing the huge meteorite above his head. With the two of us here, do you think they will be in any danger? Ming said coldly. If Shoko were here, he would definitely say that there would be danger only if you two are around. Yes, the man next to Mei is Gojo Satoru who just returned from a mission. Gojo Satoru came back after completing his mission. He didn't expect to see this scene, and he also had a headache. After all, if this trick continues, only a handful of people in this world can survive, not to mention the two people who are now close to depleting their magic power. That's right. Let's see what they do. However, the scale of the meteorite is much smaller this time and it is probably easy to solve. Gojo Satoru said calmly. That's it. Otherwise, how can we improve if the battle is too easy? Ming said lightly, fully agreeing with Gojo's words. If anyone else were here, they would definitely complain, is this F King easy? Natural disasters are nothing more than that. Gojo Satoru and Mei looked at all this calmly. At this time, Shukinji in the battlefield was covered in blood, and the spell power on his body had already bottomed out. Although he still stubbornly stopped the meteorites from the sky, but there was nothing he could do to save it. If he had won the big prize in the lottery, it would be easy to break it. However, after the melting point of the spell and the consumption just now, he had no means at this time. Faced with this dangerous situation, Shirojin C's negative emotions reached their peak, and the already depleted spell power resurfaced and surged. Wu, Ming immediately noticed the situation there and knew that the purpose of the exercise was achieved. Gojo Satoru naturally understood the meaning of Ming instantly. Got it. Gojo Satoru shook his hands. The figure disappeared instantly. The shadowy figure also began to twist. Gojo Satoru teleported to the side of Suojinji and Hoshi Kirara. In a flash, he disappeared from the field and came to the mountain where the two were standing just now. Advertisement. And Ming's figure appeared on the battlefield at this time. Shenri Tianjang, Kanden slowly put his hand on the meteorite. As if it had overcome gravity, the meteorite slowly flew back toward the sky, and soon disappeared from everyone's eyes. So strong seeing Kilolo was amazed. After all, he probably would never be able to reach this level of power in his lifetime. Although Shokinji was surprised, he looked unhappy. Not bad, Scale, you have become a lot stronger recently. Gojo Satoru's six eyes naturally sees everything, and also sees the improvement of Scale and the two. An idea began to form in his mind. Anyway, he had nothing to do, so he might as well help him take care of his students. The more Gojo Satoru thought about it, the more feasible it became, and his style of painting even changed. Hoshi Kirara and Shokinji looked at them like they were fools. He, at this time, Minja teleported back. Looking at Gojo Satoru's shameless expression, he knew that this guy was definitely planning on him. Ming, I, needless to say, I have no time. No time, and there will be no time in the future. Ming Qian said, Hey, I haven't said it yet. Gojo Satoru said with an unhappy look on his face. You guy, I don't know what kind of evil you are holding back. Didn't you just ask me to teach them and tell you to dream? I don't have time. Ming said with a look of disdain. Seeing the determined Ming, Gojo Satoru said no more. Forget it, I'll do it myself. Gojo Satoru waved his hand and said, Advertisement. It's just you, Wu, I'm not talking about you. You guys should just change your career. The profession of teacher is not suitable for you. Ming mocked. What, how is that possible? Do you think there is a better teacher than me? Gojo Satoru said unhappily and pointed at his eyes covered by white cloth. Oh, is that so? Ming had a playful smile on his face. Of course, there's nothing wrong with that. Gojo Satoru said proudly. Really? Then you can leave the simple domain to them. No matter what, I can improve their current strength a little bit. Ming said calmly. Ah, uh, Gojo Satoru felt a headache and touched his bandage. Obviously he couldn't do it. Looking at the dilemma, Gojo Satoru Kinji and Hoshi Kirara were a little puzzled and said that although the simple realm of Shinenryu is not a real realm, it is also relatively difficult to learn. But it shouldn't be difficult for Gojo Satoru. On the other hand, Shokinji had a look of disdain. He could do it with domain expansion, so who would study that kind of field? You guy, you go ahead. Gojo Satoru said angrily, don't tell me, I'm really good at it. Do you think I'm still the same person as before? Ming said calmly. The two started to quarrel, but Shokinji sat there with a calm face. 
He could tell that the two had a very good relationship. This was the first time he saw Mei and Gojo Satoru like this. Although Gojo Satoru usually has a non-serious and cynical look, but this time Gojo Satoru feels more real. Seeing Kiluoluo was at the side to break up the fight. Ming and Gojo Satoru argued for a while and finally decided to give them a day off. Let the two of them relax, and they are happy for the first time to have a holiday. Advertisement. Gojo Satoru and Minorai had something to say about the two of them leaving the high school quickly. What the specific matter was, Suo Kinji and Hoshi Kirara didn't know, and they were not interested in knowing. The two returned to the high school and happened to see Yagamasamichi sitting there making a curse. Principal Yaga, good Kirara Hoshi. Principal weighs gold times. Yagamasamichi raised his head and glanced at the two of them, then lowered his head and continued to repair the cursed bones. Oh, you two, it seems that Ming has given you a holiday. But that guy Satoru is back too, so he probably won't have time to pay attention to you two. Principal Yaga, can I ask, do Mr. Gojo and Mr. Ming have a good relationship? Hoshi Kirara naturally saw that Gojo Satoru and Ming had a very good relationship. Yes, although they quarrel or even fight every time they meet, their relationship is indeed very good. Ming is Satoru's best friend, and so is Ming. Satoru is also his only best friend, Yagamasamichi said. Then who is the other one? Seeing Kiluoluo asked as if instinctively. Shut up, Luo Luo. Shang Jinsi also guessed who that person was. After all, Xiaoyuja is also very famous now, and his relationship with Gojo Satoru is not a secret. It doesn't matter. You should also cherish your time in Ningzi. Compared to Satoru, he is the most suitable to teach others. Yagamasamichi said. Suo Jinji and Hoshi Kirara looked ugly. They had had enough of that kind of fearful training. It was simply a double torture, both mental and physical. You must know that if you are not careful during training, your life may be in danger. Why? Seeing Chi Luo Luo said puzzledly. Advertisement. Chapter 89 It's not that Gojo Satoru can't do it, he just can't teach it. Advertisement. Why? Gojo Sensei is the strongest. Hoshi Kirara looked at Yagamasamichi with some confusion. You must know that Gojo Satoru is recognized as the strongest jiu-jitsu master. Even if Ming is stronger than the two of them, they don't think they will be stronger than Gojo Satoru. I know what you are thinking. First of all, it is a recognized fact in the jiu-jitsu world that Satoru is the strongest, but in my opinion, it is not. Yagamasamichi said. Is teacher Ming stronger than teacher Gojo? Hoshikiro asked in surprise, and Shokinji also became interested. Although he hates Gojo Satoru and doesn't even respect him, he fully recognizes Gojo Satoru's title of being the strongest. That's not the case. In fact, I don't know who is stronger among them. Even they themselves don't know the answer. But during the high school period, Ming was definitely ahead of Wu, and the so-called strongest, that guy Satoru never acknowledged it. Yagamasamichi said calmly. Satoru once said, before defeating Ming, his strongest title should be inherited by the two of them. Both of them were surprised again and looked at Ming's strength. They knew that even the strongest Gojo Satoru was overwhelmed, how could they defeat him? Then Principal Yaga, why did you tell us to cherish this time? Hashiki Luluo asked in confusion. To be precise, that guy Satoru is not suitable to be a teacher, because he can basically master those abilities that take a long time for ordinary people to learn at a glance, and he can surpass me in an instant. There are some things that he can't do, but he doesn't know how to teach. Yagamasamichi said helplessly. Is it too simple for him? What does that have to do with Teacher Ming? Aren't Teacher Ming and Teacher Gojo the same type? Seeing Kiluoluo asked in confusion. Advertisement. No, to be precise, the two of them are of the same type. They are even about the same academic ability. But there is one thing about Ming that is stronger than Wu, and that is the development and extension of abilities. He will immediately target his learning abilities. Improve yourself, so compared to Satori, Ming is more suitable to teach others. Yagamasamichi said. You have also noticed that your strength has increased a lot during this time. Yes. Even though Shokinji was tortured miserably by Ming, his strength did make a qualitative leap. After saying that, Yagamasamichi stopped talking, and the two of them shouted hello and walked out. On the other hand, Ming and Gojo Satoru came to a dessert shop. After buying some desserts, the two of them sat down and chatted. Tell me, what's the matter? Ming stared at Gojo Satoru calmly. I took a fancy to a student, but they didn't want to let him go, so I asked you to help. Gojo Satoru had a smile on his face. Tell me the important point. Ming said calmly. That student was a little girl from Zenin's family. I saw a possibility in him. You will know this possibility when you see it. The girl was not welcomed in the Zenin family and was even said to be suppressed. The Zenin family was afraid of being embarrassed and did not want to let her go to a high school. Although I can take action, the follow-up will be very troublesome. At this point, Gojo Satoru didn't say any more. So, you want me to take action to prevent those senior officials from saying anything, right? Ming said calmly. It can be said that the most important thing is that Zenin is scared to death by you. Even after hearing your name for so many years, he is still afraid. So I will save you a lot of trouble in going to the meeting. Zenin Ji, who is it? Why don't I have any impression at all? Ming said a little puzzled. Advertisement. That's it, the old man who besieged you last time. The uncle of the current Zenin family head. Oh, if you didn't tell me, I would have forgotten about that old man who was afraid of death. Okay, I know, leave it to me. But then again, you still remember it. Ming didn't take it to heart at all. No way, after all, we have to face those old guys every day. Gojo Satoru shrugged helplessly. The next day, Ming rushed to Zenin's house early in the morning. Looking at the ancient door, Ming kicked it open without any nonsense. Went in. The moment he destroyed the door, many jujitsu appeared around him, surrounding Ming. Ming didn't panic at all and didn't make a move. The Zenin family frowned when Ming didn't make a move. The leaders of the Zenin family looked at Ming with an ugly face and frowned at Mei Mei. Who are you? What are you doing at the Zenin family? You don't deserve to know. Let your family master come over. I'll only give you one minute to go quickly. By the way, that old guy Zenin Z will also come over. Ming said calmly. Asshole, what are you? You have no respect for the head of the family and the elders. Enter. The leader knew that the man in front of him was here to cause trouble. Ming looked at the people rushing up indifferently. On the other side, in a room, there were two figures sitting opposite each other, drinking tea. These two people are the contemporary Zenin family head and Zenin's acquaintance, uncle, and nephew, who are talking. What happened? Zenin asked with a frown. Advertisement. It seems. 
Someone broke into the crew's house. The escort has passed. A man dressed as a servant came in and said respectfully. What? Does anyone dare to break into our Xenon home? Xenon's direct neighbor said angrily. Killing intent flashed in his eyes. But looking at Xenon next to him, Tomoya couldn't help but suppress his violent temper. Who is he? Xenon's a drank tea calmly. Before the villain finished speaking, an anxious voice sounded. It's not good, master. It's unbecoming to make such a fuss. Xenon said with a glare. It's not good, patriarch, the guard, the guard has been defeated. The man's eyes flashed with fear, and dozens of guards were defeated in an instant. What? Who is he? Xenon's eyes widened. There were only a handful of people in the jiu-jitsu world who could defeat the guards so easily. I don't know. He just wanted to talk about meeting the two adults. By the way, that person's eyes are very special. The person said lightly. What color is it? Panic flashed in Xenon's eyes. Red. Blood red with three megatama. After hearing this, Xenon naturally knew who it was. In this world, only that person's eyes were like this. Although he only saw purple reincarnation eyes at the time, the intelligence said that his eyes were red. And since the last time, he has been investigating Uchihame and knows his intelligence very well, but the more he gets to know him, the more surprised he is. Not only does this guy have many abilities, but each one of them is very strong. So he was happy for himself at that time. Fortunately, he didn't break up with Uchihame at that time, otherwise it would definitely not end well in the end. Without Gojo Satoru taking action, what strength do they have against this monster? Advertisement. Chapter 90 Zenin Maki. Advertisement. Zenin knew naturally after hearing his subordinate's description that that person was Achihame. Facing this madman, he really didn't know what to do. In his eyes, that person was more dangerous than Gojo Satoru. So he immediately stood up and walked towards Ming there regardless of his appearance. He couldn't imagine that the lunatic would destroy the entire Zenin family if he was unhappy. Seeing his uncle so anxious, Zenin also became interested. He also stood up and followed him. After a while, the two came to the door and looked at the man in front of them. He was tall and slender, dressed in black, with black hair, a cold appearance, and blood-red eyes that seemed to have no emotion at all. Zenin looked at the man in front of him and suppressed the panic in his heart. Achihame, what are you doing at Zenin's house? What are you doing? I need someone. If I remember correctly, it's called Zenin Maki. Ming said calmly. Why don't you want that trash? Zenin asked with a puzzled look on his face. Who are you? Ming said as he looked at the middle-aged man in front of him. I am the head of the Zenin family, Zenin. Zenin said with an ugly expression. Oh, if that's the case, then bring the person out. Ming said coldly. Boy, who do you think you are? Not everyone is qualified to challenge the authority of the Zenin family. Zenin said angrily. Advertisement. Oh, really? Ming said calmly, not taking Zenin's words to heart at all. Zenin knew that Zenin was about to go berserk at this moment, and the people next to him secretly screamed. But it was obviously too late. Zenin's figure disappeared instantly, attacking Ming at a speed that cannot be caught by the naked eye. Not good. Zenin thought to himself as he watched this scene. If this angered this evil god, then the Zenin family would be doomed. It is estimated that Gojo Satoru is the only one in the world who can stop the person in front of him. But then again, Gojo Satoru has always been on this side. How could it be possible to help them? There was a bang sound, which instantly shocked those in the Zenin family. They saw Zenin flying upside down directly next to others. In their eyes, the head of the family suddenly disappeared on the spot, and then flew out upside down, hitting him in the back. On the house, he stood up with difficulty and watched Ming analyze the man in front of him. He did not expect that his figure would be noticed. It's useless. You have no chance in front of these eyes. Not only can I see your movements, I can even predict all your next movements. Ming explained calmly. Upon hearing this, Zenin stood next to him, his eyes flashed solemnly. But he still didn't completely believe Ming's words. You must know that he is very confident in his speed. After solving the puzzle, he flew out again. This is the first time Zenin has been crushed like this. He also knows that with his jiu-jitsu and speed, he can kill even the special cursed spirit. Advertisement. Projection spell, when in use, moving objects within the user's sight will slow down, split into 24 frames per second, and track a set of motion trajectories. Anything touched by Pyran's palm may be frozen for a second if it does not move according to the predetermined trajectory. Coupled with Xenon's natural speed and control of timing, he finally felt what it meant to be desperate. Hand the man over, I'm not in the mood to play with you anymore. Ming looked at Xenon Z coldly. This, impossible, even though she is a loser, she is still a member of my Xenon family. Xenon said, oh, it seems that I underestimate you, but aren't you afraid of death? Aren't you afraid that the Xenon family will be destroyed? Ming said calmly, I, shut up, Naobi. Aren't you just a useless person with no magic power? Xenonika said with a dissatisfied look on his face. Okay, I'm not an unreasonable person. Take me to see that brat. I want to ask her what she wants. If he doesn't want to, then I won't take her. If he agrees, you can't stop her. Ming said lightly. After hearing this, the Xenon also compromised. Just now his uncle said a few words in his ear, Super Jiu-Jitsu Master. He is not a fool, there are only four Super Jiu-Jitsu Masters in this world. He knew who the man in front of him was with his feet. He didn't dare to question the strength of the man in front of him. Not to mention his special status, even if he looked at his uncle's attitude, he knew that the man in front of him deserved the title of special status. And if you know that the person who destroyed a city was not called curse user in the end, you can imagine the strength of this man. Advertisement. After a while, a girl was brought over. The girl had a ponytail, glasses, and kendo attire. She had a wooden sword on her waist, which made the girl look even more heroic. Old man, you asked me to be full. Zenin Maki looked at Zenin's hippie with dissatisfaction, while Zenin G next to her was ignored by her. Let me tell you, Zenin Maki, I am a teacher at Tokyo Jiu-Jitsu High School. I am here to take you to the high school to study. I don't know what you think. Ming said as he looked at the girl in front of him. I have great faith in Gojo Satoru's vision. Oh, interesting. She has the same physique as that man, but she still lacks something. It seems that this is the reason why that guy values her. Ming thought secretly in his heart. Zenin Maki, looking at the man in front of her, this man should be with that Baimao. The reason why Zenin Maki thinks so is because the two of them have the same temperament in their eyes. She doesn't know why they are so similar even though they are different. They have nothing similar in personality and appearance. If I had to say anything similar, it would be that they are both tall and handsome. What? Are you worried? Don't worry, as long as you want to, don't worry, because no one in this world can stop you. No one can. 
Ming said calmly, his eyes full of confidence. Only then did Xin and Maki understand why two men with such extreme differences were so similar. It's self-confidence, and the aura of being the only one in the world. He remembered that a frivolous white-haired girl appeared in front of him some time ago, and wanted her, an ominous child who was not recognized by the Xenon family and even her parents, to join Jiu-Jitsu High School. She was very excited at that time. She wanted to let the family know that she was not a waste. She had a strong personality and wanted to let the family know that she could still surpass them even if she had no magic power. But thinking of her sister she hesitated. At that time, the man also said in the same confident tone, Don't worry, as long as you agree, no one can decide your thoughts. Because I am the strongest. Although she felt that the opportunity was stinky, her confidence in her own strength also made her stunned. He didn't understand who could be so confident. Even the Xenon family, one of the big three sorcerer families, didn't take it seriously. Advertisement. Chapter 91 Another Heavenly Restriction. Advertisement. Xenon Maki has been disliked since she was born because of the relationship between twins. There is an unheard of thing in the Jiu-Jitsu world, and it is also recognized by those families, that is, twins are unlucky children, because the twins themselves restrict and bind each other, looking at each other. So basically twins are ordinary people. Otherwise, he would be given a trace of magical power. Ming looked at Xenon Maki who was deep in thought and said calmly, Are you going to continue to struggle like a maggot in this pedantic family? Or is it because you are heavenly restriction and dare not prove yourself? Continue to be treated like a coward. Does this family protect you? Hearing this, anger flashed in Xenon Maki's eyes. She was extremely angry. How could he not be angry when being called a coward? I'm going to study in a junior high school. To become a jiu-jitsu master Xenon Maki said firmly. Ming nodded with satisfaction. I'm very satisfied with your answer. In that case, go and register at jiu-jitsu high school during this period. You don't have any objections. Ming glanced at the two men with ugly faces. One was because he insulted the Xenon family. As the head of the family, Xenon, who is directly adjacent to the family, how could he have a good face? The other was because Xenon was simply unhappy with the situation, but he had no ability. No objection, people can take it away, but I have one request, and that is not to claim to be our Xenon family. Oh, what do you think? Ming looked at Xenon Maki indifferently. I don't care. I'm also disgusted by the name Xenon. Xenon Maki said stubbornly. Okay, do you want to go back with me now, or go there by yourself? Ming asked calmly. I will go by myself in a few days, Xenon Maki said. Ming nodded and said nothing more. His figure began to twist and finally left Xenon's house. Advertisement. Seeing this evil god leave, Xenon breathed a sigh of relief, as he was sent away. When Xenon saw Ming leave, he left without stopping. Only Xenon Maki and Xenon were left at the scene. Why is there anything else? Xenon looked at Xenon who had left and took out his wine and started drinking. Don't worry, I will be back, master. Why do you want to come back? Are there two people who will protect you? The Xenon family is really nothing more than that? The Xenon man said in confusion while drinking wine. I want to be the head of the Xenon family. The girl said firmly. After saying that, he turned around and left. Ha 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 ha, then I'll wait for you to come back. And the Xenon laughed loudly. Then he murmured at the corner of his mouth, Pure heavenly restriction isn't curse, it's a gift. A rebellious figure rang in his mind. On the other side, Ming had returned to Jaiswen, and Gojo Satoru noticed it immediately. Came over quickly. How do you see that girl? How do you feel? Gojo Satoru smiled. It's not bad, her talent is good, but there's just something missing. It makes her not so pure, Ming said lightly. Gojo Satoru said with a smile on his face he is a twin. I see, then the problem of untying this bondage does not lie with her. Ming said calmly. Yes, but it doesn't matter whether it is solved or not. Gojo Satoru said with a smile on his face. Makes sense. Advertisement. What the two said made Hoshi Kirera and Shokinji next to them look puzzled. They didn't know what they were talking about. What bondage? What unraveled? Okay, if I don't have anything to do, I'll go and rest. Ming said and was about to leave. Wait a minute, during this period of training, why don't we come together? Gojo Satoru put his arm around Ming's shoulders and said, I refuse. Ming said calmly, don't you want to learn the love of falling flowers? How about I teach you? That is the secret of the big three sorcerer families. Gojo Satoru said with a smile on his face. Oh, then explain it to me first. Ming said calmly, well, well, let's go to the training ground. You still have to experience it for yourself, right? Gojo Satoru said with some embarrassment, thinking to himself, who can teach such a simple thing? This is like asking you why one heavy plus sign one is equal to one. The devil knows, he only knows that it must be equal to one. Mia was not bothering Gojo Satoru, and then several people came to the training ground. Expand your territory, he said. Are you sure? My field is similar to yours. Although the method is different, it still 100% makes people in the field incapacitated. Ming said calmly, and he thought to himself, even in another realm, this feeling of falling flowers cannot be resisted. That's right, Ming has two areas, one is absolute physical attack, and the other is the strongest illusion attack. One is the infinite Tsukuyomi activated by the Rinnegan, and the other is activated by the Sherinan. Forget it then Gojo Satoru waved his hand. Although he has never seen the realm of Ming, he also knows that in a realm like theirs where spells are extremely powerful, the strength of Zhen and Luahua is useless. The feeling of falling flowers. Gojo Satoru began to perform the feeling of falling flowers. Advertisement. Zheng Jinxi and Xiao Suyi watched with wide eyes. After all, the secret of the big three sorcerer families was not told, and this stunt was enough to make them excited. Is it okay? Wu Hui asked calmly. Okay, I probably understand now. Ming said calmly. Gojo Satoru said cancelling the spell. The love of falling flowers Ming's body was protected by a spell. Let me tell you, I'm best suited to be a teacher. Gojo Satoru said with a smile, not surprised at all. Next to them, Shokinji and Hashiki Luoluo opened their eyes wide, opened their mouths, and looked at Ming in surprise. Did you learn it now? Obviously they learned nothing. Are these two guys monsters? Hoshi Kirera's eyes flashed with disappointment. He naturally thought of Yagamasamike's words. He knew that Gojo Satoru was also the kind of freak who could master the technique at a glance. Tehi Shenjinsi is also a little disappointed. Isn't it sad to live in the same era as this kind of monster? Is this my feeling of falling flowers? It is indeed much better than the simple realm, but it's just like that. Ming said calmly, really, who would go out of their way to learn this kind of technique? Gojo Satoru said matter-of-factly. 
Forget it, I'm too lazy to care about you, Ming said calmly. Then he looked at the two of them and said, Why were you hit? No, Teacher Ming. Zinki Luoluo said with a bitter smile. Although he was indeed shocked, he did not lose confidence in the future, because as early as when he entered the high school, Nanamai Kento once told them, as a senior, let me tell you first, don't compare yourself to Gojo Satoro, because he is a complete monster. What's more, he is on PAR with him and even inferior to Gojo Satoro. Oh, it seems that you are quite determined. Not bad. He is my favorite student. Gojo Satoro looked at Hoshi Kirera and said. Next to him, Shokinji had a look of unwillingness to admit defeat in his eyes. Advertisement. Chapter 92 Meeting Syayuja. Advertisement. In the eyes of Aijinji, Ming, and Gojo Satoru are his goals. Is there anything in life that makes him feel more passionate than surpassing the two of them? In the following days, Ming conducted devil training on the two of them. In addition, there was Gojo Satoru next to him, which resulted in the two of them being repaired badly every day. During the past few days of training, Zenin Maki has arrived at the high school. Gojo Satoru is naturally very happy. After all, this is someone she is very optimistic about. Seeing this white-haired man, Zenin Maki also knew the identity of the man in front of him. Gojo Satoru, a six eyes who only appears once every hundred years in the Gojo family, is the strongest jiu-jitsu master in the contemporary era. The black-haired man is the most mysterious of the four contemporary super jiu-jitsu masters, and the only one who can rival Gojo Satoru. Even who is stronger with Gojo Satoru has been confusing everyone, but Uchiha Mei has always kept a low profile. The senior management has completely blocked the matter of dealing with Ming last time. Welcome to the high school, I will be your homeroom teacher from now on. Gojo Satoru said with a smile on his face. Zenin Maki looked at Gojo Satoru with a look of disgust. This person was too frivolous. He couldn't help but look at Ming next to him. Why would you choose me? I am just a person who is not as good as ordinary people. Zenin Maki said, what she said is that the magic power in her body is not even as good as ordinary people. Is this really the case? Ming said calmly. Zenin Maki didn't speak. She was born with a super strong physique that far exceeded that of ordinary people and even jiu-jitsu masters, but his physique was due to heavenly restriction. In the jiu-jitsu world, people who don't know jiu-jitsu will not be recognized by others no matter how strong they are. Some things are not what you imagine. Now that you have come to the high school, then work hard to complete the purpose of coming. There are still people who can be favored by me and Wu. Ming Shu said and turned around to leave. Gojo Satoru continued to work beside him, introducing him to the improved situation. Besides her, there were two other people in the first grade, a panda, and a person to be precise. Advertisement. Zenin Maki was not surprised at all. After all, he was from the Zenin family, so he naturally knew that there were very few jiu-jitsu masters. What's more, he was selected by the high school. Looking at the frivolous Gojo Satoru who has no image at all, Zenin Maki has a gloomy look on his face. After all, is a person like this really reliable as a teacher, even if he is the strongest jiu-jitsu master? On the other side, Ming turned around and left the high school and came to a building. Long time no see. A handsome man with long hair and a monk's robe said with a gentle smile on his face. It's so fake, you guy. That smile is annoying. Gee, Ming said lightly. Ha ha ha, being a leader is difficult. Xiaoyuja also put away his fake smile, then burst into laughter. Ming is also helpless. Would you like to go and see my family? Xiaoyuja asked. No interest, I have no interest in them. Ming said calmly. Hey, you're being a little bit biased. I've heard that you can help that guy Wu with his students. Xiaoyuja said with some dissatisfaction. Let's go and have a look. It's okay anyway. If we don't know him and accidentally kill him, it will be very troublesome. Ming said calmly. You guys are still so vicious when you talk. Huh, aren't they your subordinates? They're a bit too much. Jay, even if we want to reform, we won't leave those extremely evil people behind. Ming said lightly. You must know the reason for Gojo Satoru's execution last time. The mission was because Xiaoyuja had a subordinate who took pleasure in killing people. Advertisement. I was negligent. That person must have been killed by Wu. Xiaoyuja said. Let's go, stop talking nonsense. Ming said impatiently. Xiaoyuja took Ming to the headquarters and saw Xiaoyuja's so-called family. There are indeed a few very strong people, but most of the cotters have gone out and are not at the headquarters. Lord Xiaoyu, is this our new member too? A woman said with a sweet smile. No, this is my best friend. Next time you see him, stay away. Xiaoyuja said jokingly with a gentle smile on his face. Hey, don't set me up. You're getting more and more disgusted with the sinister guy now. You're not as lovable as that guy Wu. Ming looked at Xiaoyuja and said. Wu, has that guy changed a lot over the years? I haven't seen him for a long time. Xiaoyuja's eyes flashed with nostalgia, but it passed away in a flash. But Ming still noticed it. I've made a lot of progress. Ming said calmly. Ming and Xiaoyuja started chatting, while his men were busy with what they were doing. Ming heard from Xiaoyuja that he also liked a young man, who he also called a being who could rival the three of them. Oh, it's really interesting. Such geniuses appear one after another. Ming said secretly. I'm also very interested in geniuses who can be recognized by Ming. Xiaoyuja asked. He is a student from a high school. He has good talent. He is more talented than Huiwen. As expected, he will become a special level student very quickly. Ming said calmly. Advertisement. That's really good. Xiaoyuja was also very happy. After all, he was also a member of Tokyo High School, although he is not now. Why, during this period, I heard that there are big actions started again. Ming said calmly. I can't talk about this. But there is one thing I'm curious about why you started arresting cursed spirit. Xiaoyuja asked. I can't say that either. You guy, forget it. It doesn't matter. I don't need those cursed spirits now. Xiaoyuja said, thinking of the young man who accidentally discovered that huge curse power and curse, he was only in the underworld. The Mangekyo Sherinan has felt it. Although it is not as good as Ming, the cursed spirit is the strongest curse Xiaoyuja has ever seen, except Sukuna, and it even has great potential. And that boy has potential that is no less than theirs. I don't know if it can be discovered. Xiaoyu plans to wait and see for a while, because extracting the cursed spirit now is not worth the gain. He plans to fully grow the cursed spirit and he is harvesting it. Looking at Xiaoyuja, his mind wandered to the sky. Ming punched him without hesitation. Xiaoyuja looked at Ming in confusion. 
Hey, you look so evil. Ming said lightly. Asshole, you scared me, and that's why you hit me. Xiaoyuja had a dark look on his face, after all, there were his men beside him. This is extremely embarrassing. Actually, I've wanted to compete for a long time. I hate people hanging up on me the most, but you and Wu actually hung up on me together. Ming said indifferently. I'll fight with you. Xiaoyuja used nonsensical logic to completely defeat his defense. What a bullshit reason. Hang up the phone? Who hung up the phone before? It's him every time. Okay, what's wrong with me? Xiaoyuja, hanging up a few times? Advertisement. Chapter 93 Goodbye Nanami Kento and Hi Harry Yu. Advertisement. After meeting with Xiaoyuja, Ming did not return to the high school, but came to a place in Tokyo. At this time, a white-haired beauty had been waiting for a long time. The woman tied a braid in front of her. Long time no see, Miss Mei Mei. Yes. Why did we suddenly make an appointment? What's going on? Ming asked a little confused. Hey, why am I so sad when I find you? Mei Mei said. Because Miss Mei Mei is not interested in anything but money, isn't she? Ming asked in return. That's right, but I don't like money, I like the process of saving money. Mei Mei looked out the window calmly. By the way, what type of woman do you like? Mei Mei looked at Ming again. Uh, you're not going to get in touch with that woman from Jujuyuki, are you? Ming had a dark look on his face. Ha ha ha, I'm just out of curiosity. I really don't know what type of woman a man like you would like. Mei Mei said lightly. Let's get down to business, Miss Mei Mei. Okay, I need you to do a favor. I recently discovered a very interesting child. His magic technique is related to space teleportation. But I don't understand this kind of magic technique, because among the people I know, I know more about you and Gojo Satoru, so I need your help. Mei Mei said, holding her chin. A space teleportation spell? It will be fine then, but I'm not interested in it. Why don't we ask Miss Mei Mei to find Wu? He has nothing to do during this time. Ming said lightly, a space teleportation spell. He has no interest in it at all. To put it bluntly, he is not even qualified to look at this kind of technique. Advertisement. Toto Ao is in justice game, he is interested in it but not very much. After all, there are too many restrictions. It requires the exchange of very magical objects. The restrictions are very big, but it can also be slightly developed in the direction of flying thunder god, but it is also that's all. Simple teleportation is too weak no matter how you look at it. Gojo Satoru's identity is too obvious. I won't let the child be discovered because he is an orphan. Help me teach him, Mei Mei said. I understand. Ming said calmly. Since he had said so clearly, the two people who had worked together for many years also had a tacit understanding with each other. This situation is nothing more than cooperation between the two, and courtesy reciprocates. Then Ming followed Mei Mei to a place where Mei Mei lived in Tokyo. At this time, the little boy looked at Ming nervously, and was slightly hostile towards Ming who was standing next to Mei Mei. Kid, keep your gaze away, or you will die. The blood red eyes stared at the young man in front of him. Even if the illusion was not activated, he seemed to have lost his power, and there was no focus in his eyes. At this time, the child's back was soaked with cold sweat. How? About Ming? The technique has something to do with space. I guess it can only teleport. It has no other abilities at all. The upper limit of development is very low. It is not suitable for combat. It is okay as an assistant and not bad as a tool. Ming said lightly. You guys, although you are indifferent to other people, you don't say that. Mei Mei smiled sweetly. I don't deny it. If he wasn't a child, he would be dead. Remember, kid, don't show your hostility to a strong man. Ming said calmly. Then he began to teach this kid named Yuyo how to use spells. Throughout the whole process, Ming kept observing the structure of the technique with his sherry non, and finally came to the same conclusion as he just said. Then Ming changed the training method to Mei Mei. Then he stopped staying and turned around to leave. Long. Advertisement. Yes. Remember, don't show any hostility to that man in the future. You must respect him as much as you respect me. I don't like the look in your eyes today. There won't be another time. Mei Mei's tone was also a little cold. Yes, sister. Yuyu lowered her head, guilt and nervousness flashed in her eyes. Okay, let's go have a rest. After saying that, Mei Mei turned and left. On the other side, Ming returned to the high school. It was already evening. At this time, the high school was very lively because Nanami Kento and Hi Haru Yu had returned. Hey, they're all here. Mei looked at Nanami Kento, Hi Haru Yu, Shoko, Gojo Satoru, Shokinji, and Hoshikiro. Yagamasamichi and Zenin Maki were all in the classroom. There is also the Panda Panda who just returned from a mission during this period, and there is also a box of a handsome boy. The boy's name is Inumaki Dej, and he is a spellcaster. Gojo Satoru is also very optimistic about this boy. Panda, Zenin Maki, and Inumaki Dej are first year students, while Kinji Sui and Kirara Hoshi are second year students. Good evening, Teacher Ming. Good evening, Teacher Chi Luo Luo, the second star of Scale Gold. Good evening, Teacher Ming Maki. Senpai, good evening Nanami Kento. Ming, Senior, good evening. Hi Wen Xiong. Hello, Teacher Ming, I am Panda. You can call me Panda. Panda said nervously at this time. You must know that even a prick like Shang Jinsi greeted him so politely, and Ming looked so majestic. The timid man was very nervous. Advertisement. Hair tail fish. Don't be so formal. Panda, have you forgotten? I hugged you when you were a child, and I gave you your name. Ming said calmly. Only then did Panda remember a vague figure. It turns out to be you. Panda was a little surprised. Did you remember? There was a smile on Ming's face. I couldn't help but admire my own teacher. Panda is indeed his best masterpiece. Okay, now that little Nanami and little Huiwen are back, come with me to the training ground and let me see how your strength has improved over the years. Ming said calmly. Yes, senior. Nanami said respectfully, eyes full of excitement. Good senior. Heibara Yuanri said loudly, his character as cheerful as before. Oh, it seems interesting. Gojo Satoru naturally knew Ming's intention. Wu, how are you preparing your things? Ming said calmly. Na then threw an envelope to Ming. Ming put the envelope into his pocket. Everyone heard that Ming was about to fight Nanami Kento and Heibara Yu. Also showed an interested expression. After all, they don't know much about Ming's strength. 
They only know that he and Gojo Satoru are both special level Jujutsu masters. You must know that there are only four special level Jujutsu masters today. It can be imagined how high the gold content is, and it will definitely be of great help to them. Advertisement. Chapter 94 Letter of Recommendation. Advertisement. Everyone came to the training ground. Ming, Nanami Kento, and Hai Hara Yu stood in the middle of the training ground. Everyone watching the battle watched with wide eyes. Only Gojo Satoru stood there in a daze with a bored look on his face, obviously not interested in this battle at all. On the battlefield, Hai Hara Xiong took the lead in launching an attack on Ming. He was extremely fast and without any temptation. Hai Hara Xiong used his own magic to increase his speed to the extreme, and then quickly increased his strength to the extreme. He punched Ming. Ming stood there and stretched out his palm to clench his fist. When Nanami saw this, the scale of a ruler appeared in his eyes, and then he slashed towards Ming. Just attaches to the knife. Ming lowered his head and became slightly angry, his figure flashed and moved quickly, and he kicked Nanami. Nanami attached the magic power to his arm to defend himself. Heibara's speed increased, and then Nanami flew out. Seeing this, Nanami didn't dare to be careless and the three of them were in a stalemate. But no matter what, they can't shake Ming half a minute, no matter how powerful they are. The underworld is as easy to avoid as taking a walk. Forget it, Teacher Ming. I think that Senior Nanami and the others are also very strong. Is it just their opponent, Teacher Ming, who is so unbearable? Hashiki Luluo couldn't help but admire Nanami Kento and Hui Yongxian. Of course, after all, Nanami and Heibara have already reached the level of first level magicians, but they have never risen to the level. Yagamasamichi said next to him, Why, Principal? Panda asked curiously, Salmon, because Nanami's strength is not recognized by Ming. Wu said calmly, Are people even more puzzled? He obviously has the strength of a first level magician, so why does he need Ming's approval? Actually, the reason for this is very simple. Nanami and Heibara's strength has indeed reached the level of first level magicians. Even the higher UPS have consulted with them. You also know that when they advance, they can let people with higher levels than them recommended by the magician. Advertisement. Nanami has always respected Ming. He wants Ming to recommend Ming to become a first level magician, but Ming only has higher requirements for them. As for Heibara, he, forget it. When it came to Heibara, Yagamasamichi didn't say any more. Next to him, Gojo Satoru continued with an expressionless expression. He wants Jay to recommend him to become a first level magician. Who is Jay? The outspoken Zeninmaki asked curiously. Everyone who knew the inside story all looked at Zeninmaki. Zeninmaki also knew that he had said the wrong thing and looked embarrassed. Just like us, he is a special magician. Gojo Satoru said with a smile on his face. Because his eyes were blocked, everyone felt that Gojo Satoru's condition was not as expected. But Yagamasamichi, who knew him well, knew that Tsyayuja's rebellion had always been a thorn in his side. Speaking of which, teacher, you are really miserable. Nanami Senpai, why do they say they are your juniors, but no one wants your opinion? You, a senior, are really a failure. Hashiki Luluo said. Hearing this, everyone looked at Gojo Satoru in disgust. After all, the person in front of me is really strong if he is strong, but he is really unreliable if he is unreliable. What? It can only be said that they have no vision, okay? Gojo Satoru said disdainfully. Because of seeing Chi Luo Luo's words, the scene was restored again. At this time in the battlefield, Nanami and Heibara were out of breath. Nanami knew that after all, it showed his full strength. Hai Haruyuya showed a serious expression. Although they knew that they couldn't defeat Ming even if they used all their strength, the reason why they didn't use it was because they didn't know if they could. Black Flash Hai Wing Sian was very fast and punched Ming. There was a smile on Ming's lips. Just like a normal punch. Hai Wing arrives and flies out. Advertisement. It failed, Hai Haruyu said, scratching his head. Nanami, on the other hand, looked at Ming seriously, not noticing Heibara's complaint at all. Black Flash Nanami's eyes suddenly widened, and a black-red lightning spread on his fist. The black and red lightning was no nonsense at all, Yo grabbed it and then threw Nanami Kento to the ground. Can this pervert even catch Black Flash easily? Shokinji murmured. Star Kirera is also very energetic. You must know that with the addition of Black Flash, Nanami's spells are even more powerful. On the basis of the critical hit, he imposed a critical hit again, and he was actually caught. He still didn't use any spells, only used the physical body and the power of the spell were beaten to this extent. After firing a Black Flash, the emotions around Nanami Kento began to boil. Nanami stood up and hit Ming again next time. Black Flash. Black Flash X3. Black Flash X4. When he fired the fourth Black Flash, Nanami Kento was already out of breath. Isn't it possible? Ming said calmly. At this time, Hai Harris Yong stood there blankly outside the court. Xiaoyuja's words rang in his mind, if you want to play Black Flash, you must concentrate 120% and throw away all the so-called happy and sad emotions. Behind the head, mobilize the power of the spell and use your best strength to hit it. Seriously, seriously. Hai Harris Yong, you are repeating these two words. Black Flash Heibara. Black Flash X5. At this time, the two of them didn't know if it was a tacit understanding or a coincidence, but they hit Xiang Ming with their hands. The two of them punched Ming with all their strength. Smoke billows. Has Senior Haiwen succeeded? Seeing Kiluluo ask in surprise. Advertisement. Please pay attention to the other guy. Five consecutive black flash hits. Five consecutive hits. To be honest, Shokinji was also shocked by Nanami. Five consecutive hits. Remember that the last time, he only had three black flash hits at most. Now I guess Nanami's record is the best. The smoke dissipated. At this time, Nanami and Heibara remained frozen in place, and theirs was blocked by a blue bone, preventing them from getting any closer. Yes, even I was a little surprised just now. I am very satisfied with you too, little Nanami and little Huiwen. Ming said calmly. After hearing Ming's words, both of them smiled. After saying that, Ming turned and left. This is for you, little Nanami Ming walked away. Turning around and throwing an envelope to Nanami, Heibara looked at the envelope with disappointment in his eyes. Nanami looked at the three words in the recommendation letter and was a little excited, then opened the envelope and it said, I, Uchihame, recommend Nanami Kento, a second level magician, as a first level magician as a special level jiu-jitsu master. Looking at the contents of this letter, Nanami had a look of ecstasy on his face, which was in sharp contrast to his usual expressionless face. Thank you, Ming Senpai. Nanami bowed respectfully. Ming waved his hand indifferently. Haiwen, come with me, I have something to tell you. Ming's voice came. Yes, senior. Heibara couldn't help but be stunned, and immediately followed me up. 
Seeing this, Gojo Satoru, as if he knew something, turned around and left towards the high school. Everyone also knew that Ming and Heibara had something to talk about. Although they were curious, they also went to Gojo Satoru and went back. Hai Wen Xiong, who was walking with him, was puzzled but not in a hurry to ask. Compared with before, Hai Harris Xiong has also matured a lot, although he is still very passionate. Advertisement. Chapter 95 Why do you want to fight Mr. Xiaoyu? Advertisement. Ming took Hai Wen Xiong to the entrance of the barrier. Yes, I am very satisfied with your strength today. Have you grown a lot over the years, Xiao Huiwen? Ming said calmly. Heibara stood up straight and said with some embarrassment, Thank you for the compliment, senior. I will continue to work hard. I think you have also seen that little Nanamai will become a first-level magician in a few days. What do you think? Ming said calmly, I, I am a senior when I have nothing to do. Although I am only a second-level magician, I will continue to work hard. Didn't you say that strength is the criterion for measuring everything? Don't take that kind of false reputation too seriously. Disappointment flashed in Hai Wing Sighing's eyes, but he still said firmly. Although he was very polite, he still rejected Ming's kindness. Ha ha ha, you kid, you are indeed not much more mature than before. By the way, take this. Ming threw an envelope to Hai Wen Xiong. Senior, I can't accept it. I don't think my strength is enough to be a first-level magician. Speaking of the latter, Hai Harris Xiong himself was a little unconfident. After all, he had also drawn a lot of first-level cursed spirits. When this he is a well-deserved first-level magician. But he didn't just want to go up. Open it and take a look before you refuse. Ming said calmly. Although Hai Harris Xiong was puzzled, the seniors had said so, so he didn't open it and take a look. I, Xiaoyuja, as a special-level jiu-jitsu master, recommend the second-level jiu-jitsu Yu Hai Haru to be promoted to the first-level jiu-jitsu master. There is also a Q version of a cute avatar drawn under the word Zi, with a weird avatar. Senior, this is. Hai Wen Xiong stared at Ming with wide eyes. Ah, it's what you think. This is the proof that Ji gave you. He said that if your strength is recognized by me, I will give you this letter. Ming said lightly. Advertisement. Thank you, senior. Hai Harris Xiong bowed deeply. Tears sparkled in his eyes. Senior, is senior's I I you okay? Hai Wing Sighing asked cautiously. It's pretty good. By the way, he also asked me to give you a sentence. I feel great doing my best to do what I am capable of. Hearing this sentence, Hai Harris Xiong was stunned, because this was what he said when he and Xiao Yuja met for the last time. Then recovered. Bowing again, thank you, senior, for your teachings. Although he didn't know whether it was to Ming or Xiao Yuja, Hai Wen Xiong bowed again at this time. This is for you. Ming sent a letter here, which was also a letter of recommendation just like the one below. This is. Hai Wing Sighing asked puzzled. Idiot, you don't really think his letter of recommendation is useful. If you're not afraid of being arrested, just use it. Ming said angrily, this idiot. Then he left. Hai Harris Xiong opened the letter and read. I, Gojo Satoru, recommend as a special level magician, and the second level magician Yu Heibara is promoted to a first level magician. Hai Wing Sighing looked at the envelope. He knew that Ming had done it to him. He bowed and shouted loudly in the direction of Ming's disappearance again. Thank you, senior. Advertisement. At this time, the two figures were walking side by side. You are such a gentle guy, do you want to be a teacher? Teacher Yaga is right, you are more suitable to be a teacher than me. Gojo Satoru said calmly. I don't want it. It's very tiring and not suitable for me. Ming said calmly. Yes. The two of them walked aimlessly. Is he okay? Gojo Satoru said calmly. Not bad, a little more tiring than an irresponsible guy like you, but not bad. Ming said calmly. That's not bad, at least it was Jay's choice. Gojo Satoru also said calmly, without any sadness. Yes, but it has indeed changed a lot. I feel better after being beaten. After thinking about Xiaoyuja's fake smile, he felt unhappy. Ha 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 ha, it's you after all. Gojo Satoru seemed to remember the scene of Xiaoyuja being beaten and couldn't help but smile. At this time, Xiaoyuja pointed there with panda eyes and an angry expression. At this time, his two little followers had grown into slim figures, and one of the girls covered her mouth and snickered. The other girl said angrily, Master Ziyu, who beat you like this? Stop talking, Nanako. Xiaoyuja covered his forehead, not wanting to recall what happened that day. But, Lord Xiaoyu. Advertisement. Okay, it's just a joke between friends. Xiaoyuja said calmly and gently. Lord Xiaoyu's friend. Nanako asked in confusion. I thought to myself is it Gojo Satoru? Yes, but it's not that guy Satoru, it's another close friend, Achihame. Xiaoyuja was still very patient with his two adopted daughters, so he explained gently. Achihame, is it a position? Nanako said, yes, he is one of the four great masters today and the only one who can resist Wu. Xiaoyuja said, I don't understand, Sir Xiaoyu, is Gojo Satoru really that powerful? In their hearts, Xiaoyuja has always been the strongest, and he always looks calm and calm no matter who he faces. Do you think that the strongest jiu-jitsu master today is just a false name? In addition to Ming, the four special levels include 99 Yuki, who was first called a special level. Only he can be named the strongest. Xiaoyuja, at this time, he is no longer the passionate young man he once was, and he knows that there is an unbridgeable gap between her and Gojo Satoru. Even so, why bother to shoot Uchihame? Since he can compete with Gojo Satoru, why is he not the strongest? Because he doesn't care about this title. His arrogance is engraved in his bones. No one can order him, so he has no interest in being recognized as the strongest. But I believe that he and Wu will have a battle, and who will win in the end? Who will win the strongest crown? Xiaoyuja said. Uchihame, Gojo Satoru, and Natsurasama. Are they the best friends? Mimiko asked. Yes. Why do I want to hit you? Hearing this, Xiaoyuja had a dark look on his face. Things are also very simple. Ming asked Xiaoyuja for a letter of recommendation, but Xiaoyuja refused. Because he didn't want to write. Advertisement. Chapter 96 Rampage Xiaoyuja. Advertisement. Why are you looking for me all of a sudden? This is not like your character. Xiaoyuja looked at Ming. It's nothing serious, I just want you to write something. Ming said calmly. Hey, is this the attitude of your family? Even if I am a close friend, I have to use the word please dot. Xiaoyuja said matter-of-factly. Okay, let me ask you to write something for me. Ming rolled his eyes and said. 
You guy, forget it, what do you want me to write? Xiaoyuja said helplessly, covering his forehead. A letter of recommendation, a letter of recommendation for the promotion of level 2 Jiu-Jitsu Master Hai Hari Yu to level 1 Jiu-Jitsu Master. Ming said calmly. What? What nonsense are you talking about, Ming, I am. At this point, Xiaoyuja did not say any more. How could his recommendation letter from a curse user be recognized by the senior management? Not only that, but with his letter of recommendation, he might be recognized as his accomplice. To him, Hai Harris Yong was a piece of pure land in his soul. How could he harm this junior who had always respected and admired him? And to be honest, he didn't know how to face Hai Wen Xiong. The reason was very simple. Hai Wen Xiong was a simple man. He didn't want him, a person who fell into darkness, to pollute his life, so Xiaoyuja wouldn't go write this letter. So what, I'll let Wu write another one, but he needs your approval. Ji, Ming said lightly. Sorry, I refuse, Ming. Xiaoyuja said calmly, you must write. Why? Xiaoyuja roared, his defenses completely broken after so many years of training. Nothing, why? In his eyes, only your recommendation is the motivation for him to become stronger. He just wants to get your approval. Mingya said coldly, that was the Xiaoyuja from before, that Xiaoyuja is dead. And why should I set myself up as a first level magician to be my enemy? Xiaoyuja said, you must know that a first level jiu-jitsu master has a lot of resources, but why would Xiaoyuja worry about a mere first level jiu-jitsu master? No matter how strong that level is, he is nothing more than an ant. Only he himself knows the real thoughts. Ming knows the same. Advertisement. I don't care, you must write to me today. Ming said coldly, I'm really arrogant, Ming. You can't force me to do something I don't want to do. Xiaoyuja had no intention of giving in. Really? Ming said lightly. Then without any nonsense or warning, he punched Xiaoyuja in the eye. Assholes. Do you really think you are the only ones who have become stronger in these years? Many black holes appeared behind Xiaoyuja, and each black hole contained special grade cursed spirit. So what? If you don't write today, I will beat you until you do. Ming said coldly. Then the two began to fight. About half an hour later, Ming looked down at Xiaoyuja lying on the ground and said, Write or not? I said. Before Xiaoyuja could finish, his sandbag-sized fist fell again. I, bang punched him down again. I, shoes. Shoes? I didn't ask you about shoes, Ming said coldly, and then looked at the stubborn Xiaoyuja, directly riding on Xiaoyuja's body, shooting left and right, and after a while Xiaoyuja was beaten until he was knocked unconscious. Bastard, bastard, the porridge is zero and rough. Cursed spirit manipulation, dot. Many special grade cursed spirits appeared around Xiaoyuja, attacking Ming. Then Ming's body began to fade away. Upon seeing this, Xiaoyuja immediately stood up and distanced himself. Ming sneered. Stretch your hands around. Wang Xiang Tianyin. Amaterasu. After a set of combinations, the cursed spirit flew towards Ming like a moth to a flame, and was then burned up by Amaterasu. I said, I, Wang Xiang Tianyin. Before Xiaoyuja could finish speaking, Ming controlled a stone and threw it at Xiaoyuja. Advertisement. Xiaoyuja instantly summoned the cursed spirit to serve as the main stone. At this time, he was in an unusual embarrassment and even lost his front teeth. Asshole Xiaoyuja's eyes flashed with anger, but Ming Liao showed no intention of stopping. Domain expansion. Xiaoyuja began to form seals in his hands. Heaven's hand power Ming Samsara I had already discovered his intention, and instantly came to Xiaoyuja and kicked him out from behind. Xiaoyuja was kicked away again. Xiaoyuja instantly summoned the cursed spirit and flew high into the sky on the cursed spirit. Ming sneered. The eyes switch here to the eternal Mangek Yosharinan. Susanohu, Megatama of the 8th edition. Then Ming Suzano began to throw quickly. Seeing this, Xiaoyuja's mouth twitched. Reversal technique. Xiaoyuja's reversal technique is different from Ming and Gojo Satoru's in that it is not automatically activated. At this time, he urged the inversion magician with all his strength. He gradually recovered from his injuries. Now it was finally possible to speak without any leakage. I'm writing, stop it, bastard, are you going to kill me? Xiaoyuja said angrily. Upon seeing this, Ming immediately activated heavenly hand power to exchange positions with the cursed spirit under Xiaoyuja. Take Xiaoyuja and sneak to a safe place. However, there was an imperceptible look of disappointment in Ming's eyes. Why didn't you tell me earlier, Ji? You almost didn't stop. Do you have to give me a beating to be honest? Ming said calmly. You guy, didn't I tell you? Did you give me a chance? Xiaoyuja said with an angry look. Oh, who told you to speak so quietly? Ming looked away with evasive eyes, and touched his nose without leaving any trace. At this moment, Xiaoyuja finally knew that the guy in front of him definitely did it on purpose, because Xiaoyuja knew the person in front of him very well. As long as you lie, you will instinctively touch your nose, and his eyes were a little evasive. Asshole, you guy, if you want to beat me, just say so, don't give me useless tricks. You are a hundred times worse than Wu, a sinister man, a cold man, and a poisonous tongue man. Xiaoyuja roared loudly, rode. At this time, he is the same as Gojo Satoru who was sorted and broken before. Ming did not refute, and raised his body towards the sky with a calm look on his face. Then looking at Xiaoyuja who was still chattering away, he punched Xiaoyuja in the eye again. Advertisement. Xiaoyuja covered his eyes in pain. Ming is calm and picking his ears. He said with a cold face, you are so noisy, why are you so talkative now? Damn it, I'm going to fight you, the field. You're done, aren't you? What's more important is to finish writing the letter of introduction for me. Ming said with a headache. Damn it, so and so is finished, you guy, you take action whenever you disagree. Xiaoyuja did not expand the field, but used a reversal technique to treat the wound. Stop when you feel the pain disappears. Xiaoyuja had no choice but to start writing a letter of recommendation. Ming looked at Xiaoyuja who had finished writing and immediately took it over. Okay, I'm leaving. Ming said calmly. Wait a minute. Anything else? Please say a word to Haiwen for me. Ming nodded. I know, it's really troublesome. Ming said impatiently. Get out of here, you bastard. I don't want to see you. I want to break up with you. Xiaoyuja said angrily. TCH, how old are you, and you still act like a child? Ming said disdainfully, with a proud smile hanging on the corner of his mouth. Humph, let's go quickly. Xiaoyuja turned and left. By the way, Jay, the punch I just punched, the reversal magician is useless. As he said that, the shadowy figure began to twist. What? What do you mean? Xiaoyuja shouted loudly. But the name had disappeared, and he immediately panicked when he saw Ming's last expression. 
He was still familiar with this expression. You must know that he and Gojo Satoru were always troubled every time with this expression. Advertisement. Chapter 97 Skinny Boy. Advertisement. Ha 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 ha. I didn't expect Jay to be like this. He must be very angry. Gojo Satoru said carelessly. Yeah, there's no way. That guy is so annoying. Ming waved his hand. When are you leaving? Gojo Satoru asked. Tomorrow, the matter has been taken care of. I plan to go back. I still have some things to do. That's fine. By the way, Sukuna, give me one of your fingers. Gojo Satoru said. Oh, don't do that. Mei asked curiously, taking out a disgusting finger from the Kamui's face and throwing it to Gojo Satoru. It's nothing. Those old guys need Sukuna's fingers for some reason, and they probably know your relationship with me, so they keep bothering me here. Gojo Satoru said nonchalantly. I'm just telling you, you should have killed those old guys a long time ago, just to waste the air. Ming said calmly. It's easy to kill them, but that treats the symptoms rather than the root cause. How can we prescribe the right medicine if we don't leave any symptoms? Gojo Satoru had a confident smile on his face. TCH, you and that guy G are the same, they're just unrealistic. Ming said calmly. Don't talk about those frustrations, okay? Let's talk about the path you chose. You are the most mysterious guy every time, swinging between me and Jay. Gojo Satoru said unhappily. Don't worry, you will know later. Then you will know who is right. This is a game between the three of us. In the end, only you and G will be eliminated. Ming Kang can walk towards the dormitory. I really admire you, why are you so sophisticated? Gojo Satoru complained. Advertisement. The next day Ming said goodbye to everyone and left the college with everyone's reluctant eyes. Ming, who left the high school, returned home and looked at the messy house with a dark look on his face. 99 Yuki, get out of here. He said with a gloomy expression. You're back. At this time, Juju Yuki looked like he had just woken up, with messy golden hair and wearing sexy pajamas. Leave my house now, otherwise don't blame me for doing it myself. At this time, Ming's blood red sherry non was already in his eyes. At this time, Juju Yuji finally realized that Ming was a little angry, and very angry. Well, why don't I take care of it? Juju Yuki said pitifully. I thought to myself, I'm sorry, the man in front of me is a bit of a misophobia. Although he is a misophobia, it's not that serious. It's just that this house is really too messy, and even a normal person can't accept it. But Ming still had a cold face. He really couldn't stand this woman's sloppy character, and she also disturbed his life. Ming didn't talk nonsense and grabbed Juju Yuki's shoulders. What are you going to do? Juju Yuki said in a panic. Ming looked at him coldly, and their figures began to twist. Then the two came to Tokyo. Didn't I tell you to clean it up? You brought me here to work. 99 Yuji said with some dissatisfaction. Advertisement. Would you like to live in my house? Ming said calmly. But I have no money. Juju Yuji looked helpless. That doesn't matter. As a special level magician, you can make money very quickly as long as you accept two tasks. And your apprentice Toto Aoi is now a second level magician too, Ming said calmly. Having said that, I want your environment. Shut up, you can live at my place and defeat me. Ming glanced at Juju Yuji coldly. 99 Yuki is like a leaky rubber ball. Although she was called a special jiu-jitsu master before Mei Gang, she will definitely not be able to defeat Mei Gang. Even if Mei Gang does not have a field of expansion, he cannot defeat him, let alone Mei Gang who can expand the realm. Field, and this guy has more than one field. You must know that this kind of thing has never happened before. Even if you have multiple techniques, the other can only have one. This is recognized. But this guy has two. Is there really no other way? You also know that I love bed. Yuki Kyuju said. Stop talking nonsense. Ming said coldly. Wait a minute, I just got a special level cursed spirit character recently, and I also blame the cursed spirit for being unusual. It is said to be the cursed spirit left over from the past. 99 Yuki said. Not enough, I can take action. 99 Yuki said calmly. Advertisement. Wouldn't it be faster for me to do that kind of thing myself? Ming said calmly. A special grade cursed spirit. And help me find out some information from Tianyuan, as well as information about his spells. Ming said calmly. Although Tianyuan's spells are public, Ming doesn't think so. Simple immortality and powerful barrier spells are not enough to keep him alive to this day. Okay. Juju Yuji thought about it and finally agreed. Although he didn't want to see that old woman Tianyuan, there was no other way. It was like living under someone else's roof. Looking at the 99 Yuki who agreed, Ming nodded with satisfaction. He only took the 99 Yuki back home and asked him to change his clothes and throw them to him in Tokyo. Then he went back to rest under the dissatisfied look of Juju Yuki. One year later, in a school, a group of bad boys surrounded a thin boy. The young man looked at the bad boy opposite with a timid and worried look. Well, what are you going to do? The thin boy stammered. What are you doing? Those teenagers looked at the young man with disdain. It's just because you're unhappy. You've been mysterious all day. You're still talking to yourself, you weirdo. We're going to teach you a lesson. A gangster boy with an afro said, and then slowly approached the thin boy who was being bullied. No, the young man didn't have the slightest fear. His eyes were full of worry. Looking at the boy's eyes, the gangsters felt humiliated and raised their fists to hit the thin boy. Don't bully the Jews, a creepy voice sounded. And a pair of big hands stretched out from behind the boy. No, Rika. The thin boy looked frightened. Advertisement. Chapter 98 The Weakest Special Level Advertisement In a dark room, a man with white hair and sunglasses on his eyes was speaking calmly. Secret execution? How can that be done? The white-haired man said calmly. This was with his own consent. Gojo Satoru you can't make decisions for him. He is underage, just a 16-year-old boy. It would be too rash to conclude that it was cursed just because someone died, so leave that boy to me, Gojo Satoru said calmly. Then he walked out of the room without saying anything more and with a smile on his face. And when Gojo Satoru left, there was no sound in the room. At this time, in a room full of spells, the young man sat on a chair and slowly woke up. When the boy woke up, a voice also sounded. What is this? Okotsu Jewish classmate Gojo Satoru took out a broken knife from his pocket and said to the thin boy, It was originally a knife. I wanted to commit suicide, but Li Xiang stopped me. He said with a depressed expression as he curled up on a chair and hugged his legs. Gojo Satoru looked at the boy's eyes, which had no color at all, and said lightly, It's so gloomy. Then he threw the twisted knife in his hand to the ground. I'm going to a new school today. Gojo Satoru said cheerfully. I'm not going the young man's deep voice sounded. Um, advertisement. I don't want to hurt anyone anymore. 
So I'm not leaving here. Gojo Satoru was stunned when he heard the boy's words, and then said calmly, but this will be very lonely. The curse and you can also help others depending on how you use it. Learn how to use your power. If you want to give up everything, it's not too late to try it. The boy who heard Gojo Satoru finally raised his head, with a glint in his eyes. On the other side, Xiaoyujo was talking on the phone while swallowing cursed spirit. That's it, that child was taken away by that guy Satoru. Really? It seems your plan failed again, Jay. It doesn't matter. It's hard to say who will win and who will lose. By the way, you should think carefully about my proposal. Xiaoyujo said. I know, I will think about it carefully and give you the answer tomorrow. Ming said calmly, then hung up the phone. What's wrong? A female voice sounded. This person was none other than 99 Yuki. Nothing, Ming said with a headache. Speak quickly, don't worry, I will never say anything to those high-level officials. Juju Yuji promised, standing up and pressing his shoulders to show his loyalty. Ming couldn't help it, this woman was really too gossipy, and she would probably be annoyed to death if she didn't tell her. Gee, let's start taking action. He wants me to help. Ming said calmly. Action? What I'm most curious about is what did he ask you to do? Juju Yuki touched his chin and thought. Continue Ming calmly uttered two words. Juju Yuji had no choice but to continue the movements in his hands. And Mingya began to explain, no matter what Jay's actions are, there needs to be a premise, and that is to find a way to stop the strongest Jiu-Jitsu master today. Advertisement. Oh, I see, you are the only one who can stop Gojo Satoru, the strongest Jiu-Jitsu master. So he wants you to stop Gojo Satoru. Yuki Kyuju asked. That's it. This mission is not easy. After all, it's Gojo Satoru. I don't think anyone knows his strength better than you, Yuki Kyuju said. Yes, but if you just stop it, it's still very simple. Ming said calmly. Oh, let's see if you agree or not. Promise, otherwise it would be a bit unfair to Ji. Ming said calmly. To be honest, I have always been curious about you. Gojo's Six Eyes is a century-old masterpiece. You must know that basically every generation of Six Eyes and unlimited techniques are destined to dominate an era, but you can compete with him. 99 Yuki asked. Hey, Gojo's Six Eyes. Disdain and ridicule flashed in Ming's eyes. How? Do you really think the Gojo family, Six Eyes, and no lower limit can compete with me? The disdain in Ming's eyes did not weaken at all. So, you can beat Gojo Satoru. Kyuju Yuki was also a little shocked. He didn't think that Ming Hui would be lying under such circumstances. No, I didn't say that. But it would be very troublesome if I were to tell you. Ming said calmly. What do you mean? Juju Yuji was even more puzzled. You still don't understand? It's not that having six eyes and unlimited techniques will make you the strongest. But Gojo Satoru, who has unlimited limits and six eyes, is the strongest. I don't deny that no limit and six eyes are strong, but they are just strong, but Satoru will become the strongest. Is that so? Juju Yuki nodded. Advertisement. Have you underestimated Gojo Satoru? You have also underestimated me. If only according to the records of the Gojo family, I will definitely be the winner in the end. Ming said calmly. In other words, Gojo Satoru has never used his full strength, and he has been getting stronger over the years, right? Kyuju asked. Yes, if he is still standing still after reaching the special level, then for me, I can easily suppress him with one hand. I don't even need to expand the field. Ming said calmly. It seems that I have indeed entered a misunderstanding, but I think other people think so too, including the Gojo family. They only know that Gojo Satoru is the strongest, but they don't know that Gojo Satoru is already stronger. They just follow the rules nothing can be determined from the recorded data. Jujuyuki said. This is why the Jiu-Jitsu world needs to be reformed. His stubborn ideas need to be changed. Otherwise, the Jiu-Jitsu world will not decline to the point where we are the only four special level people. That's right. 99 Yuki nodded, with some pride on his face. But don't think too much about it. You are a special level because you are only a special level, and I am a special level, which is the highest level and only a special level, so you have nothing to be proud of. Ming added lightly. At this time, 99 Yuki, who looked light and airy just now, now has a black line on his face. He rolled his eyes and looked at the puzzled man in front of him. What, I'm very strong too, okay, don't forget, I was called a special class before you, Yuki Kyuju said. So what do you think, but you are indeed the weakest one now, aren't you? Ming said lightly. Impossible, just forget it between you and Gojo Satoru. I don't think I will lose to Xiaoyuja, Yuki Kyuju said. You are wrong. Do you really think there are many Gs? Although he is different from Wu and I, that guy's field is very special. Ming said calmly. Furthermore, his cursed spirit manipulation technique is extremely good and a very good ability. In short, you are really no match for him. Ming said calmly. TCH, I don't want to compete with monsters like you, Yuki Kyuju said. Ming didn't pay attention. After all, he wasn't wrong. It was okay to tell him. After all, this woman was either eating or doing her research all day long. She had no sense of strength and was just doing nothing all day long. The originally good technique was not developed. If it weren't for her talent and strength, this character would have been abandoned by the higher UPS long ago. Advertisement. Chapter 99 The Fifth Special Level. Advertisement. I brought a sense of Jewishness to the college. At this time, the second graders, Hoshi Kirera and Shokinji, went on a mission and did not come back. At this time, there are only first-year students, Panda, Zenin Maki, and because there is no second-year student, Okotsuju can only join the first-year high school students. Although he is just a newcomer to the world of Jiu-Jitsu, his Jiu-Jitsu rating is unprecedented and special. You must know that even the three Gojo Satoru did not have special level evaluations when they first came to the high school, but there was nothing they could do about it. The cursed spirit in Okotsuju's body was very strong, and the first-level Jiu-Jitsu master could not cause harm to it at all. Therefore, it can only be rated as a special level, and at this time, Okotsuju's curse power is extremely high, even more than Gojo Satoru. At this time, three people in the second grade were talking about their new classmates. They also got some news. It was said that this classmate was unusual. The three of them came to the classroom slowly. After about a few minutes, Gojo Satoru walked into the classroom first, while Okotsu stood outside the door anxiously. Let me introduce the transfer students to you. Let's get high. Gojo Satoru made extremely exaggerated movements and expressions. But obviously the three of them didn't buy it. Zenin Maki, who was straightforward, said without any politeness, I heard that he is a very troublesome person. I don't want to create a welcoming atmosphere for that kind of person. Salmon. 
Hey Gojo Satoru sighed. Looking at the student Gojo Satoru who showed no respect at all, he thought to himself, why is that guy respected by so many people? Advertisement. But it's okay Gojo Satoru recovered again. With a smile on his face, he faced the door again and said, come in. Okotsu's Jewish heart outside the door has reached his throat. After all, he hasn't been in contact with anyone since he was a child. Hearing the few words in the room and feeling the atmosphere is not that good. The atmosphere inside feels cold. Okotsu said mentally, but he still opened the door and came in. Due to his introverted personality, he did not dare to look at the classmates next to him. And as he entered, the atmosphere became increasingly cold. Just now, there were three people. When a Jew came in, two people and one panda suddenly opened their eyes wide, with surprise flashing in their eyes. Okotsu Jew seemed to step on their hearts every step they took, as if there was a huge curse watching them from behind. Just like the claws they show. My name is Okotsu. Okotsu lowered his head a little shyly. When he introduced his name, it was out of courtesy or to look at his future classmate. The moment he raised his head, a knife flew towards him first. Panda and Gojuin got into a fighting stance, forcing the Okotsu Jews to fall into the gang and surrounded them. What kind of postgraduate entrance examination is this? Hey, have you been curse? This is the place to learn curse. You should not come here if you are curse. Zenin Maki looked at Okotsu and said. Okotsu Jew looked at the cursed tool next to him with a horrified expression. Huh. Okotsu's eyes flashed with confusion as if he didn't understand. Then Gojo Satoru began to explain what curse is and where it comes from. And the specific type of school is missing. After Okotsu heard this, he looked at Gojo Satoru with a confused expression. The meaning was obvious, why didn't you tell me earlier? Zenin Maki and the other three turned to look at Gojo Satoru. The speechless look on his face seemed to say, are you just telling him now? Gojo Satoru stretched out his hand and apologized sorry. Advertisement. Then Gojo Satoru seemed to have thought of something and said, you'd better stay away from him. Hey X3. As soon as Gojo Satoru finished speaking, two huge arms appeared behind Okotsu Jew. He also grabbed Zenin Maki's cursed tool and cursed spirit angrily murmured, no bullying, Jew. Wait a minute, Rika Okotsu Jewish started to panic. Bullying the Jews. The two huge ones were trying to catch the two pandas, but the cursed spirit named Lixiang, who was the body of the giant hands, seemed to be obedient and did not strike hard. In the end, it was Gojo Satoru who suddenly took action and stopped the cursed spirit from continuing. The huge cursed spirit seemed to be afraid of Gojo Satoru, and felt that these people would do no harm to Okotsu Jew, and finally retreated obediently. Okotsu Kosher, he is 16 years old and is a curse. The big cursed spirit player just now, it is a special grade cursed spirit Chi Ben Lixiang. Actually, it's Okotsu Jewish curse. The specific situation begins six years ago. Okotsu Jude and Rika Kimoto were childhood sweethearts, and they agreed since childhood that they would get married when they grew up, and exchanged rings, which is now the necklace Okotsu Jew wears around his neck. But the good times didn't last long, and Rika Kimoto had a car accident in front of Okotsu Jew. In the end, Rika Kimoto turned into a cursed spirit and curse Okotsu Jew. Stay by your side, but you don't know it. After hearing the young man's experience, Zenin Maki and others became less hostile. This is Okotsu's Jewish classmate who is being cursed the most. Please give me some advice. If you attack you, Yurika's curse will activate. No matter what, everyone must be careful. Gojo Satoru. Advertisement. Seeing Gojo Satoru's behavior as an afterthought, the embarrassed three people were very unhappy. These students are still in the rebellious stage, so let me introduce them to you. Gojo Satoru said. There seems to be something wrong with this teacher. Gojo Satoru Okotsu also complained after looking at the incident. First. Cursed Tool Master, Zenin Maki. Be good at using the Cursed Tool to pull out the Cursed Spirit. Spellcaster, Inumaki Tej. The ability is to speak Dharma, and because he is a spellcaster, he only talks about fillings and rice balls. Just try to talk to him. Panda. That's probably what it looks like. Hello, please give me some advice. I'm a panda. You can also call me panda. What I want to know most is not explained. Okay, now there are finally four people in the first grade. Not bad. It seems like the first time there are four people except my class. Ha ha ha, not bad. Gojo Satoru said while touching his chin. And Okotsuju also completely joined the high school and became a jiu-jitsu master. Then Gojo Satoru started and introduced the content of the afternoon study session. And group pandas and dogs into a group. Okotsu Judas and Zenin Maki are in a group. Zenin Maki looked disgusted. This makes Okotsu Jewish very embarrassed. After all, he is a newcomer, but none of them, including himself, know that he is the fifth special jiu-jitsu master today. Advertisement. Chapter 100 Use of the Almighty Cursed Tool. Advertisement. It's really scary. Is this the real posture of Rika Okotsu? Don't let me down. At this time, Syayuja looked at the overwhelming power of the spell and the terrifying pressure. He said with excitement. The same goes for Gojo Satoru outside, feeling the overwhelming power of the spell, which has surpassed him. Ju, as expected, I was not disappointed. Gojo Satoru said calmly. At the same time, Ming who came to Tokyo also felt the terrifying power and aura of the spell. He stood in the sky and looked in the direction of the source of the spell. Is this the guy that Wu and Ji have their eyes on at the same time? The power of this spell alone is not weaker than the current Wu. It is estimated that he will completely surpass Wu that guy in a while. This guy is better than the scale Kinji has more potential. Ming murmured. The storage capacity of curse power is not equal to strength. In the original work, Okotsu who just entered school probably did not surpass Gojo Satoru. Anyway, Gojo Satoru is stronger now. But Okotsu Ju didn't know that he had been targeted by three people at the same time, and each of them rated him highly. At this time, seeing Maki injured, he had no choice but to summon the full form of Rika Kimoto and completely remove the cursed spirit. At the moment of pulling out, Gojo Satoru also appeared in front of Okotsu Ju. Seeing the child carrying the injured Zenin Maki, Gojo Satoru smiled slightly. I thought to myself, his physique is really weak. 
It seems that we need to arrange some physical training for him. Gojo Satoru also felt helpless. You must know that he and Ming basically didn't do any physical exercise in that session. Basically, each of the three of them has no shortcomings. Although he is the divine son of the Gojo family and may have had some basic training when he was a child, Ming and Xiaoyuja are not, but their physiques are not weak either. Even Xiaoyuja was very strong when they first met. Advertisement. According to Xiaoyuja, cursed spirit manipulation is my talent, and fighting is my hobby. Not to mention Ming, that guy's physical strength, except for Fushai Heishier from Heavenly Restriction. He has never seen anyone stronger than him, and it is estimated that even if Fushai Heishier is resurrected, he can't compare with Ming. Gojo Satoru has always been very strong but it was strengthened with magic power. Fushijiro has no magic power at all. At this time, Okotsu was carrying the wounded with difficulty. But when he saw Gojo Satoru, Okotsu was so relaxed that he fainted. The scene turned and Gojo Satoru had already arrived at the hospital. Since Okotsu was not injured, he had already woken up when he arrived at the hospital. Looking at Okotsuju sitting in a chair in a daze, Gojo Satoru comforted him and asked, What's wrong? Nothing, this is the first time I summon Li Xiang. A Jew stared at these rings. Then he looked up and looked at the people passing by him, recalling the agreement he made with Rika Kimoto at that time. A trace of sadness flashed in his eyes. What? Is there anything else? Gojo Satoru said looking at Okotsu who was lost in memories. It's nothing, actually, I, I feel like it wasn't Rika who cursed me, but I curse Rika. Okotsu stared at the ring on his finger. Although it's just my own opinion, there is no more twisted curse than love in the world. Gojo Satoru said calmly. When Okotsuju heard this, he thought of Rika Kimoto and everyone in the high school, and determination flashed in his eyes. Gojo Satoru smiled. Advertisement. And at the place where cursed spirit took place, a figure picked up a student ID card. Disappear into the night. The next day, Gojo Satoru was summoned by the senior management. The senior management was very dissatisfied with Gojo Satoru's behavior. After all, the appearance of Rika Kimoto made them feel threatened. They were afraid that Rika Oimoto would lose control. Then something bad happens, because after Ming's incident, society and high-level officials have been in turmoil. And Kai Benli Zionju is like a time bomb, it may explode at any time. Gojo Satoru, on the other hand, did not say anything when questioned by senior officials. They all doubted why these good guys became senior officials. You must know that no matter how you investigate, Rika Kimoto is just an ordinary person who cannot be more ordinary, but often such ordinary people turn into such terrifying cursed spirits, which are not even comparable to ordinary special grade cursed spirits. These high-level officials really don't understand. It is not a good thing in this world for ordinary people to become special grade cursed spirits. They are still worried about the harm of Rika Kimoto for the sake of power. What a bunch of cerebral palsy. Before leaving, Gojo Satoru did not forget to threaten the old man. After all, who knows whether they will jump over the wall in a hurry. When Gojo Satoru returned to the high school, everyone looking at themselves training also showed happy smiles. And asked Okotsu to go to the cursed tool warehouse to pick out a cursed tool. Looking at the dazzling array of cursed tools, Okotsu looked around, while Gojo Satoru looked around and finally picked a knife and threw it to Okotsu. Later, he also explained to Okotsuju that by doing this, he can not only use his curse power better, but also transfer the curse to the object. This state is more stable, and this can better store the curse of Eureka, and when it is fully instilled when the time comes, Li Xiang can be freed again. After hearing Gojo Satoru's explanation, Okotsu also understood Gojo Satoru's intention. But he was still a little nervous looking at the knife. After all, he was an ordinary person and couldn't compare to such a big weapon. Advertisement. It's a good thing. You still have to learn how to use the sword. Because you are too weak now, you need to train thoroughly. Gojo Satoru said calmly. Does the teacher also know how to use a knife? Okotsu asked curiously. This, I do know a little bit about it, but I just took a look at it when I was bored and watched a friend use it. Gojo Satoru said calmly. Friend? Teacher's friend? Who is it? Okotsu asked secretly, finally realizing something was wrong. Do you think you know it after just one glance? What's the situation? Can this also be considered as a skill? Of course, what Okotsu didn't know was that Gojo Satoru did know how to use a knife, and he was very good at it. When it came to using a knife, there was only one person in the world who could use it better than him. Teacher, is your friend very powerful? Yeah, at least that guy is omnipotent when it comes to using cursed tools. There is basically no cursed tool that he doesn't know. And during the battle, the weapons seem to come alive in his hands. The whole process is like dancing, elegant and elegant without any traces. If I have to give a comment on the superfluous movements, it would be almost perfect. Gojo Satoru said calmly. That's amazing. Is he as cursed tools history as Maki? Okotsu asked curiously. No, he doesn't use weapons. He just learned it when he was bored and passed the time in high school. And that guy is much more powerful than Maki. Gojo Satoru said calmly. Huh? Did you learn it when you were bored? Okotsu was confused. Forget it, you should learn from Maki during this period. He is also quite good at using cursed tool. Gojo Satoru said calmly. On the other side, Ming Ming and Xiaoyuja were sitting in the conference room. Next to them were the core members of Xiaoyuja's organization. Advertisement. 